Sorry about that, babe. guys, welcome back to a new installment of Bits Plays. We're going to be playing through Final Fantasy 3 on the, originally on the Famicom. And we'll be playing a fan translated reproduction cartridge by Flashback Entertainment on the NES. Um, very excited to get this one started. Uh, I've never played it before at all. Um, I hadn't played Final Fantasy 2 either previously, but I had, you know, messed around a little little bit here and there on like the Dawn of Souls GBA remake. But when it comes to 3, I haven't played anything. Um, I did own the DS version back in the day, but I actually never played it and then I sold it on Nintendo Age. So here we are. First ever playthrough. I think I'm gonna roll with message speed 7 because 8 was a little too fast in Final Fantasy 2. But we'll see. We could adjust that I'm sure on the fly every single time we load up a new game. So as you guys saw, uh, I played the, uh, the little intro there for the background story, and uh, let's just get started. So I do know that this game revolves heavily around um, jobs or classes, so it should be pretty interesting um, as we continue on here to see what kind of jobs and classes end up being the best and the general strategy that goes behind that. So anyway. anyway. I believe this is the Onion Knight class. Am I am I correct in saying that? Uh, I don't have my manual out with me at the moment, so let me just look something up. I think it's like Onion... Onion Kid. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> so let's do... Of course we gotta do bits, right? And then I think you just add a bunch of... Okay. And next... I think it said it was for boys. So, let me think, let me think, it's probably the best, the most, uh, most in-depth part of the game right here, you know, you can't mess this up. Did I do, I did Razor, oh, you know what, we just got a new cat, uh, yesterday, a, uh, very sweet rescue kitty who is malnourished and flea-ridden, uh, we're doing our best to get him up to speed, he's doing so much better today, after, uh, getting some flea treatments. He's uh, currently in our bathroom, away from the other cats. We've been delousing everything that we can, being very careful. Anyway, his name is Belmont. Uh, basically named after the Belmonts from Castlevania. I don't think we could fit Belmont, so we'll do B L M N T. Um, you know what? We could probably go back and put an E. Belmont. Yep, there we go. Belmont. Uh, next, we already did Razy. Can't do Lily, my other cat. Um, who haven't we done yet? We've done Ryu, Freak Swat, Leboshi. You know, we haven't brought Stall Talk back in a while. You know? And this is a, a, a pukey poop green for you, buddy. So we'll do Stall Talk. These are all uh, Bits and Glory community members, by the way, if you're wondering, like, what the fu <laughs> fuck are these names? It's either my cats or people uh, from the community. Um, join my Discord, by the way, www.bitsdiscord.com to get in on the fun. Uh, we did Leboshi, Freak Swat Ryu, Jimmy. It's gotta be so. Oh, you know what? Horse. I got you, man. We'll do Horse Lemonade, but we'll just fit Horse. There's the crew. Let's see what kind of uh, advancements they've made here. Ouch, we've fallen into a pit. Shucks. Oh. Whoa, this music though. Are we gonna be all right in a place like this? Hey, it was your idea to come here. Hey, if you got time to fight, you got time to look for a way out. Damn. Oh, we're in a battle already. Goblins. Interesting. Whoa! 
This uh, music's groovy. So you got defend, run, item. Oh, that's cool. So it shows you, I'm assuming which uh, part, so like one, two, three, the top, second, third, and then fourth being the bottom, who's attacking who. I do know uh, from what I read in the instruction manual that this is the first instance of um, you don't attack the air if an enemy dies, which is a great quality of life change. Uh, it does heavily play into strategy in the first two games, but I don't really like it that much, <laughs> if we're being honest. <clears throat> Alright, so all four are gonna attack the goblin. They're actually hitting us pretty hard. Alright, cool. I'm just trying to download how things have changed here in my brain. It seems more along the lines of the first game at the moment. One capacity. So I think capacity is how our jobs are. Like the, it's kind of like our job points, if you will, or skill, whatever the fuck they're called. Class. Is it class job or what is it? It is jobs. Okay. What were those? Oh man, what are we going to do now? All right, so now we have control of our onion kids. Hmm. Seeing stuff like the green text is kind of like, I wouldn't say it's off-putting, but I'm kind of surprised by it. Can we save anywhere? No, I didn't think so. Uh, no. Okay, so it looks like the old magic system's back, too, actually. Levels 1 through 8. Interesting. I actually, you know, when I first played Final Fantasy 1 in the Origins Collection, I didn't like that. But as time has gone on, I've actually appreciated that quite a bit. And it looks like our old leveling system is back, so we don't have to deal with that weird leveling system of Final Fantasy 2. Um, strength attack, blah, blah, blah. Seems kind of standard across the board. Is everybody fives? I'm curious because I think horse is missing a lot. Yeah, everybody's fives right now. Okay. Can't change our job yet, and we have a row, but I think they're all the same. So anyways, let's get started. Very interesting stuff, guys. Leather shield. I wanted to equip that before. Oh well. As long as we don't miss. Seems like we kill the goblins in one shot. I actually, by the way, I like the sprite work on the goblins. For such a um, early, early enemy, it seems like they kind of took their time there. You could already get the sense that this game is a little bit more advanced graphically. They still kind of keep like that low key style but it definitely seems a little bit more advanced than the other games. And the music's very interesting so far. Two capacity. Hey, level up across the board, baby. That's what we like to see. All right, we got a potion. Um, I guess we'll just equip bits since he's in the first slot. I'm gonna assume that it's pretty uh, standard stuff where <laughs> an ocean. <laughs> uh, where, what I was gonna say is like, you know, going back to like the first game, and even the second game, certain slots get attacked more than others. Um, actually, the last game, it seemed to be slot three got attacked all the time, which was uh, where Loboshi was. The first game, it was definitely slots one and two. But uh, yeah, after looking at the first few battles, slots one and two are the ones that are uh, suffering at the moment. Let's heal bits. Uh, we'll... We'll keep Belmont where he is. Huh? What's the matter? That rock's a bit odd, now that you mention it. Ah. Okay, so one thing, too, that I want to point out. I like the, uh, the sprites as they walk. They look really cool. Uh, specifically when they're not walking straight ahead, but when they're walking from the side. I guess I'll equip that to Belmont. Uh, so another thing that I, I read up on in the uh, instruction manual is that you'll be changing, it, well, it's possible to change jobs quite a bit. Um, from my understanding, if you rock like a, um, like a magic job and then you switch to like, you know, like some kind of warrior or something like that, you don't lose your magic per se, but you just can't use it at that current job. And I also read that you need to like unequip yourself almost completely if you ever do job changes. So that should be, uh, should be interesting. All right, so we equipped our shields, I think, did we? Yes, we did. All 
Alrighty. Uh, we have a couple different branching paths here. Let's go down. South Wind. So is that... I feel like I remember that from the first game. I think it's a consumable. I don't remember what it does, though. When I'm done recording this first part, I'm gonna have to uh, reread. Or I'll just go get the manual one or the other. <clears throat> so the reason I don't... Ooh. Probably should have healed Belmont. The reason I don't have the manual in front of me right now is um, I still haven't recorded my unboxing video for this game. So I was trying to keep everything all together. I broke the seal on this one years ago. Uh, I got this for Christmas in 2015, actually. From Flashback Entertainment. So I've been purchasing stuff from them on and off uh, throughout the years. I got this. I got uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 Mix from... Did I get that from them? I think I did. Yeah, I definitely did. And that was probably around the same time, maybe a little bit earlier. <clears throat> then recently, um, earlier this year, around tax time, I did a buy three, get one, where I got Final Fantasy II, Sweet Home, and Mother on the NES, all translated. And then I got uh, Chrono Trigger, Flames of Eternity on the SNES. All of which I hope to get to at some point on this channel. Obviously, if you're watching this, Final Fantasy 2 is already done, and that should be up already in its entirety. Um, Alright, let's be a little safe here. Let's use a potion on Belmont. Hmm. I don't want to, like, jump to conclusions, but I'm, I'm liking the cut of this game's jib so far. I'll heal up horse. Looks like a lot of the things that I wasn't huge on in Final Fantasy 2 have been kind of, uh, restored, so to speak. Potion, A. Eh? <clears throat> cool. Ooh! Yes, I was gonna say. It's a spring. What an odd color. Let's try drinking it. Ah, I wasted all my potions, I just realized. The four drank. So I read in the instruction manual that you're gonna find like oasises and areas where you could oasi would it be I don't know where you could drink and uh, refill your party basically. So I wasted all my potions. That's cool. Hopefully they're not too expensive and gold isn't or gill excuse me isn't too tough to come by. So it's interesting to see how games start out, right? So Final Fantasy 1, um, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, you start out in Corneria right away, or you start out right outside, one or the other, either way, uh, you're not really thrust into any kind of like weird situation. Final Fantasy 2 starts you off inside of a battle, you know, one of those patented JRPG battles where you, you can't win. I'm gonna go back to the spring, fuck it. I'll take more ex uh, experience. Hell yeah! Now I wonder if there's gonna be springs that uh, poison you. I'm sure that they won't be crystal clear, unless there's a troll going on. I'll be more like puke green or piss some shit, but anyway. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy II start, started you off with that battle that you just couldn't win. Um, and then this one drops you in the middle of a dungeon, which is kind of interesting. <clears throat> the uh, dungeon designers of Final Fantasy 2 uh, either fine-tuned their craft or they took a vacation during the development of this game. Was, wasn't a huge fan of a lot of the empty areas in the dungeons. I'm okay with it once in a while as well as traps and such, but there's far too many just empty areas. Damn, wasn't expecting another fight there. I guess we'll uh, get the hang of things as far as the encounter rate. kind of, like, confused. Did they not have enough color schemes? Like, why is, uh, Bits and Horse the same colors? Would've been cool if they somehow finagled, like, a different color scheme. <clears throat> My favorite so far is Belmont's, because he reminds me of, like, a Dragoon armor or something like that. Excuse me. 
<laughs> Where the fuck are we, dude? The wind crystal? What's this? Something evil attacked. Oh, shit, dude. The land turtle? Oh, god. Uh, well, I guess we have nothing to do but attack, so... Oh, shit! You know, they mentioned in the intro about the crystals again, so I'm, I'm guessing the crystals are back from the first game. And were we on the hunt for the wind crystal somehow as onion kids instead of actual jobs? I'm sure that's not gonna last long. Okay, so we're not hitting very hard. And he is. Uh, let's try one of these south winds. I think it's a consumable attack, right? We'll see how that does. Oh! Okay, well there you go. So, south wind, I'm assuming, is a consumable wind magic then? Hey, leveling up across the board, it's what we like to see. Do we really have a crystal already? The crystal began to sparkle. You've been chosen. Hey, the crystal talked. Take the last of the light, last of the hope, remaining in me. At this rate, the light will soon vanish as well. The balance of everything is crumbling. When you take the light, you'll be able to receive great strength from the crystals. You were the ones chosen to keep the hope. You must not let this world disappear. Light surrounded the four. Oh shit. Damn, look at that. That's some nice 8-bit artwork right there. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, I was gonna mention earlier it was in my head, but I didn't actually communicate it. I wonder if this series kind of took a Dark Souls, uh... <laughs> not for sale. <laughs> um, I wonder if it took a Dark Souls route. Where... Do not use Nesticle to play this game. Oh my goodness, I'm not using Nesticle's emulator. I'm using a real cartridge on the AVS. Oh, a Canadian, uh, put this one together. A.W. Jackson. For those of you that don't know, I was actually born in Canada. I've lived in the United States pretty much my entire life, though. Um, but yeah, with Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1 and 3 are more similarly tied in, uh, I would say, definitely in story. Eh, not so much mechanics, I guess. The mechanics are similar across all the games, but Dark Souls 2 is seen as the oddball. But they tried stuff different. Four stout-hearted warriors shall trudge forward. I didn't read what the fuck it said. I wasn't looking. And sweep away the darkness so that once again... The crystal will shine with the light of hope. Hmm. You can go outside through that magic circle. Your quest begins here, light warriors. Alright, so it looks like we have the patented warp. Uh, okay. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything there. Interesting. Huh. This overworld theme vaguely reminds me of the Final Fantasy Adventure on the Game Boy. Uh, which is the first uh, Secret of Mana Seiken Densetsu game. Very interesting. Let's get a save. Nice. Oh, we are fully healed, too. Did the. I guess we got healed after the boss battle. Not quite sure. But, um. Uh, huh. Oh, did I? Oh, you know what? I kind of skimmed over when I retouched the crystal, to be honest with you. My, my brain's all over the place today. Fighter, Monk, White Wizard, Black Wizard, and Red Wizard. So, okay, so we have 39 points, and each one requires 8. Um, hmm, the change. I don't know if I want to change just yet. And I also want to go back in and kind of explore a little bit. Is there anything new here? Nice. Thousand gill. Two thousand gill. I like it. 
So it looks like the, uh... False walls are back, huh? You know what this song reminds me of? Very slightly, mind you, because for the most part it does remind me of Final Fantasy. Not this part in particular, but the part before it reminded me of, um... Solstice. Has that weird, like, twang to it, I guess you would say? I don't know what I, don't know what I would call it, but... <clears throat> Copper ring. Ooh. Uh, I guess we'll just ensure that we kill two on this turn. I have to get my mind out of... Oh, damn, okay, they're a lot weaker than I thought. I have to get my mind out of the mindset of I could just... Like, in lower battles, I could just load up on people because if they die, the uh, auto attack will just target the next next enemy. That was a great... When they changed that, which I guess was here, is honestly, like, the best thing they could have done. <clears throat> it definitely, definitely plays into the strategy, though, in the first two games. Like, in a way, I could see why people would prefer that, actually, even though it could be quite annoying, because you'll end up occasionally attacking the air. Um, but it does play into the strategy. Makes the game a little bit less mindless, which a lot of people that hate JRPGs complain about stuff like that. Longsword. Sleep. Ooh, magic already, huh? So I can't tell. I'm gonna say that looks like a hole in the middle of those skeletons, and I don't know if I feel like going there. Because I, I feel like the hole will probably just drop me somewhere, and... The game did thrust me outside into the overworld near a town. You know what I mean? It's probably not the best thing, so... Let's just focus on uh, looting and then backtracking the way in which we came. Oh, nice, and we could attack... In Final Fantasy 2, you couldn't attack things really in the back row if they were stacked. In Final Fantasy 2, in this turn, you would actually only be able to attack that thing right in the front. Which would be quite frustrating. I'm sure, though, that the target accuracy goes down. Which, clearly, I've been missing everybody. <clears throat> I'd be a little careful here. I still think, ultimately, we'll be fine. But we've been missing a lot and getting hit. Yeah, hits of nine over and over again, a little... it's not great. Alright, those guys are pretty weak, so the ones in the middle are the tough, the tough ones, the orbs, the blue wisps. I guess we'll just load up here and then have the auto attack do its thing. I gotta remember, I can get into that habit again. Nice. It's a hard habit to break, honestly. Because <laughs> I've been playing so much of the old school stuff lately that it's... It is hard to break. Ooh, nunchucks and a, another longsword. Right? We have two longswords and a nunchuck. And a copper ring. So I would say this was a uh, successful... I don't know what you want to call it. Re-entry? <clears throat> And I will gladly rack up experience points. Yeah, I will say though, I'm gonna end up getting a lot more mindless on these fights, man. Having that auto tracking, it really does change things. Cause I'll probably, like, you know, if it's, like let's say we're in an area that's not really tough anymore, I'll just sit there and hold the button down and space out. <laughs> We're in the old game, it's like, you better be fucking careful. Speaking of being careful, Stall Talk's almost dead, so let's hope that they stop attacking him and that we can get out of here rather quickly. Yes, focus your attacks on bits, please. And I am honestly super duper happy that we're back to a, uh, <sighs> a normal leveling system. Really, I'm not in the mood to sit here and attack myself and try to use 
high MP spells in order to level shit up, you know what I mean? Um, I would say just in case we get stuck in some shit, I'm gonna heal stall talk. I'm not gonna equip my various weapons until I figure out exactly, like, what the hell we're doing, you know what I mean? Uh, okay. So let's save before we go into the town. Cool. Oh, it says how many times you saved, I think. That's gonna be scary. <laughs> I'm a frequent saver. Hey, where are you four brats off to now? What? You're gonna save the world? Did you get hit on the head or something? Those blessed by the crystals can be healed by the holy water from shrines. This area is surrounded by Palmeni Mount- or excuse me, by the Palmeni Mountains, is ruled by King Sassoon of the castle to the west. Press B to use an item. For example, try using a potion on me. Huh? Oh, interesting. Can you- you better fucking give me something, dude. Ah, thanks to you, my hip pains have gotten better. Please take this. An echo herb. Hmm. The Elder awaits inside. This is pretty slick, I'm not gonna lie. The town of Kazoos lies to the south, but no one dares leave this village because of the monsters. I also read, uh, and somebody had mentioned to, uh, already basically in this town, that every town has a recovery spring. So the question then begs, is it hidden? Why would you bother going to the inn if there's a recovery spring? Do you have to pay for it? You're going on a journey? I won't take your money. Please rest well. Oh. Damn, there's a lot of shit going on in here. This is what I like to see. This is what I like to see. I'm just seeing... Oh, nice! That's... Oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just so happy. One of my favorite things about RPGs uh, is searching for stuff, and you don't really, like, find anything in these games by doing that. Well, up until this point, obviously. Later on, it's a, it's a given. I'll guess your strength. Hmm. Yeah, I am all onion kids. So I'm not gonna lie, these guys look like they're... You know. I'll leave it at that. Try, trying to keep... Even though I curse a lot, I'm trying to keep it as, uh, as low-key as possible, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's go talk to everybody in the inn, shall we? Hey, try playing the piano. Hey, look at this guy's fucking mohawk. With the valley blocked by that rock, I haven't been able to get back to Canaan. All there is to do is sit here and drink. Yep. Can I not talk to him? Hold up. Aw, oh, really? You'll need antidotes and eye drops if you're going on a journey, yes, I'm well aware. Potion? Is this a dancer? Tee hee, I'm a da There we go. We're getting it. Better not be stealing shit from me. Sometimes in these games... I don't remember if it was Final Fantasy or Breath of Fire or what, but one of these dancers, like, stole shit from me. I think it was somebody in Breath of Fire. There was, like, a, a thief village. <laughs> How do you like it? Uh, that's, that's funny. So, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm really liking this game so far. I'm sure at some point it's gonna get incredibly annoying and I'll be cursing its name and complaining, but... This is like... So if you lived in America at the time, you went from Final Fantasy 1 all the way to 4. You know, with the Final Fantasy 2 SNES release, and that must have been a... a groundbreaking jump, and it's interesting to see the incremental increases as it was actually intended. And... This seems, so far, like a very good... bridge gap to the 16-bit era. <clears throat> hmm. What do we got? Oh, that looks like the spring up there. You better take cure from the storehouse ahead. Monsters appear along the path, so be careful. Oh, shoot. Alright, so we have that. I still haven't chosen my... my jobs yet. I probably should. We have that. And what is in here? Is this a magic shop, I'm guessing? What is this? Okay. That's pretty cool, I like the magic shop. And I wonder if those orbs light up over time, or if it's just merely decoration. 
Um, oh yeah, that's right. We should rest at the inn, right? Yes, she said it was free, so... <clears throat> okay, so the item store is also located there. And can you initiate your sleep by going into the bed? Yes, you can. For some reason, you sleep at the foot of the bed, but it's fine. <clears throat> Alright, cool. Alright, so, we definitely still need to figure out what we're doing for our jobs. Maybe I should do that now, actually. Um... Alright, let's figure this out. For bits, we are definitely gonna make him a fighter. These are pretty... These are the standard classes from the first Final Fantasy, actually. That's right, must remove your equipment. Okay. Remove. Oh, that's good, at least. You have a, uh, quick removal. Quality of life changes are always good. Um, let me see here. Alright, let's do our jobs. Fighter. Absolutely. Hey, there we go. That's a very familiar sprite. Now, Belmont. Hmm. I've always wanted to do a red wizard, but... I just don't know, man. Should I just go with the monk? I did get the nunchucks. I'll go with the monk. And then stall talk. Who would be more of a black wizard? You know, stall talk's definitely a white wizard. He's, a, he's got his ginger hair. And horse, horse is definitely a conjurer of the black, black magic. There he is. All right, perfect. And now let's, um, ooh, you got 10 usages of level one, nice, dude. Let's use the sleep magic, right? Let's have horse learn that. Cause that, I believe that's black magic. Correct. All right, now let's equip um, right hand. I'm sure we could do long sword. Left hand, we could do one of our shields. Oh, that's the copper bracelet, right? Leather shield. Okay. Belmont should probably be able to use the nunchucks. Ooh, okay. Huh. So he's a better as barehanded, which I kind of figured, honestly. Soul talk. Sure, could probably use a knife. Um, can you use a leather shield? Can't equip. Can't equip that. Ooh, I'm gonna have to buy some shit, huh? Hmm. Can I dual wield in this game? You're goddamn right I can, but I have, like, no defense right now. So let's actually maybe attach that. I can't equip that, huh? Was it a copper... Who could wear that? There we go. Oh, I see! Okay. So it has, like, X's through it on the menu if you can't use it. I get it now. I get it. So he could use... Got it. All right. Okay. So I definitely gotta work on the defense here. It is not good. Especially if I'm going with the monk. Which at this point, I kinda have to. So, he can only wear cloth. That kinda stinks. I guess I could sell the knives then. Uh, oh, we could use the knife. Better than nothing. Same with that. Why did I not see the leather helmets? I'm blind. Okay. Alright, better than nothing. That's for sure. Alright, I think that's actually a good place to stop. So, 
when we return, uh, oh, you know, I still have to talk to the elder. So I was told that there's like a path up here with monsters from this dude. Uh, that's probably the recovery spring. Uh, there's the elder, and then we obviously want to see how much gill do we have currently? Quite a bit, so we could probably get some uh, equipment upgrades. So let's pop out of the town. I don't think that it saved while I was at the inn. Nice. All right. Well, that's gonna wrap this one up, guys. So far, so good. I'm actually quite enjoying it. I'm seeing incremental increases across the board from Final Fantasy II. Seems like uh, we've returned to form, so to speak, closer to the first game, although uh, one of the big things revolving in this one is the job classes, basically. It seems like we're going to be probably swapping them out quite a bit as we go. I don't know much beyond that. I'm going to do some more research in my manual after I record my unboxing for this, uh, and then hopefully IRL will be playing this again later tonight. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this, as well as my other playthroughs. Uh, if you have, please leave a like on the video. Comment, I do my best to reply to all comments on all videos. And subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribing will help me out so much, guys. I, I really want to just keep growing the channel, and I hope that you're enjoying everything above all else, because I don't want to be making crappy content. Either way, I'll see you guys back in the village of Ur uh, <laughs> next time. Take care. Alright guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 3 on the Famicom slash NES. This is part 2. Uh, by the way, it's also my first ever playthrough. I'm gonna keep mentioning that the first few parts. <laughs> um, so, what happened in the last part? Well, we fell into the altar cave to start off our game. We went through, we looted, we fought a boss. Uh, we got our jobs from this gigantic crystal. Uh, and then we were able to exit the cave, which is actually just up north. We went back in, looted some more, uh, and we ended up at the town of Ur, which is uh, where I'm standing on right now, and there's quite a bit to do. Uh, first things first, I wanted to move my wizards to the- oh shit! So select changes who's on- oh, that's pretty cool. I think I'll walk around as horse lemonade. Um, I wanted to move my wizards to the back row, so I guess okay, you do it from here. Good, good, good. That's more modern, so to speak, as compared to Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Um, and when we go back into the town, we were told about a path uh, that has some monsters on it, so we're gonna go there. Uh, then we're gonna check out the stores, and then lastly, we're gonna talk to the village elder. So let me close out my notes, and let's get started. So that dude over there in the grass told me about the path. Uh, so we're gonna go back here. Apparently there's monsters. I'm picking flowers. Oh, nice. Found a potion. Uh, can we cross? Am I... Oh, my bad. I see now. <clears throat> we can walk through the grass over here. the enemies that we were told about. Killer bees! Alright. And again, I keep forgetting that uh, we don't have to plan out our attacks as if it was Final Fantasy uh, 1 or 2. We could just attack everything in front of us and it'll cycle through as we go on. Killer bees seem to be definitely a bit more powerful. Um, Belmont hit him with 19. Still didn't kill them. I'm guessing they probably have 20 HP. That makes sense. So as you can see, we went with the uh, the fighter for bits. Uh, the is it the black bell or the monk? I can't remember what the hell the uh, actual class is called for Belmont. And the white mage and black mage. Um, I read online that people recommended the red mage, but you know what? I went with the white mage. So it is what it is. I realize I can change my class if I want to. But I'm gonna hold on to my, uh, my class points. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm fighting off a sneeze right now. <laughs> so, like, if you hear me, like, sounding weird and shit, that's exactly why. Yeah, that's a quick encounter. Same thing, huh? Oh, yeah, I read something else in the instruction manual. Uh, I think it was revolving around... running away? 
if uh, you're unsuccessful or whatever, I guess, and the enemies attack you, it hits like crazy hard, allegedly. So hopefully that doesn't uh, affect us too much, because at some point, you know, we're gonna want to run away from a lot of stuff to not waste time. Early game here, obviously, we're just gonna keep fighting so we can get uh, good levels. And I gotta reiterate, I'm so fucking happy that regular leveling is back. I think the more I remove myself from Final Fantasy II, god damn, I hate the way you level up in that game. If you leveled up normally in that game, I think that game would be like, so much better. Just my opinion, of course. Uh, okay, so good news, bad news. Good news, we're alive. Uh, bad news, we are poisoned. Hey, got another potion. Give me a... You got anything for me? The candle farthest to the right is a switch for a hidden door. The switch on the other side of the north wall. Okay. Well, we have to heal ourselves. <clears throat> Sucks that we're poisoned, man, because it's just like... Hey. Nice. Just what we needed. Ah, uh, and yes, as you could expect, since I fought off a sneeze successfully, now I'm stuffed up. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Did that hurt? Yo! That fucking hurt me, I think! Okay, well... Learned my lesson. Where are we going? Oh! Leather armor, a dagger, cure, leather armor, and a longsword. Nice. Alright, so... Let's teach cure to stall talk, clearly. Uh, we'll upgrade to... Leather. Was it long... Did we get a longsword again? Yes, we did. Okay, we're actually gonna sell that. We don't need that at all. The dagger, presumably, is stronger than the knife, so that's good. Well, let's, uh... Equip Belmonts with... Leather. And let's upgrade our knife to... The dagger. What happens if we dual wield? Sick. So I guess dual wielding is a pretty viable option in this game, huh? We don't have a shield. I don't think he could use a shield anyway because he's a black mage. Hmm. Pretty cool. Uh, cloth. We could definitely sell that. Oh, you know, I wonder. I wonder. We're gonna sell this too, and the longsword. I wonder if we. I don't want to, like, waste my money. Well, I guess we could check maybe here. Let's see. <laughs> Attack 22. I'm sorry, guys. I got really stuffed up after fighting off that sneeze. <laughs> Sucks. Alright. Mm, I was, like, debating, like, do I buy nunchucks? You know what I mean? But... Uh... How the fuck do we get out of here? Can we? Okay. A little bit weird. Not like you could actually see anything there, so... Alright, let's go back. No fights! Alright, let's actually try the run mechanic, maybe? Let's see. Can't run. Can't run. Uh, I can't run. That's fair. That's fair. It's pretty early in the game. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> yep, looks like the killer bees have exactly 20. The dual wielding, though. How about it? Oh shit, werewolves.
Why can't I? Oh, is it because I didn't rest it in inn or whatever to replenish when I taught him the magic? Is that why? Hmm. I don't really know the answer to that. Find out shortly, because if I remember correctly, we could rest at this uh, in for free. Right? Wait a minute. How do I get to this lady? You have to be able to, right? There we are. Oh my, how'd you get here? There are some potions in this well. Oh, oh shit, what? Okay, so there's the spring. So I guess that's actually a cool mechanic. Is this the spring? No? I was gonna say before I got thwarted here that if the uh, healing spring in every town was hidden, that'd be pretty cool. But, uh, guess I'm wrong. Oh, it was in here, right? Oh, no. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's rest. It's free, why not, right? Let's see if our magic gets replenished or not. I'm, I'm confused. There we go. Should be good now, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at some stuff. Let's sell some stuff. Sell, we're gonna, whoa, controller freaking out there. We're gonna sell all the knives. It's fine. I'm gonna sell that. Sell all those. But I think I'll sell the leather shield. Maybe I'll sell one for now. Let's uh, fix up our inventory. I don't know why I'm keeping the nunchuck. I just feel like maybe it's in my best interest. All right, so we have a knife, a dagger, longsword, a staff, and a nunchuck. So, I think I'll probably buy the staff for... Oh, perfect, thank God. So, when the <clears throat> when the person on your team starts like jumping around, uh, that typically means that they could not only wield it, but usually it means it's like a an upgrade. Actually, no, I take that back. I think in later games it has like an up arrow, if it's an upgrade, but I think we're gonna buy the staff. You know what, I'll buy another nunchuck, it's cheap enough. I think I'll buy another dagger, so we could dual wield. This horse, yeah, currently had a knife. Nice. Uh, let's equip stall talk with the staff. I didn't really do anything, but it's whatever. Um, and let's take a look here. 22 to 15. Okay, cool. So it is a dual wielding thing. So basically, barehanded uh, is stronger than one handed for Belmont's current class or job. Um, but dual wielding considerably goes up. Is he now the strongest? Well, I made the right choice. Now let's sell the knife. Uh, you know what? Fuck it, we'll sell the shield. It seems like we're, uh, we're on a dual wielding path at the moment. Until the enemies start absolutely destroying me, of course, right? Alright, so we have cloth. Oh, everybody can wear leather. Nice. So I think I'm gonna go... One... Two... One, two, three, four. I think I accidentally bought too many leathers. The, um, confirming system is a little weird. It's not, I kind of thought it would be like, are you sure? Um, ugh. don't I have one of these already? I think I do. So one more. 
take a look. <laughs> He's already got leather. So this is gonna be leather. Yeah, we have the copper there. This is gonna be leather. And, oh yeah, I bought way too many. Jesus Christ. Oh, and I already had leather helmets. God, I'm a moron. Everybody already had leather helmets? Hold on. Oh my God, I'm a buffoon. Look at that. Oh well. <laughs> Ah, uh, that sucks. Alright. So we'll sell that, and we bought way too many leathers by accident, and we'll sell the cloths. At the end of the day, it's not too bad. Like, yeah, we wasted a couple hundred gil, but... Oh, well. Let's see what we got here, magic-wise. Just pure? Absolutely, I'll buy that. Cool. And I guess we should probably buy some consumables, right? I just want to confirm everybody has... ...what I want on them. I think they do. Alright. Okay. Uh, consumables. Potions are pretty expensive, actually. Damn. However... Mm, let's buy four eye drops. Let's buy ten potions. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's a good amount, right? <clears throat> Alright. Let's save as we did quite a bit there. I'm liking the, the feel of this game, guys. I'm just saying. Looks like we have another town already. Aye! Okay. Sorry, I thought you were a ghost too. This town is cursed. There's ghosts at the inn. Oh shit. Oh yeah, this town is not looking, uh, not looking good. Hmm. What the fuck? I've been turned into this dreadful form by Jin's curse. Oh, that's right, I forgot. They have espers in this game, so I wonder if Jin is the first esper that we get. Oh, looks like everybody's cursed by Jin. <laughs> yep. Oh wait, this is the inn, right? Yeah, I wanted to explore that probably last, if we're being honest. Looks like that'd be a path, no? Mm-hmm. Ooh, a staff. Ah, then I just I just bought a fucking staff, didn't I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Dual wield? Hey! <laughs> uh, what a beast. Alright, well. We can go up. Yes. Let's just double check to make sure there's no items in here. Doesn't appear to be. Zeus's Rage? Ooh, a Mithril helmet, nice. Man, the Final Fantasy 2 and 3 love giving you uh, Mithril shit, like, really early, huh? Uh, probably give that to Bits, I suppose. His defense is a little weak. There you go, cool. Interesting town here, interesting town. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get out of here. There we are. Uh, let's check out these two ho- Ooh, there's a cave, though. Mm. Not a whole lot going in here. Potion. I'll take it. I'm afraid to touch anything that looks like fire now. After, uh, that last... T 
team fucking uh, HP drain across the board. Is this the spring? Nice. So does that heal us? Because I actually think I remember seeing something that, that revives your fallen party members, actually. I could be wrong. Uh, I actually got quite a bit, so I'm gonna save in case there's some shenanigans going on in this inn. Yep, so that indeed tracks how many times you saved it. Which, like I said guys, is gonna be pretty bad by the end of it. Especially if I end up having to do a lot of grinding offline, you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck? How's this guy got like 99 fucking saves? Well, that's just what I do. The only thing which can reseal Jin is the Mithril Ring, Mithril Ring, excuse me, in this town. See, I used to pronounce it Mithril until I was corrected by uh, my fiance, who's a huge Lord of the Rings nut. Uh, and to my knowledge, Mithril was created by uh, Tol Tolkien. For the, I don't know if it was in the Lord of the Rings universe or just the general universe he created, but either way. Jin, who is contained in the cave of the seal, was freed in the earthquake. I'm Sid from Kanan. The Nelb Valley got blocked by a boulder and I wasn't able to get back to Kanan, so I decided to stay at the inn here, and this happened. Ho ho ho, will you help me if I lend you my airship? It's hidden in the desert to the west. Nice. Cool. Damn, though, that's, uh, unexpected. <laughs> I want my pretty face back. There was a mithril ring made for the Princess Sarah of Sassoon Castle. If only you had that ring. Alright. Let's see if I can go upstairs here. Anything up here? Nothing. Just a free rest. Lots of free inns here, uh, pretty good actually. Might end up grinding in this area soon, we'll see. <clears throat> I want to talk to that guy at the uh, beginning of the town again, I can't quite remember what he was talking about. What were you saying, my friend? I have to deal with this fucking shit though. Oh, just that there's ghosts at the end. For some reason I thought he said more, but... Yeah, I guess not. <sighs> Alright. This is where the airship is, right? Nice. Oh, that's right, there was a... a uh, whatchamacall? A cave in that town that I completely forgot about already. So I don't think I'm gonna jump on the airship yet. Um, you know what we'll do? We're gonna grind a little bit. And I'm not gonna speed up the footage because it's so early in the game. Plus, you never know what kind of enemies we're gonna run into. Might be something interesting. Such as a pack of four werewolves. I don't really have any black magic spells that I remember. I got sleep. Hey, let's try our hand here. See how this works. I like how sleep literally looks like fucking fire. I'm guessing it didn't work on any of them. Oh no, it said woke woke up. Yeah, I guess they did get put to sleep. It's kind of odd though, like. I didn't really get any... Oh no, maybe they are awake. I have no idea. I was gonna say, I didn't really get many confirmations. Like, you think they would have something floating above their head, or... <clears throat> it's probably more potent if you don't do it to the entire party, I would guess. Skill up. I gotta read through the uh, instruction manual again. I, I can't remember everything. Does that mean... Okay, so... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So... You have a general level, but then I think you have a skill level that's tied to your job. So I think, like, currently I'm skill level Monk 2, but, like, if I were to change jobs to something else, it would be skill level 1, and then I think if I change back to Monk, it would be 2 again? Not positive, but... 
Either way. I think I want to be, like, at least level 6 before I go into this cave. I did a little bit of... I wouldn't say I did grinding, but... You know, I haven't really run away from anything yet. So I think I'm probably, like, okay. I do wish that I had a uh, black magic spell, though, like... Besides sleep. Maybe, like, fire. Oh, you know, it's very feasible that this town, um... That I was just in, once I defeat Jin and return everybody to their non-ghost form, that... I could probably buy some better spells there. But it's not too bad, at least we have Cure and a ton of potions, so we should be fine. <clears throat> and I'm sore as hell tonight. I'm stuffy, I'm tired, my body's sore. Long weekend, man, long weekend. Uh, what is our... Experience at 285. Okay, so I wonder if it's every hundred. And does everybody get the same amount of experience? Unless somebody dies or something. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, if it's every hundred, at least at the lower levels, then presumably the next battle, if it's something like it, we just encountered, everybody should level up. Killer bees. I wonder if they introduced um, saving in the middle of dungeons in this game or not. That was one of my favorite things about Final Fantasy IV. Um, kind of made you a little less hesitant to keep pushing on, you know what I mean? Whereas the earlier games, it's like, fuck, dude, I should probably retreat. <laughs> Alright, so we got 15 experience. Does that divide up? Hmm. It does not, so it is not every hundred. Which is kind of what I expected. It probably scales up as you level up. So it might be 150, 125, or 200 or something. So I'd say 325, 350, or 400 is probably the next threshold for level 6, which is what we want to reach. Come on now. Let's do it. I'm a little hesitant to, like, really wander here. I feel like the desert might have some poison enemies. No? Just werewolves. So one thing that I don't like, pretty lazy. Like, the background shows that we're in a desert, but then the actual crown is just black. I mean, like, come on. It's the best you could do. Ah, uh, dual-wielding fucking wand stall talk. Couldn't knock out the werewolf. It's pretty sad. I gotta admit, though, I'm liking this game so far. It's... It, I can't quite put my finger on it. Obviously, I'm really early into the game, but... It's like... I don't know. It's almost like a pseudo-mixture of the first two games. The first game just seemed much more vast. Then two, and so far this one, obviously we're incredibly early. But I don't know, there's something... It's like one of those things that's sort of just unexplainable. It's the feel of this game so far. It just, it feels, um... Smooth? And I guess almost more beginner-like? I feel like Final Fantasy 1 kind of throws you into the deep end, and... Uh, two... It's not too bad at the beginning, but everything's very complex as far as, like, the actual ins and outs of the game and the stats and the leveling. Where this one feels a little bit more by the book. Of course, beyond the job stuff, but... Alright, so 325 is not the threshold. Let's see if it's 350. I'm hoping for a battle of four somewhere. Would be ideal. What do we have here? Okay, so we need, like, a rowboat or something to get across there. We don't have that yet, and that's fine. Oh, this is the boulder that the guy was speaking of. And that must be... Was that Kanan or something? 
Oh no, it was um Sassoon? Sasan? So clearly I'd say, are we gonna get a fucking fight? Wow. What is this? Final Fantasy 2 would have given me like 17 fights already. Um Yeah, so pretty clearly I think I see like what we need to do. We're gonna have to free this town um and see what the hell's going on there with uh Jin. And then presumably we'll probably have to go to the castle, because I don't think we're gonna get that canoe to cross over to that uh another place soon. Maybe we'll get the canoe at the castle, who knows, and then I guess that boulder looks like it'll probably be blocking our progress uh, to the rest of this particular continent that I'm on. So I'm sure we'll get TNT or dynamite or something similar to like you do in the first Final Fantasy. We gotta be close, right? 345 still. God damn, dude. I'm almost like tempted to freaking go into the cave. The 15 experience uh, at a clip isn't enough for me. And I have like pretty much walked around and explored everything. I tried to do that on purpose to get a lot of random encounters while still finding something new, but... Uh, the encounter level was so low there for a little bit that I was able to literally explore everything I can go to and do in one shot. Alright, is it the 350 threshold? Fingers crossed. Gonna say that's a no, right? Yep, that is a big no. Alright, I'm gonna grind up to 400. And if we don't level up at that point, I'm just gonna rest at the inn and say fuck it, and we're gonna go into that goddamn cave and slap Jin around. Damn, the encounter rates are low, man. At the end of the day, that's probably going to be a good thing if that continues. But right now, I'm literally just trying to level up, so it's like... Give me that Final Fantasy 2 encounter rate, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know why I'm probably sore? It's been absolutely pouring for like the last like six hours. My fiance was getting a headache earlier, so it's probably like some kind of like barometric pressure change. That shit hits you, man. Especially once you hit over 30. I'm telling you. Okay, we're all leveled up. Perfect. And uh, we got a lot of skill up, too. So what was the level threshold? I think we got 15 experience. So the level threshold was 370, it looks like. Or 365, one of the two, probably. Very interesting. Um, Alright, let's rest at the inn. Wait. Can we? Yeah, we can. Look at all these spoopy ghosts. Good. Oh, did I check that? I don't remember if I checked that or not. Oh, nothing there anyway. Alright, let's take a nice little siesta. You know, some of the, the vibes and jingles in this game actually remind me of Shining Force. Very loosely, but still. Which, by the way, I'm still waiting for Analog to fix my fucking Mega SG. Uh, it basically just malfunctioned on me. I had it for less than a year. And I sent it in for repair, and it's been with them for about 10 days. No real update yet, so we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, pretty successful part here. Uh, we explored... what was the town called? Can't quite remember. Kazus? Kazus. We explored Kazus, we found some hidden items, uh, we talked to a bunch of ghosts, and we learned that in some way or another, Jin, um, basically turned the entire town into ghosts. We got some bits and pieces, uh, and explored the rest of the terrain as we were trying to level up there. So I think we have a pretty good, uh, picture as to where we need to go. Uh, but first, we need to tackle that cave in the town of Kazus and defeat Jin, most likely. Uh, and I'm going to assume that we could use him as an Esper? I don't know, though. Who knows? Did I save? I talk too much. Anyway, there we go. So I'm gonna some... F if you look at my save numbers, a few of them are gonna be inflated because I am also a moron. Anyways, guys. 
Hope you've been uh, enjoying the playthrough so far. I'm liking this game quite a bit. I'm very intrigued to see what's next. Uh, please like the video if you haven't already. Um, comment. I love talking to you guys in the comments. I do my best to reply to everyone on my video. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Let's, let's get that sub number up, baby. I'm not begging, I'm just asking. There's a difference. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys back uh, in the town, in the cave, in the next part of the playthrough. Take care. What's up guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 3 on the Famicom slash NES. This is my first ever playthrough. Uh, in the last part, we pretty much explored the town of Kazus, where everybody's a bunch of ghosts, essentially. Uh, we learned that Jin was behind it. Uh, we talked to the ghost of Sid. Uh, <laughs> in the inn. It's kind of funny that we met him already, but anyway. Um, and his airship is available in the desert just to the left of me. Uh, we kind of explored around a little bit and we leveled up to level 6 and our skill level went up quite a bit as well. Uh, and the next thing that I wanted to do was check out the cave that was in this town, because I believe it's probably where we need to go. <clears throat> to my knowledge, I pretty much did everything else, right? Yeah. And now I wonder if when I come back, to, obviously when I come back to this town, I'm sure... Hmm, that looks like a weird... I guess there's nothing there. Uh, the town will probably populate, so we'll see what's up. Alright, what do we have here? What kind of enemies we got? Ho! Something tells me that I shouldn't be here. Eh, guess not. Not too bad, but this is gonna be kind of a tough, uh, tough fight. Especially if we're missing left and right. <clears throat> Definitely wasn't expecting this type of encounter here. Uh... I really could use some black magic spells for horse. Seem to be missing quite a bit. Not good, man. Not good. Getting a little sketchy. Ah, uh, we couldn't kill that guy? That sucks. Alright. Might have to use a uh, cure soon. Oh wait, no, I know pure, right? So let's see. I should cure the poison, and the next round I'll probably cast cure. Since uh, the, the dual wielding <laughs> stall talk doesn't seem to be doing much damage. <clears throat> so far I'm liking the fact that magic seems to be uh, getting casted quicker. Oh, that didn't work? Huh. Really? I would have thought that pure... Huh. I don't know. Weird. Ah. Hey, we got a crit. That's pretty good. Yeah, take that shit, skeleton. Still confused. What the fuck does pure do then if it doesn't cure uh, poison? I need to know. So why didn't it cure Staltox poison? I'm confused. Maybe I flubbed up the input. Uh, I do have to be frank with you guys. It's really late. <laughs> really late at night for me, so it's very possible. Alright, let's try pure again. There we are. Damn. We have lots of, uh... Uses of cure pretty early in the game, so that's pretty useful. 
A dead end, eh? I'm missing something here. Possibly. <clears throat> I'm gonna fight these guys because I do want the experience. You know what I'm saying? Although they hit like trucks, man. A little sketchy. My, my nothing, uh, nothing could be done here at the moment. I guess we'll see. Definitely gonna have to cure, uh, Stall Talk. Cause if he gets targeted, he might get KO'd here. Oh boy. That's good at least. I think I'm a little... I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, to be honest with you guys. These fights seem to be a little bit too difficult. So maybe... maybe the reason why it looks like there's nothing here is like I kind of come back later or something. I don't know. Either way, I'm, I'm glad, glad I'm getting the experience, clearly, so... But that being said... We're running out of cures. I guess let's, like, search the wall again, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna come back later. Hopefully we can get out of here with only one fight. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah, if only I had fire right now, I'm sure I could probably rip through these dudes. Sucks. Let me out alive, people! Well, thankfully, um, the mummies, other than that, of course, are a little bit easier to kill than the skeletons. <clears throat> the skeletons pack a little bit more damage behind their attacks. Damn, really? I can't imagine that mummy has much HP left. Yeah. Alright, well, let's do that, and, uh, let's do Cure, and then, you know what, you could try to put the Skelly to sleep, how about that? Ineffective. That's fair. Wait! The pure spell didn't work again? I don't know, man. Something must be funky. Is it, like, better to cast it outside of battle? Does it not work all the time in battle or something? I don't know, it seems kind of weird. Uh, either way, I should be able to survive. At least to go back to the inn and rest, so... I don't think we got anything to do in this cave. At least right now. Hopefully I could survive. Uh, can I make it to the bed? Twelve? Six? Five? Four? Three? Two? Oh, I literally just made it before I died. About that. Uh, does this cure poison is the question. There's lots of shenanigans in Final Fantasy 2 as far as, uh... Okay, good, it does cure poison. Yeah, in FF2... A lot of weird shit, man. If you're affected with status, uh... You know, status affecting spells or what have you, and you died... At least in my playthrough, I don't know if it was that ROM or if that's the way the game is. If I revived, but I didn't specifically cure my status effect before I died, I still had it. 
pretty rough. But anyways, it looks like that was not the Jin Cave, unless I was missing something. So let's put our noggins together and think. So there was the airship that we just got. There was a thing that we could not pass. There was a castle and there was a lake cave. But I don't, it was like separated with like water and that was to the north. Um, well, actually, I have a freaking airship, right? Can I just fly over and park? I think there was some land there. Let's see. Okay, so you can't even bump into the mountains. Oh, here we are. Okay. So this must be where Jin is, I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks, looks a little bit more logical. <laughs> Alright, let's see what kind of enemies we have here. Hopefully they're not as strong as those friggin' mummies, man, or else I'm gonna have to grind, that's for sure. I will have to grind. Hey, it's mummies, but you know what? At least it's not five of them, I guess. Oh, this is actually gonna be kind of annoying. Because they know the freaking uh, yeah, Venom. Which seems to be an instant poison if it lands. Hmm. This place might be a little rough. Might be a little rough. Hopefully it's not too uh, long of a dungeon. <clears throat> hey, got some skill ups, that's nice. Oh yes, we're poisoned. Shit. So let's see again. Outside of battle, it seems to work right away. I don't know, man. You tell me. Got treasure chest. Cure. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna keep that then? So since you can swap jobs... Let me think. Maybe... Bits, right? Because, correct me if I'm wrong, I think... Like, the knight or whatever the fuck you'd eventually turn into, job class-wise, can learn low-level uh, healing spells? Right? Like, right now... Nothing. Yeah, okay, I see. So, yes, if I turn him into a job... Uh, that has the magic ability, you know, whether it's a white mage or red mage, or I believe presumably a knight or something beyond that, I should be able to use that, so. Alright, let's continue on. Okay, seems to be nothing there, just a random divot. So I must say the encounter rates are, uh, considerably less in this game. That little stretch of walking that I just did, I would have had like probably two or three fights in Final Fantasy 2 and I'm not kidding whatsoever. Alright, so this fight's gonna be a little rough. Hmm. Well, good thing I bought ten potions, I believe. Damn, that dual wielding though. Let's go. Let's go. So I want to loot this chest, and then I saw a bunch of, uh, skeleton bonfire things on the floor. Well, not bonfires. Too much Dark Souls on my brain, huh? Uh, skeleton bone piles. Let's see if maybe there's some items hidden in there. All in all, this fight could have been way worse. I'll just have to heal Belmont after this. Not too bad. Oops. 500 gil, I'll take it, especially after my <laughs> freaking mishaps that I had in the uh, previous town where I accidentally bought too much shit. Okay, so I can't walk into this thing, or excuse me, over it, which means there's something here. A switch. How about that? Who is this? Is this Jin? 
I am Sarah, the daughter of King Sassoon. Okay. Princess Sarah, why did you come to such a place? Since I was wearing the Mithril Ring, I wasn't put under Jin's curse. I came here to help everyone, but I can't make it any farther because of, yeah, because of the monsters. This place is dangerous. Princess Sarah, please wait at the castle. No, I'm going. I'll keep going alone if I have to. Mm. Take me with you. You can't seal Jin without this Mithril Ring. Seems we have no choice. Sarah joined the party. Wait. Do you have five people? Or she's just tagging along. Oh yes! Talk to me- or excuse me, to talk to me, press B, don't forget. I'm Sarah, who might you be? I'm Bits. Nice to meet you. Alright. Oh, so there's a little companion section down there, the bottom, interesting. I like her uh, armor set, man, she looks pretty sick. Alright, let's take a look. <clears throat> Oh, what the fuck? Oh, curse coin? Uh... Alright. Hopefully we don't get cursed. How strong are these coins gonna be? Well, less than 60 HP it seems, that's good. Did we get a jump on them or something? I don't think they attacked. There we are. I definitely want to take care of these things called curse coins, because, uh, they can't be good. Larawai. Hmm. Seems to be some kind of ghost-like mist with an eyeball. As long as I'm not getting status affected, I'm totally okay with whatever's going on. Yeah, I'm going to assume when we're done in here, clearly we're gonna have to go to that castle next, if, um, my companion is from there. <clears throat> hey. Uh, what are we at with HP? Uh, I'm gonna let it roll. Nah, let it roll for another, another battle here. I'm hesitant to run because when I tried to run earlier, uh, it wouldn't let me, basically, so. Hey, Lily. Wow, so I guess the curse coins have less than 40 HP. Hmm. Wasn't expecting that. You know, I'm probably regretting not doing the Red Wizard. Because... The Red Wizard <coughs> would know, uh, you know, the low-level Cure and Pure, right? But have a much better attack than Stall Talk currently has, so I think that was a mistake on my part. I'm debating if I should make a class change. Uh, probably after this dungeon, of course, because currently Stall Talk doesn't really have any weapons. But I think I'm gonna make a uh, class change to Red Wizard. Which does suck, because uh, Staltok has been gaining some... I don't know, I gotta think about that. I gotta think about that. <clears throat> Something to ponder. Hey, leveling up, baby. That's what we like to see. We are not still asleep after battle, I hope. Nope. Alright, let's use Cure, and Cure, and we will chill with the rest of the spells. Don't know how deep this dungeon is. I see some ooh, treasure over there and some more crossbones. Another south wind, nice. Could be helpful in the boss fight that is presumably to come with Jin. Got a bunch of skull and crossbones here. Let's loot this first. Ooh, that looks like Jin to me. Eye drop. Nope, nothing there. It's fine. I'm befuddled at the, uh... Oh, shit! <laughs> uh, I was trying to walk right in front of him and then heal, but... It's Jin! I'll seal him with this ring! Fucking crap. Fwahahahaha! <laughs> uh, excuse me. That thing won't work on me now. I've allied with the great power of darkness. 
let me heal. Come on. Oh, there he is. He's got a nice, uh, freaking power lifter gut there. Alright. Let's attack with Bits, attack with Belmont. Uh, I think I'm going to use my Southwind. Oh, we got two of them. Nice. Did not realize. I probably can't put him to sleep, so I'm gonna attack with my dual wielding daggers. Nice, dude. 264 damage. Can't imagine him having much more than that. So let's attack, and then let's cure ourselves. I do have another south wind if I feel the need. I'm gonna try to go at least two more rounds here, just to see. I would like to save it, you know, obviously, if I find myself more of a pickle. Currently, this seems very manageable. The only issue is, if I have to backtrack out of here, that might be pretty bad. So we'll see. Um... I guess we'll heal Belmont while we have it. And we will attack here again. Good thing I chose to heal Belmont, pretty clearly. I'm gonna go one more round before Southwind. I know I said two, but I just feel like we're in we're in good range here. Let's see. That's okay. 18. 36, there we are. I had a feeling. I want to save my consumable as much as possible, especially the Zeus Rage, which I'm sure is even more powerful than the Southwind. 700 gills, 6 capacity, 40 experience, we got a Stall Talk skill up, we like it. Now, Sarah seals Jin with the ring while he's weak. Sarah raised the ring. Struggling there, but looks like we've sealed him. Thank you, because of you, we're able to seal Jin again. Now, if we put this ring in Sassoon's Holy Spring, we could release Jin's curse. Let's use the ring's power to warp- Nice, that's what we like to see! Oh, right- Wow, right to the freaking spring, huh? Tossing him in. Do we have him as an Esper? Thanks for your help. I guess this is goodbye. I mustn't leave my father's side. I'd like to go with you, but I'm sure I'd just get in the way. Sarah, please come back and visit when your journey is over. I'll be waiting. Hmm. Princess Sarah, be sure to come back. I'll be waiting. Okay, I remember that. Maybe we have to touch base with you at the end of the game. Kind of like Dragon Warrior, you have to go back and usually talk to people. Throne room? What happens if we go back down? Hey, what the fuck? Where were we? <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. Please go see the king. He says he has something to give you. Probably saying the same shit. Oh, crap. I wasn't listening. There is a white slayer in the left tower. It's a holy sword with power against the undead, but only a red wizard can yield it. Ah, right, you know what? Hmm. A secret route in the treasure... Why would you tell me? I thank you sincerely for resealing Jin and rescuing Princess Sarah. Please take this, it may be of use to you. Ah, right, I got the canoe, nice! I thought I was gonna have to use that to get into uh, that place to begin with, but... I guess not. <clears throat> All right, any kind of uh, secret passageway here? Just checking. Nope. Are those stairs, I guess? Hey. Let's just check everywhere, you know? Mashing buttons. Oh, okay. Shit. Wasn't expecting this, actually. Ah, uh, that brings me over there, eh? Uh-huh. Damn, we got lots to check. Okay, so we still have a downward stair over there. Ah, uh, this looks like we're able to get to the... Yes. Ooh, ice and another leather shield, which I'll probably sell, but I'll keep for now. Should I change Stultok? Red Wizard. Yeah, sure. Alright. That's fine. Remove. Sure. I'm gonna change him. Oops, not you.
All right, and now we'll move you to the front. So it costs less to change back to the White Wizard. Interesting. Do I still have the same amount of jobs? I do. All right, let's equip you as best we can. I obviously know that can't really use too much. Head, leather, body, leather, arms. It's fine. All right. We'll get you a, uh, you could probably use a sword, right? I have to imagine. Shit, now I'm regretting selling that sword. That's fine. Hmm. We'll teach Ice the horse to make him a little bit more formidable. Let's just double check my theory here that I think he should still, yeah, he still knows Cure and Pure. They went from 11 usages down to 8, which is still okay, considering, you know, we went through the first dungeon only using a few. That's not bad. That being said, let's top off in case we run into some shenanigans. Um, is this the secret passage? Or was what I just found the secret passage? <laughs> That's more likely, I suppose. <clears throat> Nope. What in the hell? A Tantha. Oh, nice. So, let's see if you need double Tanthas, though, or if this is actually gonna work properly. Shit, I didn't check how much that was. What was it? 32. 40. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, I th think... Man, some of these, uh, secrets are, like, very <laughs> hidden. Wait. Same path? Okay. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. <clears throat> well, let's return. So we have another stairway down. I'm gonna go back over here and check the other uh, downward stairwell. How did we get through? Up and around? Oh, I see. See, there's a little mark on there. Okay, and there's a little mark here as well. Got it. Makes sense. Thank you, warriors. Thank you, warriors. Oh, can I rest here? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so... That downward stairwell uh, through the secret is probably what brings me into that room I just saw at the treasure chest. But let's verify. Indeed. 1,000 gil, another 1,000 gil, I like it. What is down here? Okay, so that's where we were to throw the Jin ring, interesting. <clears throat> um... Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna go the normal way now, huh? Oops. Okay. Oh, lots going on here. Thank you, warriors. Princess Sarah wanted to see you. Her room is at the top right tower. The left tower has the weapon for the red mage. Hmm. Feel a little bit hesitant to go there without having saved in a little bit, though. I cannot lie. So, what the fuck? Oh, I passed behind it. I was like, what the hell's going on? Thank you, warriors. Thank you, warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do we leave? Hmm. I don't know. Can I leave and come back? You know what? Let's just throw caution to the wind and check out this tower. Left tower. Is it straightforward? 
Looks like it is. Uh... Huh. How do I get to those? There we are. You know, they had shenanigans like that in uh, Final Fantasy IV as well. Where it looks like you really can't go but Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. My spidey senses tell me that if I use cure on you, that will harm you. Did I learn I learned ice not. Okay, well, whatever, fuck it. That's what we like. That is what we like. Yeah, I definitely want to get this sword for Stall Talk since we just changed our class. It's probably not going to hurt that much. Eh, decent amount. They have about 60 HP or less, it appears. So let's just go ahead and fight. And we'll use ice again. We got plenty to burn here. I can't imagine this being too long. It's just a tower literally in their castle. Isn't it a little weird that they, <laughs> that they have a section in their fucking castle where there's enemies though? Like really? <clears throat> Either way. Hey, is that the sword? The white Oh, shite! It is a griffin. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do that. Can I equip... I don't think I can equip uh, my sword yet, clearly, so... <sighs> let's just do that, and let's use ice and see what happens. 28... 32... 3... Griffins typically, and I was gonna say, I thought they were like more fire, but... Ice didn't do as much as I had hoped. But it doesn't seem to be too uh, tough of a fight here if it's only casting low level fire and missing some spells. Yep, there we go. We like it, we like it. Let's equip the White Slayer. Oops, wrong section. Currently at 5 attack. Now down to 3, and 17. Mm, not bad. Seems to be more of a um, situational use sword, perhaps. Obviously, uh, undead enemies in this tower probably be uh, heavily affected by a dark eye, huh? Interesting. Well, I believe we're on the second to last floor here, so we shall use some magic. Pretty cool sprite work, you know, for a minimal enemy, if you will. Seems to have 40 HP. Let's see if the White Slayer does some damage. Almost, almost a one-hit KO. Not bad. <clears throat> well, we got what we wanted. Uh, thankfully, we didn't get bamboozled. I was a little concerned about going here without saving. But we survived, and not only that, but we got some arrows. I'm not quite sure who, if, when we will be using arrows. Uh, if I remember correctly, while the hunter, or whatever the hell the class is actually called, job, uh, does appeal to me, if I remember correctly, I think I saw that it wasn't uh, that great of a class to use. More arrows, huh? Holy and wooden. Oh, lots of shit. Potion, a bow. Oh, we got a bow in case we need it. Princess Sarah talks about you every day. Oh, yeah? The truth is, I want to go with you, but I'm sure I just get in the way. Princess Sarah. Come see me when your journey is over. I'll be waiting. Let's sleep in the princess bed. <laughs> oh, shit, did something happen? Oh. We did like a little weird spinorama, so I was wondering if uh, she was kind of pissed or something along those lines, but... Anyway... We are all rested. And now that we've defeated Jin, let's return to the town of Kazis, 
and potentially uh, we could find a way to bust through that set of rock that is in the uh, overworld area. Because I believe, yeah, we, we have to bust through there because uh, our airship can't pass through the mountains. So yeah, that would be the next stop. Where is our airship, by the way? Oh, it's, okay, I get it. So our airship is probably still parked outside of the, what is it, the Cave of the Seal. Um, and the canoe will allow us to go retrieve it. And then I'm gonna fly my airship uh, back to Kazus. And presumably, we'll be able to, uh, let's see, perfect. Nice. I'm gonna guess that Kazus is gonna give us the ability to blow up that boulder as well as... Oh, I bet you the TNT or the dynamite must be in that cave. The cave that we were unable to do anything in earlier. So anyways, guys, it's a good place to stop. Pretty successful trip. Uh, we went through the Cave of the Seal, defeated Jin, and then kind of locked him back up in the Mithril. Uh, we then went to Sassoon Castle, got a bunch of good loot, lots of praise. Uh, a class change to stall talk, which I kind of regret not doing a little bit earlier, but it is what it is. It's okay. Uh, we got a lot of gill now, which is good, and we will see what Cassis has to offer after uh, the ghost people have been kind of returned back to their normal form. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like the video. Comment if you haven't already. I do my best to reply to all comments on all videos. And subscribe, baby! I'll see you guys in the next part of the playthrough. Take care. What's up guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 3 on the Famicom slash NES. This is part 4. Quick recap of the last part, in case you missed it. Um, we defeated and sealed off and then freed Jin. I think that was, what was that place called? The uh, Cave of the Seal. Uh, from there we went to Sassoon Castle, uh, where we met, um, I believe it was the princess. Uh, and pretty much there we looted a little bit. Uh, we also ended up changing our class, or job, uh, for stall talk to uh, Red Wizard from the White uh, white Mage, White Wizard. <clears throat> uh, and while we were at the castle, we ended up getting a sword for stall talk, which is good for, uh, against, I think, like, undead enemies, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, the White Slayer. Uh, we also retrieved a canoe, um, and we got our airship back. So the canoe allowed us to go back over the uh, body of water uh, by the Cave of the Seal, where our airship was parked. Uh, and then we traveled back to the town of Kazus, which is where we were before. So the reason why we returned here um, is there was like some cave that featured enemies that ended up being uh, in the Cave of the Seal. Uh, it seemed like it was an odd area. There clearly was something going on, and I'm going to assume since Jin was defeated, the town will not only be bustling with people, but beyond that, uh, I'm sure something will end up triggering in that cave, so let's go in and see. Alright. Yep. We got people in here now, so that's cool. Is that Sid? I knew you could do it. I'm sure you can make better use of the airship than I could. Anyway, take me to the town of Kanan, where Granny's waiting, please. Alright, so it looks like Sid is our companion now. <clears throat> Look at him down there. Oh, he changed his outfit, just like that. How about that? Pretty crazy. Alright, so while we're here, um, let's take a look and talk to everybody, clearly. I'm guessing this is the recovery spring. Nice. There was one... We'll talk to all the people first. Kazus has grown around the Mithril Mines. Mithril weapons and armor are all produced here. Nice. Taka is the best smith in town. He lives alone in this house. The Nelb Valley was blocked by a large rock after the earthquake. That was the, the rock that I saw when I was exploring the overworld last night. Thank you, because of you, we're back to ourselves. And here's that cave. This is the Mithril Mine. Ooh, we could probably get some uh, Mithril weapons and stuff there now. Let's see what this guy... Is he gonna make, like, the Excalibur for us or something? 
We have to crush that boulder, but maybe if you could put a mithril bow in the airship, just a minute, I'll do it right. There we go. <clears throat> so that's how we're gonna break the boulder. I thought maybe it'd be like TNT or dynamite or something, but it's finished. No need to thank me. You kids saved the whole village. Now we have to smash the boulder with the airship. No, not yet. We still have a few things to do here, okay? Relax. Uh, let's check the inn real quick. Was there anything... Yeah, there's some people in here. There's a secret entrance at the end of the mine. Try the wall three steps from the left. Okay. Thank you, because you were back to ourselves. So that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, I knew there had to be something going on in that in that cave, and then we found out it is a mithril mine. Thanks to you, I got my pretty face back. Teehee. You're welcome. Alright. Um, you know what? First, we're actually gonna go in the mine. I wanna see what I get there before I end up, like, buying something I don't need. But, um... Plus, we'll also get a little bit more gill, since there were enemies in there. <clears throat> Alright, so apparently it was three steps from the left, towards the end. Are these the same... I feel like the skeletons were not shadows last time. Maybe I was wrong now. That's right. That white sword, though. I should probably uh, have Staltok attack separately from the rest. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm blinded. Oh, I forgot that I know the ice spell for horse. Damn, that didn't kill him. Wow. That guy must have, like, literally, like, one HP left or something. <laughs> but thankfully, since we have the battle auto-rerouting in this game, we're totally fine. Alright, so two of our people are blinded. Let's use pure. Doesn't work. Interesting. Okay. Um... It's an echo screen, right? Or would it be Echo Herb? You know what? I never looked it up, and I'm a lazy piece of shit, and I still haven't done my unboxing. Final Fantasy III, uh, NES Echo Herb. Let's see what they do here. Oh, there's only a couple of them. Uh, spell effect? Cure Silence. Okay. Well, I'm not silenced. Oh, I dropped. Derp. There we are. Alright, three steps from the left. One, two, three. There we are. Nice. Let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, here we are with the curse coins again. Let's try a, uh... Try an ice all and see how weak it is. <laughs> eh. Not terrible. Seems like in these battles with, uh, three rows, the auto attack actually goes towards the back row. And then typically you miss there, probably, unless you have a long-range weapon, so I have to be more mindful with that. But when it's a four enemy or less battle, I really don't have to pay, mu uh, pay much attention in terms of, uh, which enemy I'm targeting first. Definitely you need to bolster Staltok's defense as well. Seems to be pretty weak. Maybe we'll get some, uh, mithril armor or something here. <clears throat> that should be it. Good shit. Alright, um, well, let's go ahead and cure. I guess we'll cure bits too while we're at it.
Man, not that I don't enjoy playing games on the TV, because ultimately I feel like it's the best way to do it, for being honest. Um, but this game, and shit like, you know, basically all RPGs, especially the 8-bit era, I have a uh, flash cart for my Nintendo DS that I bought a long time ago. And um, stuff like that would be perfect for, uh, for these types of games. Also, for those that don't have patience, um, the emulator that was on the flash cart for it uh, actually had like a fast forward function, so. For those of you that don't like the grind, although I do personally feel like fast forwarding takes away from the experience. <clears throat> Just my purest opinion. See what we got here. Two mithril swords. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna double up with bits. Seems to be probably the play here. Twenty-one, forty-two. I like it. Get me out of here. I might try my hand at running soon. One time I tried to run, it was unsuccessful. <laughs> Man, I'll reiterate the uh, encounter rates in this game though. So much lower, man. So much lower. Um, actually... So, is this recovery spring just to revive fallen warriors, or does it recover everything? We shall see. So it does just recover fallen warriors. Got it. I was gonna say, that kind of makes uh, the inns irrelevant then, doesn't it? <clears throat> no matter. Uh, maybe I'll buy a couple eye drops. I gotta be careful. Like I said, they don't give you much confirmation when you buy items in this game, so you can kind of sit there and accidentally keep pressing the button and not realize it. Did that earlier in the game. Wait, now that I'm thinking about it, are all ins free? Because I can't... In this game, you can't speak through the desk to people. And you pretty much just walk up and sleep in the bed, so I don't know. Either that or it charges you uh, without letting you know. Who knows? I'm gonna switch to Stall Talk leading the party. How about that? Alright, let's see what kind of stuff they have to offer now in terms of uh, magic and weaponry and armory. I'm hoping for a fire spell. That'd be nice. Uh huh. I'm gonna buy two of them. How about that? You know, I'm also gonna buy ice. Like that shit? Alright. The beauty of the red wizard. So we're gonna do that, do that, and do that. Oh, I can't carry anymore. That's right. That's right. So you know what? I'll teach it to bits. For future reference. <clears throat> so stall talk. Yes, knows fire, cure. And horse now knows ice, fire, and sleep. Can I remove magic spells? Is the question. Oh, I didn't even realize he could swap between people. So that's cool. Alright. Um, can't quite tell. It looks like we might be locked into our spells. Uh, so hopefully they don't give you too much variety, otherwise I might end up regretting uh, learning something like sleep, to be honest with you. Okay, so we have... Mithril daggers, more mithril swords. I'm glad I didn't buy those then, huh? Uh, let's go double mithril daggers. <clears throat> Sounds like a plan to me. Let's take note of what we have here. 20. Okay. 
And 24, I mean, eh? You know, incremental increase. Uh, we got four extra attack, and at the end of the day, you know, we could obviously sell. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the bow for now. Let me double check the leather helmet situation, but I'm pretty sure that we're good there. Right? Yeah, because we had the Mithril helmet and everybody else has leather, okay, so that's fine. And Belmont currently has a Tonfa and a Nunchuck, so we don't need the other Nunchuck. <clears throat> Sell that, and that. Perfect. Rearrange some inventory. Woo! Okay, we're probably gonna move that up here. Move uh, normal consumables up here, and then these are. So I should space it out a little bit. Extra weaponry, attack consumables, and normal healing consumables. And what do we got here? We got some more Mithril. Give me up. Uh huh. I fucking love it. All right. So, let me think, let me think. Thinking uh, Mithril Armor is definitely in play here for both Bits and Stall Talk. One, two. The Mithril Shield. The shields seem rather irrelevant. Um, I'm gonna have to bump out. I can't remember if Stall Talk is dual wielding or not. We'll buy two, one Mithril Helm. I already have one. Two Mithril Gauntlets and two Mithril Rings. Let's check the shield situation. Yes, indeed. Let's buy a shield. Oops. Cool. All right, now let's equip these babies. Uh, sure. So we have eight, nine, eh. I was expecting a little bit more of a bump than we got there, but it's okay. So we're going from defense nine to... Oh, he can't wear shit. My bad. Also, I think I forgot to equip the gauntlet. 10, okay. Yeah, stall talk was the, uh, the lucky one. So we go Mithril. Mithril. And Mithril. Oh, nice. So he's actually got higher defense than bits, huh? Yep. Interesting. <clears throat> and horse. Was it just the gauntlet? Yes. Or, excuse me, the ring? Alright. Let's definitely sell everything off then. Did I buy an extra Mithril ring by accident? Oh, I didn't equip the fucking shield either. Yikes! I'm not gonna lie, I'm uh, yearning for the days of the, uh, what do they call it? It's kind of like the auto-equip where it'll uh, kind of do the, the best possible numbers that it can for you immediately, and then you can go in and tinker around if needed. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, 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 so it would be... Huh. Then... 12... 13. Ah! And can he wear the gauntlet? He cannot. So I bought an extra gauntlet for no reason, I believe. Yes, indeed, I did. That's fine. I'll just sell that back and sell the two coppers. Uh, and the Mithril Shield, did we decide? 13. 15. Good stuff. Staltox actually a fucking beast right now. <laughs> he could heal, use fire, and he's got pretty good defense. I think he might have the highest defense on my team right now. So sell that, that's fine. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. You know, considering how much stuff we got, dude, I'm pretty happy with that. 
Uh, let's check the defenses real quick. Uh, where are we here? We have 10, 15, 9, 4. Uh, 9, 5, 2, 1. 15, 12, yeah. So Staltok is definitely our defensive warrior. Yeah, Staltok is overall, I think, the best the best party member we have at the moment. Soak it in, Staltok. Relish in this victory. Alright, I think we've done everything we need to do in this town. So now we can get into our airship and use our... What was it? They said it was technically like a bow or something. Let's crash into that rock. Bam! Oh! Ah, oh, we lost the airship already, dude? Man. That's a little rough. It's a little rough. Killer bees! Back uh, to the DS theory, this would definitely be one of those fights where you'd probably just hold down the A button and hold the fast forward down. Not really much uh, thought going into it. But why run away when you can get some cheap experience and some more gill out of it, right? Would have been nice to clear them all in one hit, but the dual-wielding mithril dagger horse was not able to get it done. <laughs> Hey, look at that, a low level fight gets us our level up. Oh, I see a mountain. And we have a town here, probably Kanan. Indeed it is. Just tell me if there's anything I could do for you. Maybe you could use another airship. Go see King Argus. The king knows the secret of airships. Come back again anytime. No problem. Damn. What an easy, uh, escort quest for Sid. <laughs> you walk, like, fucking ten steps. It is said that there's a town of midgets in the forest of south of here. Wow, jeez, that's not politically correct anymore, Final Fantasy. Come on now. I heard that a traveling wizard hid a magic potion somewhere in this town. Oh, now you're gonna have me fucking clicking around. This is some bullshit. Alright. Let's see what we got. What? Desh? That jerk swindled our daughter, Serena. I don't know what to do. He went off on a trip, saying there was something he had to search for. Serena won't stop crying. Oh, fuck. What did I get? I, <laughs> I didn't even see it, dude. I didn't even see it. Um, what do we got? Luck mallet. Oh, my inventory fucking reorganized. What is this shit? No. I didn't sign up for that. Alright, I think the luck mallet, if I remember correctly, um... <sighs> I think it confuses or charms an enemy, but if you use it on yourself, it cures that same thing. I could be completely off base, but I, I believe that's the case. <clears throat> oh, Desh, even though I feel so much for you. Sob, sob. You went to the southern mountain, where they say a dragon lives. Ooh. What kind of dragon we talking? Oh. Well, I stumbled upon a... Secret passage. All for a soft. I guess it's better than nothing, right? So dragon, are, are we talking... Are we talking Big B? Are we talking Bahamut? Can't possibly be Bahamut so early, right? <clears throat> oh, another dancer up there. Oh, shit. Wait, how do I get into the water? Is it gonna be one of the old, the dancer who pushes me into the water situations? Let's take a look. They do this in Final Fantasy IV, don't they? do that twice, guys. I'm sorry. I was low-key hoping, uh, you know, maybe I, I ask her to dance again and she slaps me or something. It is what it is. <clears throat> Alright, let's talk to the townsfolk first before we start looking for crap. 
The magic arrow uses the wind to cause damage. It works really well on monsters that fly. So you're trying to tell me that it's probably good on uh, the dragon, huh? Noted. You can become tiny with the magic mini, but I've sold the last one to a guy called Desh. Fucking Desh. A traveler called Desh came through this town, but he soon went off somewhere again. Hmm. Hey, it looks like it's Sid's house, huh? I <laughs> like how you could walk into the fireplaces. It's just... It's funny. Oh no, Granny got worse while I was away. If only we had the magical medicine elixir. Cough, cough. No, I don't think we have an elixir yet, buddy. They did say that there was a magic potion in town. Are they referring to the elixir? I guess would be the question. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Ah, son of a bitch, I touched the fire. They hide like switches though on, <laughs> on the fire, so it's like, fuck. You gotta be really careful, especially like if you're uh, really close to death or something along those lines. We do have running water, what's up here? Ah, that's how we find our way into said water, so... There was a pot or something over here, right? Did that hurt me? I think it did. God damn! The devs love the fucking uh, environmental... Oh, there was no pot, but there was a plot of land, and you can't walk over here, so we probably have the elixir. We got the elixir, but Sid, my man. Elixirs are fucking precious cargo. Do I really have to give it to your wife? Does that hurt one? Yeah, it hurts one per every step, so that's not too bad. It's similar to how it was in Final Fantasy 2. <clears throat> when the water was hurting you. Well, let's cure... Oh no, it was Granny, right? right? Not, um... Not Sid's wife. Man, I got lights on right now that are shining right into my eyes after this playthrough. I need to fucking turn that shit off. Uh, oh yeah, I pop this up, right? And... Elixir? Oh, fucking hell, dude. Okay. I was making sure it didn't use it. There we are. I would have been 100% hanging from the bathroom if I used that elixir. And, like, it didn't do anything, basically. <clears throat> wow, thanks to you, I'm feeling so much better. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And? Hello? Now I've been helped by you twice. Alright, try pushing that candle in the wall there. It opens the way to my old storage area. Maybe you'll find... Okay. <sighs> Fool me once, but... Not twice, apparently. Touching the candles. <clears throat> Aha! Oh, there's a stairwell over there. Huh, cool. Let's see what we got. Iron arrow, another soft, a phoenix down, okay. Blind, interesting. Great bow. Ah, oh, what was that, midget what? Uh, midget bread. So I'm wondering if that's a, a weapon, or excuse me, an item that we give to, again, their words, not mine. The midgets to the south. <clears throat> More midget bread. Potion. I'm torn on the bows. You know what I mean? Also blind. How do we know what, what spell level that is? You know what I'm saying? Uh, blind. I guess if it's maybe like spell level 2? It appears like it might be. It is. So how do we know what spell level it is? Oh, do we... I actually have no idea. <laughs> I thought I knew. Hmm. Is it just like a guessing game? Kind of sucks if that's the case. Ah, more secrets. 
Potion. Soft. Another Phoenix down. And more arrows. We're getting lots of arrows, man. Lots of arrows. Is the game, like, trying to get me to do, like, some kind of, uh, archer class of some sort? I don't think that we could switch to anything like that yet, right? No. Just the base stuff. <clears throat> now, I can't remember if the, um, jobs become unlocked with the higher skill levels, or if they're things that you have to gain, uh, similarly to how we touched that crystal, uh, and then we got the job, but, eh, we'll figure that out, I suppose. Oh, let's see what we got here. Lily, stop fucking with that centipede, okay? It's not time for me to end this. So we have more mithril across the board, looks like it's very similar stuff. And let's give a quick check to the magic and the weaponry. What do we got? Pure bolt. Oh, we got bolt here. Hmm, that's gotta be a level two, right? Venom. That might be something to consider. But for now. Um. You know, I'll figure that out afterwards. And more of the same there as well. Okay, so... Thinking that... We should probably rest at the inn. Where was the, uh, healing fucking... You know, the revival thing? Did I miss something in here? Oh, yeah, it's right here. My bad. Well, let's definitely rest at the inn. Uh, and then I'm gonna say that probably the next place to go would be that mountain. But I'm not positive. Do you have anything new here for sales? Or more of the same as well? Potion eye drop antidote, it's fine. Oh, I will rest well. Stall talk the goat right now, so he gets the uh, he gets the sprite work. <clears throat> you know, not I wouldn't say this was, uh, you know, heavy on the action in this particular part of the playthrough, but, man, lots of good loot and lots of good, uh, story advancement. I mean, not mainline story stuff, but secondary. Um, let's teach Bolt. It's gotta be level two, right? Yeah. And we're level two, baby. So, oh, he actually leveled up a level three spell. Um, I'm gonna sleep on Venom. I don't know if I want to buy that one or not, but... Hey, for now, I'm pretty happy with uh, what we accomplished in this part of the playthrough. In the next part, we plan on going to that mountain just to the south east of where we are standing, and we'll see what that holds. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the playthrough. I'm actually really liking Final Fantasy 3. It's like, it's tough to explain. Even though Final Fantasy 1's story seems to be somewhat generic, I kind of feel a little bit more engrossed with that game. I mean, at least so far. I feel like Final Fantasy 3 so far has been kind of bang-bang, but, like, it's simplistically elegant? I don't know. Do you guys understand what I'm trying to say? 2, it feels, like, really convoluted. Uh, 1 is a very generic story, but it works, and you f it feels more like an epic, and I'm sure, there's, you know, stuff will change in time with 3, but right now it seems very point A to point B, you know, simplistic in nature, but overall enjoyable, so, I mean, I can't complain. Anyways, guys, if you've liked the video, please leave a like, comment if you haven't already, I do my best to reply to all comments in all videos, and subscribe! Let's get that sub number up, baby. I want to keep pounding out some more retro content for you guys, and I hope, above all else, if you have already subscribed or you're thinking about subscribing, that you just enjoy retro content. And, uh, you know, kick back, relax, and unwind, right? Anyways, I will see you in the next part of the playthrough. Take care. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 3 on the Famicom slash NES. This is part 5 already. Uh, the last part wasn't crazy eventful. For those of you that missed it, um, after Sassoon Castle, we returned to the town of Kazis where everything was returned to normal. 
Uh, we looted the Mithril Cave for a few swords. We got an upgrade for our airship, which allowed us to bust through the rock that was blocking the path uh, that ultimately led to the town of Canaan, where I'm standing on right now. Uh, we also did a, a little bit of shopping in Kazis, uh, and then we went to Canaan, where we did a, a little bit of searching, a little bit of buying, rested at the inn, and we did a little side quest with, uh, I think it was, I think it was Sid's wife. I feel like he said Granny. I don't remember. Either way, uh, there was a hidden elixir in town that people alluded to. We gave it to her, and then he gave us uh, access to his, um, basically treasury. Uh, and now, we're gonna be heading to the mountain just below us. We pretty much got word that there was Bohemet, so I'm a little... a little scared. <laughs> I don't know if I'm at the right level or not. I haven't really grinded yet. Um, I did a little bit of grinding in the one playthrough, but nothing crazy. Uh, I guess there's really only one way to find out, right? Um, how many potions do we have? I have 20. I guess that's probably good enough. I really want to move this shit down, so I'm, I, like, organized my stuff, and the game automatically reorganized for some reason, and I don't necessarily know why. I wanted to keep, like, all the excess, um weaponry down below and kind of out of the way with consumables and shit at the top. Uh, I drop antidote, echo, or er, phoenix down, soft. So Zeus's rage, south wind, I think luck mallet is not an attack consumable. We got midget bread as well. Alright, well anyways, let's, uh, I guess we'll go see what's up here, I mean... <laughs> not much so... That's fucking Bohemet. I'm a little scared. That was uh, a little intimidating. So yeah... Anyway, I like the music here. Dive Eagle. You know what? You guys look very similar <sighs> to the Coctresses. Mmm. The fact that you hit one has me a little shook. Also, I hit you like 70 HP and you didn't die, so that's not a good sign. We'll see how far we can get, but we might end up having a grind, we'll see. I don't know. I'm very confused. They have to have, like, a uh, petrification... ...if they're hitting me only one. There's, like, there's no way. Hey, crit. Timely. Timely, baby. treasure chest over there. Oh, I wanted to hear the music. Okay, so we have four dive eagles. Let's attack. Attack. Um, shall we ice? Hmm. We'll ice you. And maybe we'll... Wait, why does... Why does horse know cure and pure? I'm confused. Cure, pure. Did something happen? Why does... Oh shit, did I swap magic? I know I taught cure, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember teaching pure to him. I'm pretty sure Staltok knew pure. I think I might have accidentally swapped magic, which, um, I don't, obviously didn't want to do that, so. I guess we'll see after this fight. Little befuddled at the moment. Thank you so much, devs, for making magic fast. Magic was so fucking slow in Final Fantasy 2, dude. 
So slow. Yo, how's that guy still alive, man? Both of you. God damn. Well, that sucks. <laughs> so I think I'll do that. Apparently I can't do math in my head because I pretty much thought that all these guys would be dead by now. But, uh, they are not. Yes, so they are cockatrices. Fuck. Well, that's no good. Kind of expected that to be the case. We did get a soft, though, so that's good. If four. Could be worse. Alright, what is going on with the magic? Swap. Use swap with oh okay it's with stall talk right I'm I'm fucking confused okay oh I see so we completely swapped level one spells. Got it. So that means... Alright, I'm still confused, actually. So now Stall Talk only knows Ice and Cure. <sighs> Fuck, dude. What did I do? I... Can I... Okay. Bolt Blind Cure. I did something in my magic that I didn't want to do. Whoa! Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my god, I'm all fucked up. What the hell did I do with my magic? Ice Cure. I want him to know Pure. So what happened? Is pure back in my inventory? It is, okay. Good. So that system's a little confusing if we're being completely honest with each other. So now horse knows fire, ice, sleep, but he needs to know like bolt and shit, so we need to get bolt and blind back. Bolt. Oops and blind. Now are we good? Ice, cure, pure, sure. And fire, ice, sleep, bolt, blind. That looks about normal. And did I teach extra fire? No, I feel like I didn't. I, I taught an extra cure, but I didn't teach extra fire. I think fire should be for stall talk, right? Can't carry anymore, okay. Magic, pure, pure ice. Hmm. Alright, well, it looks like it's all really interchangeable. I'm learning on the fly here, guys. You have to bear with me. I'll just have bits note for now, and that's fine. Anyway, the music in here is wonderful. Oh, cool. We got a soft, so that's good. Whoa! Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and probably focus on... ...teaming up on you here. And maybe we'll do... Maybe we'll do a little bit of bolt action. I'm intimidated by their sprites, if we're being honest. The arrow magic would work really good against these guys. Since they fly. So they definitely have like over 100 HP. 
sucks. <clears throat> Come on. Can we at least kill one or two of them this turn, please? We are getting fucked up. <laughs> Not going so well in here. Alright. Worst case scenario, we take him out in two turns, I guess. 32. Miss is always welcomed. I'm just gonna do attacks across the board. I gotta save my, uh, my cures for killing the boys. Misses are not good. Misses are not good. Bless Thaltok's, uh, defense, though. Okay, all in all, not too bad. I'm still shook about the, uh, the magic swap thing. It's it's interesting mechanic, but, uh, I didn't know that that existed, so... Really caught me off guard. Might as well use... Well, you know what? I take that back. Let's use some consumables. I want to save a few ice spells. Considering I don't have any, uh, ethers or anything of the sort. So... I'm gonna stop there. That's fine. What do we have on this path? Ooh, arrow magic, baby! Um... That is an attack spell, so... Do we have an empty slot? I'm assuming it's a level 2. Could possibly be a level 3 spell. Wish I knew. Wait, it's white magic? Eh? Well... Worst case scenario, we just remove it, right? Yeah, so it's white magic, huh? So that means Stall Talk would be able to know it. Okay, cool. So we have three uses of that. That's that's gonna be uh, probably in handy as we push along. Okay, um, Rustbird and Fireflies. Uh, weird. I'll do that to all, and fire all. See what's up. I mean, that's, that's pretty decent damage, if I do say so myself. And, uh, wow, we're gonna get fucked up here, aren't we? Oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I use fire on them? They're called fire fries. Son of a bitch. Big mistake on my part. Yeah, we are, uh... We're getting kind of messed up here. I'm gonna focus on attacking you guys, then. Oh, ice would work really well. Duh. Next turn, I guess. Good. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's focus on taking you guys out then. Ice. And. I'm gonna say that the the ice will plus with the um physical attack should be able to take them out. I can hope and pray. Ooh, wrong guy. Fucking hell, dude. Don't kill Belmont, please. Nice. That was very timely. <sighs> Alright. Can I just use... Actually, no, 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 no. I want to attack. And we'll see if we can get a potion off. Maybe? There we are. Weird, it scrolls to the right instead of up and down. That's kind of strange, huh? Don't attack Belmont. Don't do it. Fuck. Damn, the potions, they heal a lot, man. 
I didn't realize that. Hmm. They like here a lot a lot more than cure level one, that's for sure. Um I guess I'll do that just because he's kinda low. I'll keep horse where he is. We are running quite low on some of our attack magic slots though. So I'm a little concerned about that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't think it's a good idea to run away right now. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. Come on. Hit at least 30 apiece. Eh, good enough, I guess. Oof! Should be getting good experience here, at least. I'm gonna have to stock up on, uh, potions when I leave, though. That's for fucking sure. Uh, let's try ice all. Yes, keep attacking stall talk. Don't attack Belmont. He has, like, no fucking defense. So ice works better than fire. Uh, let's just go attack across the board. I'm feeling lucky. Cool. Get a good one there, Belmont. Meh. But the enemy missed. Not the end of the world. Perfect. Alright, let's conserve our magic. Use some consumables. We found a potion too, which is great. And another soft, which is good in case we end up getting... Petrified! Yo, this fucking song is sick, man. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> Big empty area. Uh... Oh... Mm. Hmm. <laughs> so it appears... Can I save here? Oh, we can. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save here. Just in case I kind of fucked myself. So it looks like we're at like a midway point. We're back on the map, but if I were to press down, obviously I'd have to uh, traverse back through that, which would be a little rough at the moment. Um. <sighs> we are grabbed by Bahamut. We are in Bahamut's nest. Wark? What's over here? Fire? Is it gonna hurt me? What is it? Russell. Whoa, what a surprise to run into someone here. Did you get caught by the dragon too? And you are? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm Desh. I'm Staltok. Uh, so that's funny, so depending on who I have help, we'll uh... You know, initiate conversation or whatever. That's cool. I can't remember anything besides my name. I know there's something I gotta do. But I have no idea what it could be. Uh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna help me not get fucking eaten? Or burned alive? Uh-oh, the dragon's back. Hide! Oh boy. Shit, I skipped the dialogue. And this is Bahamut. And you know what? There's no fucking way we're gonna win this fight. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, they would not drop a helmet so early into this fucking game, man. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There's no way. Uh, so this is either gonna be... a fight that we just die. There's no way. There's no way we could do it. And I just saved. Let's try running. We, we're like 100% gonna die if we fight. There's not a chance. It worked? Woo! That was close. Come on, let's get out of here. Wow, dude, really? I figured I would try that, and if it didn't work, I was just gonna like... ...fucking defend until I died or something. I was gonna maybe try to wait it out. 
Here, take this. I can't do anything with this magic. It's mini. Hey, why don't I come with you? Uh, we wouldn't mind, but... Then it's decided. We're partners. Nice meeting you. Dash, join the party. So this game... In Final Fantasy 2, you constantly have a slot open until the tail end of the game, um, where people will just go in and out of your party, and they're actually, like, usable uh, characters. But in this game, it seems like you constantly get companions, and they're kind of along the way for uh, various quests and stuff, which is pretty interesting. Let's go! Ready? Jump! Am I... Please tell me I'm, like, completely off. I don't want to go back. Where the fuck am I, dude? Where is this? <laughs> and what is with the, uh, the the outfit changes? Like, Dash is in, like, green now? I don't think he was in green before, was he? So I got the mini magic, which is, uh, interesting. I guess I'll give that to probably the red wizard? Is it a white, white magic, right? Where is it? Yeah, white magic, so... Uh, and I'm guessing it's a level 2 or level 3. Level 2, sure. Uh, I don't remember if I saved, but let's do it. It's fine. Okay. Um, well, looks like we don't really have many places to go. So, with that being said... Oh! It's a little mini-deed. Oh, the, they said the midgets, right? I came from the forest of midgets to the south. Uh, the town in the forest can only be found by midgets. So do you... Oh, do we cast a mini on ourselves? That's funny. HP and MP restored. Anything different over here? Status restored. Oh, cool, so it heals everything, and then the top is probably reviving. Nice. So in order to get into this town, we have to be small, it says. So we probably have to cast a uh, mini on ourselves. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, oops. All right, so I think everybody probably has to be in the same row in order to cast it once, because we don't want to waste all of our slots. Uh... I don't know how f close or how far this place is, so I'm gonna save again. Because if we cast mini on ourselves and we end up fighting in battle, doesn't it mean we suck ass or something? Alright, we're all small. Tosus. Oh, my companion's small, too. That's funny. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is really funny. You're new around here, aren't you? This is funny as hell, man. Okay, so now we have to pay to stay, which we don't want to. you have any new items? Potion, eye drop, antidote. Uh, I guess I'll buy a couple potions. <clears throat> That's funny, man. Let's talk to people. We're the midgets! We're content people. Dr. Shelko knows a secret route to the Myraluka Valley. I heard there's a living forest somewhere. I wonder if the fairies there are cute. Dr. Shelko's stomach is hurting terribly. No one can help him. He's the only doctor in the village. Alright, so that's like an inn. Uh, Alright, let's check what this place is then. Hey, magic! Ooh, we have quite a bit here. Hmm. Let me think, yeah? Fire, ice, sleep, bolt, venom, blind. So we could. Oh, you know what? I don't have. I would actually buy arrow for somebody, but. It's only a white magic spell. If it was black magic, certainly, but... Yeah, I'm gonna pass, I think. <clears throat> Oops. What do we have down here? Potentially a weapon area. Anything in these pots? Nope. 
Midget bread possesses a magical power. It's the same power as the magic sight. Okay. I think sight would probably be... I'm guessing sight would either increase your accuracy of hitting, or it allows you to see your enemy stats. I can't tell which one. You can see the world using midget bread. Midget bread. Hmm, I wonder... Like, is it that important? We already have two of them, right? Uh, yes, two midget breads. It is noted, okay? Oop. Oh my god, why can't I leave? Is something in my way all the time? This guy in my way? Get out of here. Alright. Kind of an odd placement, huh? Is there something over here? Two. Well, what did I else? Fuck. I didn't see what I picked up. Cloth. Mithril. So let's teach Cure 2 to stall talk. What did I pick up? A burning wand. Mmm. Now does that... Or burning staff, excuse me. Um... Uh, everybody has a Mithril ring, right? And I don't think Belmont could even equip that. That's fine. What about the burning staff? I guess I can't really tell what the fuck is an upgrade until I'm not a mini anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, antidote, please. I'm saved. Must have been something I ate, but I'm fine now. Why don't you try going down the stairs? They lead to a hidden road to Myra Luca. Heard about the hidden road. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Well, we have to stay small, which means we can only use magic, which is kind of rough. So I'm thinking... Well... I guess, worst case scenario, we just die and have to do it again. I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Another Mithril. And a Mithril uh, wand or staff. Well, again, kind of irrelevant at the moment because we're mini. Which means we can't do shite. Oh yeah, we have to run. <laughs> oh man, when you're mini, uh, you walk very slowly too. Interesting. Hey, we ran away, so that's cool. Hopefully this path is straightforward. I like the colors in here. <clears throat> Fucking leprechauns, man. Continue on with the good luck here, please. I'm small, you shouldn't be able to hit me. Give me a break. Am I dropping Gil when I run? Is that in this game? I don't know the answer. Um, I'm gonna run. Run. I'm just gonna keep running, fuck it. I don't know what's up ahead, you know what I mean? Might be like a boss battle or something. though. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna have a tougher time running away here. No? Okay. Let me go! Well, the running has been very successful so far, so let's just continue on. I think if we end up, uh, somehow running up into a brick wall, hopefully it's against these encounters with only two enemies, so it's not too big of a deal. 
Oh my god, it's probably because I'm running, right? The kind of rates go up. I wonder if they instituted... Like in later games, uh, you can hold like L and R and shit and it'll um, let you run away faster. As opposed to having to choose it. I'm right by some kind of exit, so let's... Oh no, I can't run. There we go. Let me out. Whew. Ooh, we are back on the overworld, people. Alright, um... I think that it's probably... Time to go back to my big size, right? I can't run away from everything forever. <laughs> so if I use mini again on everybody, does that reverse it? It does. Perfect. So let's put up, up, up. And now we can check out some of the stuff that we got. Um, what do we get? We get the... The burning, the mithril... Cloth. I don't think that really means anything. Can he wear the mithril? Ten. No. Didn't think so. So that's gonna be a selling fodder for sure. Um, just curious here. So we got 26. Now what happens if I dual wield? Oh, he can't use burning? Really? Huh. That's interesting. Well, I guess we're uh, gonna be selling that as well. Uh, so, the, can Staltok use it? I'm sure it's not any good for him. Ten. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep with the uh, the White Slayer. I'm gonna keep that though, because it probably like casts like some kind of fire spell or something if I could use it in battle. But um, anyway. Seems like a good place to save. So that was very interesting, huh? We went to the, uh, again... They called it a midget town, not me. Their words, not mine. The town of Tozus. Uh, in order to enter it, we needed to be, uh, small. We got the mini spell, uh, from our friend... What the fuck is his name again? I totally forgot. Desh. Who we met at the top of Bohumet's Nest. Very interesting part of the playthrough, I'll say that much. Um, but it looks like there is a cave to the north. I'm feeling like that this might be a good opportunity for me to grind. So, take a snapshot of where I am. I'm at level 8 across the board. Um, and what do we got for... We have 9 skill. Is everybody 9? 3 skill for the Red Wizard because we did change our part, or uh, our job. And 5 skill for horse. So yeah, I'm probably gonna end up grinding a little bit before we go into this cave. Um, I just, I feel like it's probably a good opportunity to do so. It'll be less than an hour though, and it'll be off camera, and I'll show you guys what kind of progress I made in the next playthrough. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this, I certainly have been. Please like the video if you haven't already. Leave a comment, I do my best to reply to all comments in all videos. And subscribe if you haven't already, it'll really help out the channel. I will see you guys next time a little bit stronger and we'll head towards that cave. Take care. Alright guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 3 on the Famicom slash NES. This is part 6 already. Um, pulling up my notes here. You missed the last part of the playthrough. We left the town of Canaan. We then went to uh, the road, road to the summit where we were scooped up by Bohumet and put into his, uh, his nest basically. Uh, we had an encounter with him, which clearly we weren't going to win, so we chose to run away. We were then saved by Desh. Is Desh still with us? I think he is. Yes, he's our companion at the moment. Uh, and we were given the spell Mini, uh, which then we cast upon ourselves to enter the... Again, the game said this, not me. <laughs> the midget town of Tozis. Um, we were able to go around and traverse a little bit. There wasn't too much to explore there. Um, <clears throat> and then we ended up... Uh, going through this little kind of dungeon, and we got spit out here. 
uh, where we're about to head up into the cave to the north. And we did a little bit of grinding. Uh, everybody went up one level. It wasn't much, maybe 10-15 minutes at the most. Uh, as you can see, we didn't heal up or anything like that, so... Let me close out the old notes, and uh, let's get started. I just noticed there's a ship up there. Huh. So we're in the Viking base. I see we have the, uh, the patented... <laughs> the guy's sleeping, looking like he's tugging one out there for some reason. Oomph, I'll just stay in bed. Where are the Vikings, Lords of the Sea? Well, actually, we have a problem. After the quake, the Sea Dragon went berserk and destroyed our ships. Only the Enterprise was spared, but everyone's afraid to set sail. Leviathan? A Viking that can't sail. Wow, what can I do but drink? The building on the Cape is the Nepto Shrine. The old man should know a lot about it. <laughs> Even the boss doesn't know what to do. We're no match for the Sea Dragon. It's gotta be Leviathan if we're uh, encountering Jin and... I know there's espers in this game and such. How do we get in here? There we are. 300 gil! Okay. Take it. Alright, we're gonna have to rest at the inn. Anything new for sale over here? Potions, eye drops. I don't think we have any antidotes left though, right? We have 18 potions. Five eye drops. Yeah, we don't have any antidotes, so I should probably buy some. <clears throat> let's actually buy four antidotes. And let's buy ten potions. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough to get through. Oh, this guy's selling magic? Interesting. Well, it's more of the same. Um, we already have somebody that can cast Fire, Ice, Sleep, Bolt. The only one we don't have is Venom. Uh, but I don't know if that's really necessary. I mean, I'm sure it might be very good against some some boss or something that might be weak to poison, but <sighs> I feel like that spell in general probably doesn't do too much. The one thing that I do want to remember here is if we continue to be mini, uh, we can only attack via magic, which means only two of our guys could actually attack. Uh, Bits and um, Belmont can't do shit. Unless I were to change their job, maybe. We have 70 C. Could hypothetically change to a... Hmm... I gotta think that through. We did- oh shit, did I sell- I didn't, okay. I'm pretty sure that I could use this burning staff as like a fire weapon. So potentially I can attack with Stall Talk and Horse, and then one of Belmont or Bits could use the burning staff. I think that's about it though, unless I turn one of them into like another red mage, which is, I mean, possibility I guess. But then we run into the problem of needing to buy more spells, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. <clears throat> eh, I'll pass for now. Sorry about that long, uh, thought process there, but... I feel like the mini days aren't over. You know what I mean? Alright, let's continue on into the Viking base. I wonder if there are gonna be any enemies. Hopefully not. Oh, I see somebody walking around, so clearly... I'm not hiding, I'm just waiting for the old man to come up. Hmm, okay. I don't want to go down yet, I want to explore the rest of this area. Ooh, treasure chests. Okay, that's clearly not the way. How about over here? We're good, baby. Ooh, bolt two, fire two, and ice two. Interesting. 
so the fact that the game is giving me that again leads me to believe that, you know, something's probably coming up. Would Bolt 2 then be like a level 3 spell? Hmm. I guess I'll probably give that to uh, the Black Wizard at this point. What else is, uh, what else is Horus good for, right? Plus, as we uh, figured out in the last part of the playthrough, I think it was the last part, or the one before, you can do a lot of, um, swapping around when it comes to your spells. Okay, so it is a level 3 across the board. It would be nice if we had some more usages, but... I guess there's not much you could do there, right? Alright. Before we head down, let's go talk to what seems to be a bunch of dancers. You shouldn't be sailing if you go past the cape, the sea dragon will attack. It has to be the sea dragon Nepto enshrined at the Nepto Shrine. <laughs> has to be the sea dragon Nepto enshrined at the Nepto Shrine. Okay, anyway, well, I guess it's not, uh... It's not, um, Leviathan. Is that Neptune? Was that, is that short for Neptune? They do that kind of shit a lot. Whoa. It's hopeless. We'll never beat the sea dragon. If you get rid of the sea dragon for us, you could have the Enterprise. How's that sound? Well, the Enterprise is intact, but no one dares to sail. You just get killed by the sea dragon. Yeah, so it looks like once we kill Nepto here at his shrine, they'll give us that boat. That there's the boss. What? I don't see the boss. Anyway. Um, well, let's go back over here, <clears throat> and then we'll go for those stairs. Get out of my way. Go down, please. Thank you. Alright, let's see what's down here. I'm the very oldest of the Vikings. The Nepto Shrine is where the dragon Nepto used to sleep. But something happened since the earthquake, and the dragon went mad. Hey, we got some more money, which is good. You just might convince me to buy that fucking Venom spell, <laughs> after all. Revivification! Alright, well, it looks like there's only one way to go at this point. Uh, we're not gonna backtrack. Actually, we can't backtrack. It looked like we can't go back through that mini. Well, actually, you know what? I take that back. I bet you if we were in our mini forms and we went back outside, we could go back into the cave in which we came. But in our big form, we cannot enter it. So, it looks like the only way to go is indeed up here. So, let's see. Um... So we have our ship. Let's actually save it. We did do a little bit of shit there. Alright. Well, let's hop in the ship. Whoa! Oh, shit. Well. I think we're dead, guys. <laughs> I think we're dead. Can't run? Oh, so we can't... Uh, whoa! Alright, well, we're dead. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset it. Ah, uh, boy, is it a good thing that I fucking saved, huh? Uh, I do this all the time now. Alright. Well, interesting then. Um, hmm. Yes. Oh, you know what? That's right, they warned me about that, didn't they? They said that if you basically get on the boat on the seas that Nepto fucks you up, so... I should have heated that of ice. <clears throat> Alright. This place looks pretty sick. It's a statue of Nepto. One of the eyes is missing and there's a small hole leading beyond. I wonder if we could get in if we became tiny. Alright. I was correct. Now we have to think this over. Do we... change our our class? I don't think we have any extra magic spells, right? 
<sighs> it's like, it sucks because I don't want to change my class, but you know what? I think it might be my best interest too. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to buy a couple spells. Probably for... Belmont? I guess it doesn't matter who. Maybe I'll buy them for... Hmm. This is tough. I feel like this is like kind of like a throwaway almost. You know what I mean? Like... Eh, whatever. We got a bunch of gold, so I guess we could... Or excuse me, gil. I keep calling it gold. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, let's buy... Ice... And... Bolt. Yeah, sounds about right. And now, let's go to... Belmont. Remove everything. Change his job... To a black... Wizard. Yes. Hold on. Come on. Okay. Alright. So we're gonna move... <laughs> we'll probably move everybody to the back uh, before we cast our, uh, our mini spell. But let's check now. Okay, so I'd have to rest at the inn again. No big deal. And let's use ice on... Belmont, Bolt on, oops, Belmont, and you know what, fuck it guys, we have, we really haven't done much grinding yet, so, let's buy fire as well, and teach it to Belmont, I'll probably end up grinding like tomorrow or something, off camera of course, since it's boring as shit, alright, so Belmont knows fire now, and let's go to equip, uh, well, this doesn't matter because we can't attack when we're tiny, so... Doesn't really matter much. Um... Can't equip... Oh, yeah, duh. Right, leather helmet. Mithril. And body. We have cloth and leather, so let's see. Eight. Sometimes, like, cloth, even though it sounds weaker, might be better for, like, a wizard or something. Nope. Alright. It was worth a shot. Okay. I guess that probably means, hypothetically, I could sell that then. Because I don't think that's good for anybody. <clears throat> and I think I'll hold on to the extra Mithril ring for no real reason. <laughs> Just to, uh, do it, I guess. Alright. Uh, let's rest at the end one more time. And let's head to the Nepto Shrine, yeah, where we have to be mini. <clears throat> I wonder if we have to stay mini through the entire thing or not. If so, and there's a boss, then it's probably, you know, obviously a, a good thing. Um, that we did convert our... Our monk into a black wizard. Just for this fight alone. Uh, I remember this fight wasn't too bad, actually. I encountered most of these guys while grinding. Uh, the only difference is, obviously, I don't have the, uh... I don't have the, uh, the monk now. But I thought the berserker, um... It was actually a really cool sprite. And nothing really happened in my grinding fights. They attack really weak, so I'm wondering if it's a status effect of Berserk. And it just never happened to affect me, thankfully. Probably gonna jinx it, right? Alright, still good. Yeah, but as you can see, Bits and Belmont, when Belmont was a monk, of course, was able to uh, one-hit KO those things really easily. You don't get too much experience for them. Actually, I take that back. I got decent experience there. <laughs> All right. I don't want to do this yet. I want to go save since we did quite a bit. Um, let's actually move everybody to the back row. And let's use mini. Uh, 
Okay. We're all small now. And let's save and go in. Let's crawl into that eyeball, shall we? All right, we're all tiny, let's go. Enter the hole where the dragon's eye used to be. I like the cut of this place's jib, I will say that. Pretty, uh, pretty good music, got me pumped. Hooty! Okay then. Um, so in the last area where we were small, we were able to run away from everything. Do, what do I do? You know, I'm gonna try running and just see what happens, and if I can't run away, then I guess I'm gonna have to, uh... And for myself, I'll have to cast magic and use the... Ooh! Well, that hurt. But at the end of the day, could be worse. We have a lot of potions, thankfully. I don't want to completely neglect every possible fight, but in saying that, it's like... You know. Alright, so let's take a look here. Let's go this way, I guess. Have some chests, huh? Kara... I, you know what? I've seen that name before. I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it Carapace? Carapachi? Carapachi? Is that an Italian helmet? Laboshi, I need your, uh, your input. Probably give it the bits, I would assume, right? Doesn't matter right now, of course, but... And... Armor of the same suit. Okay. Well, I'd say that's worthwhile. I'm hoping that we're able to loot the other side, too. Okay, I was getting a little worried that maybe I wouldn't be able to come back up or some weird shit. Ooh, a serpent sword! That should be very, very useful against, uh, Nepto. <clears throat> That's going to bits. Well, unfortunately, I can't dual wield that, of course, but... <clears throat> uh, serpent. And I can't recall, does Staltok have... Okay, so he's got a shield. I'll have to check that later, because I might want to dual wield a stall talk. But at the moment, since he's a mini, it doesn't really matter too much. Obviously. Bloodworm and Pooty. You know what? I think I might fight them here. Let's try out the, uh... The whatchamacall. Oh, I can't use it? What? Why not? Hmm. Well. I'll defend. And we'll use ice. And we'll use ice. Oops. And we'll use ice. And then if that does like doo doo damage, we'll do like fire or something. I was gonna say, being small should help me avoid uh, physical attacks at least, right? Yo, this place is rough! If they keep casting bolt on me anyway. Ah, <clears throat> oh, thank goodness. It certainly helps. Well, that wasn't too great, unfortunately. Now what happens if I try to use a potion? Looks like I'll be able to. On horse. Um, let's try fire. Ice didn't seem to do much to this dude. And let's try... I guess ice again. And then we'll try... Well, let's try bolt, fuck it. <clears throat> So ice does like 20 something. 39, that's actually more than last time I think. Bolt. Does a lot. 
to be expected. Stronger magic spell, and I am in some kind of like water dungeon, so that would, that would make sense. That being said, I think I might uh, try to run away a little bit more going forward. I don't know how much longer we're going to be in here, and clearly my only means of attacking. Well, hmm, you know, I will, uh, I'll do this one as well, fuck it. Because we got one ice to take this dude out. And then let's obviously save some of our bolts, but we'll use an ice and maybe fire. So this should kill the poopy. Bloodworm missed. Hashtag blessed. Fire does a lot more damage than ice to this dude. Noted. Eh, these fights aren't too bad, but obviously this place would be a freaking nightmare if you didn't have any uh, <clears throat> magic casting peoples. But luckily, the game uh, kind of gives you the heads up. They're the last dungeon, basically. You can't do anything unless you know magic, so it's your choice to make. Okay, so let's say we have a boss here, some kind of mouse. Um, shall we top off? I think just for the sake of doing so, we will. It looks like that we're probably still not, uh, excuse me, going to be mini. Okay. Let's see. Squeak! I won't give this gem to anyone. Squeak! What's the gem, though? Damn, that rat's not that big. Looks like you might know poison and shit, though. <clears throat> I guess we'll defend. Um... Oh! Let's just go level 2 magic spells, right? Bolt. And, uh, mm, arrow or ice? I feel like arrow might not do too much to him since he's a grounded opponent, if you will. So we'll do ice. And let's do ice two or fire two. Mm, I'll try ice two. We'll do ice two, bolt two, fire two. It's my first attempt at a uh, higher level magic spell too, so let's see how this is. 72, pretty good, I guess. A miss is also good, right? 28. Ooh, bleh. <laughs> That was terrible. <clears throat> well, thank goodness we saved a lot of our uh, higher end spells, right? We're gonna definitely have to keep casting bolts. Um, I guess we'll just try arrow since ice was so bad. And let's continue with. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Maybe we'll try Bolt, too. Eh, 30. 90. Seem to be about the same as, um, Ice 2, so... Not too much, uh, differentiation there. It really sucks, though, that, uh... Watch him call. That ice one seems to be so poopy. Um, ooh, wait, I have to keep mini. My bad. <laughs> I can't cast arrow again. Whew. I probably need to, like, you know, morph myself back into big form. So we'll just do ice, I guess, and then we're out of these. We don't have any kind of ethers or anything, so we'll keep doing bolts until we run out. And we'll just uh, keep our fingers crossed that he continues to miss and or he doesn't uh, gang up on people like Stall Talk who have already consumed damage. Ah, 62, that's good, man. Oh, Stall Talk is down for the fucking count. Uh, we have a Phoenix down, though, don't we? We do. Do not attack Stall Talk immediately after I revive him. Please. Be very upset, big rat. Let's continue on with the Bolt Brigade. Ooh, horse is almost dead, so we will be using a potion on him next. Actually, fuck, dude. <laughs> They're both almost dead. Hmm. All right, thank goodness. It's getting a little, a little tricky there, to say the least. A thousand gill, seven capacity, sixty experience, skills up. Nepto's eye. Well, it looks like we're not going to be hashtag blessed enough to 
uh, be warped out of here, so we're gonna have to heal. And we are running low on magic, so in saying that, I'm gonna say that we're probably gonna be running away from most fights. Blech. Well, this is not a fight that your boy wants. If it's a bunch of pooties, I'll probably stand uh, and fight. Throw hands, if you will. And it looks like we can't run from this. Oh, thank goodness. Because the Pooties will die uh, with one ice spell, which really isn't too big of a deal. But the uh, the Blood Worms, on the other hand, meh. And I have not fought these guys yet. So, you know what? I'm just going to keep running. The last fight seemed like it would be one that we could not run from and we were able to at the end of the day, so I'm not going to worry about it. There we are. And this was the longest room of said dungeon. Blah. Jinx in it. Poison Bat. You know what? I kind of want to fight them for some reason. So I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna fire your ass. And I'll ice yours. And I'll bolt yours. Watch, I just get poisoned across the board. I mean, I want to get some experience when I can, you know what I mean? I had a feeling fire would work well and ice would not. Such is life. Fire... Um... Probably won't bother, I'll just defend. Oh, I can't defend. Hmm. That must be tied to, uh, the class then. So, we'll fight, even though it won't do anything. And we'll use fire. Hopefully one of the fires gets off. Nope. Looking like we're probably... Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Give me some experience, baby. Hey. Okay. We're near the beginning already. This is a very short dungeon, actually. I think we're about to crawl back out of the dragon's eye, if I remember correctly. Ah, uh, Pooty, I will fight you, actually. As long as I have an ice spell, I know that ice, for the most part, seems to do well against you. Could potentially be a one-round event. So does this allow me uh, to be able to travel freely, you know, without being kind of fucked up by, um, by Nepto at this point? That's pretty much the question. Also, it goes without saying, I'm gonna go back to, uh, the Viking lair, whatever the hell it was called, and rest at the inn. I gotta do a couple things, actually, when I get out of here, so... When we get there, we'll worry about that, but we're still not out. Alright. Must return the eye to the sea dragon, Nepto. Put Nepto's eye in the socket. I am the Sea Dragon Nepto. I thank you for returning the gem to me. This gem is my mind. Without it, I am merely an animal, and I begin to go wild. Here, take this, the Water Fang. It will smash what blocks your way with the power of water. Nice. Uh, I'm guessing there might be like dams or something in the way. I don't, I don't necessarily know <laughs> what he means by that, but... The water has lost its light. Someone has caused an earthquake and sealed the light underground. Please, bring back the light. The sea dragon Nepto fell into a deep sleep. Alright, so I guess, uh... No more Nepto then, huh? Alright, so let's cast... Mini on the party. To return back to our big forms. Okay. Let's unequip Belmont. 
And let's change our job back to Monk. Oh, it doesn't cost anything. Nice. Um, we will move back up to the front, back up to the front. We have to equip the Tonfa and the Nunchucks. And for the head... Oh yeah, you can't wear Mithril? Damn! Forgot about that. Leather. There. And anything? I don't think so. Nope. That's fine. And then we also wanted to equip a Mithril Sword just to see. So we're at 15 defense currently. Drops us down to 10. Which kind of sucks. But... What will the attack bump up to is the question. I do have another Mithril Sword, right? Am I going crazy? What a thing. Oh, I can't use it, huh? Interesting. Well... Maybe it's a, a non-dual wielding class. You know, like I said, guys, this is my first ever playthrough and... <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing, but I could have sworn I would have been able to dual wield, but I guess not. Might be reserved for more fighter-y type of classes like the fighter and the monk, which is totally fine. Uh, before we progress... Do I have any cures left? I have one. Oh, I used it on the wrong person. Fail. Okay, so let's just save it and, you know, just assume that we don't get caught in any, uh, kind of ridiculous fights heading back to the, the Viking base. Which looks like we are golden. Uh, oh yeah, shit, did these guys say anything differently? You've got guts! Thanks! I think the music changed, right? It's like dramatic now. Awesome, you guys are real heroes. As I promised, the Enterprise is now yours. Oh my god, you guys are so great. Mm, same, same dialogue, it's fine. You are welcome, people. What do you guys gotta say? You've got guts, thanks, guts, da da da. What about the sleeping man? Now I can sleep peacefully, there we go. Let's definitely rest at the end. I'd say we're still good on uh, consumable heals and whatnot, so. Alright, time to go out into the ship. <clears throat> Our job here seems to be done. You know me, guys. I'm always saving. <laughs> oh, shit. So you can go onto any shore. Very interesting. Oh, that's fucking... That's scary. I will say. So, hmm. Let's get some uh, bolt magic then, shall we? Should be weak to it. This might be a good place to grind. They got above 80 HP and they hit pretty hard. I would certainly love to uh, grind up more spell slots for, uh, for horse. Let's see the experience these guys give. This might be, uh, might be my ticket. I think we can get away with attacks at this point. They're all pretty softened up. Oh, I forgot I got that serpent sword or whatever. Did I equip that yet? Yeah, 96 experience is way better than the area that I was fighting in earlier. I did equip everything. Cool. Just make it sure. 
Hey, we got a town here. I do like the fact that you can pretty much dock anywhere. I'm gonna save, and the reason I do this again, guys, is like, look what happened earlier. I got in the sea, and I got wiped out by Nepto. You never know what the fuck is gonna be in this town. It could be an ambush. You know what I mean? The village of Tockle, huh? Ah, there's nothing left for you to take. What the f oh. Eek, please don't kill me. Uh, alright. You know, I was gonna stop the playthrough here, but I think I'm not going to <laughs> at this point. Check everything. Make sure there's no secrets. I knew it. Ah! A troll, dude? Well, that kind of blows. This town's giving me the heebie-jeebies. I wonder if you can come back there and do something later. Uh, kid just freaking left. Please spare the children. Hmm. Oh, you're different. I'm sorry. I thought the soldiers who attacked the village had come again. They took my husband. They took him into the desert. The men were wearing the crest of Ar Argas. I wonder if he's all right. Oh, please be alive. So is this like a retreat area, or do we end up coming back here, maybe, if we save her husband? And then there's like loot, let's see. Same shit? Yep. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, unfortunately we did get hurt by that friggin... The fire. Boop. Anything over here? Indeed. God's wine. I have no fucking clue what that is. Great bow. Anything here? Oh. Uh, I feel like we're obligated to use the, uh, like the hunter or whatever the fuck it'd be called that uses the bow. We don't have that job yet, of course, but... This is the emblem that the soldiers who attacked the village dropped. It couldn't be King Argus? There are demons in the western desert. They're mo <laughs> They're moving a huge tree around. People who call themselves the descendants of the ancients live to the west across the desert. Anything else I'm missing? Palamia scale? I guess. Hmm. So we have that town or excuse me, that house. Anything else here? No. Maybe something in this patch of grass. Indeed there is. Freezing. So, I'm confused about that, because now we have the burning and the freezing, right? I'll do some research on that afterwards. I thought that it could be used as a uh, consumable, like, not a consumable, but maybe like, you know, similar to Final Fantasy 1 where you kind of abuse the weapons and armors or whatever. Uh, you know, they have hidden agendas attached to them, if you will. But Bits was unable to use it, at least in a small form. So maybe it's only used by people who can equip it to begin with. So probably just horse, which would be kind of shitty, but it's part of the reason why that type of stuff is good, is that usually anybody could use it, even if they can't equip it, but... I don't know. Alright, so we checked out that one house, but we didn't check out this house. What's our HP at, too? We don't want to burn ourselves to death. This is the Elder's house. Please hear what the Elder has to say. There is a secret passage in the fireplace. There are weapons hidden there, but we cannot use them. I beg you, please save the village. I am the Elder. Ever since the earthquake, soldiers have been coming from the desert and taking away the village's young people and food. It's because of them that the village is in this state. Alright. Anything else on the shelves before I go... ...into your fireplace?
Doesn't appear to be. What do we got? A three part. The fuck? Kenpo and a Phoenix Down. Nice. We ended up having to use a Phoenix Down, so we got that replenished. Uh, and I'm going to assume. We're at 44. Remember that, people. 44. So let's equip the Tonfa again. Damn, he is really good at barehanded, huh? Wow. 26. 57. I mean, that's considerably better. Uh, 9 down to 7, and I'm going to assume that he could wear the Kenpo. Sounds like something would be for, you know, a monk or a ninja or something like that. 13. That is a considerable upgrade. Alright. <clears throat> well, it looks like that's all there is in this town. Is there even an inn to rest at? I don't think there is. We have to remember... Let me write that down. Because I'm going to fucking forget. So... Um... Shit, what was this town called? Tackle. Tackle. Uh, house with wife and child. Husband was captured in desert. So I think, presumably, later on, I'm gonna guess that we probably don't go to the desert first. Because <laughs> they made it sound like that there's, like, terrible monsters there and shit. But, um... We might be able to come back potentially in loot later, I would guess. But it appears there's no... <sighs> place to heal, man. Hmm. Alright. I think that might be a good place to stop, guys. What was the... There was an item, too, I want to write down so I can look up and see what the fuck it does. Uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm gonna look up the water fang, first of all. Water fang... And... Oh yeah, I wanted to look up the staffs. God's Wine Lamia Scale. I wanted to apologize there, guys. I don't know if I accidentally stopped recording or what, but I pretty much cut myself off uh, without giving a proper introduction. I actually did say everything out loud, but when I went to, back to go uh, review my footage, I realized, oh, it's not there, so... Anyways, I'm gonna look up those items that I was looking up prior to the weird cutoff. Um, in the next part of the playthrough, we're gonna be sailing around and uh, taking a look to see what there is. Um, but if you've been enjoying the playthrough so far, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Seriously, guys, liking, commenting, and subscribing will help out my channel so much. I'm trying to make a push for a thousand subs. I've, I've been trying real hard here. It, it, it really doesn't take much effort on your part. It's free. So if you've actually been enjoying everything, help me out, alright? Uh, but beyond that, uh, yeah. Really been enjoying Final Fantasy 3. Very impressed. It's definitely a step up from Final Fantasy 2, and, uh, very eager to see what awaits us in the next part of the playthrough. Take care, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 3 on the Famicom slash NES. This is part 7 already. Hard to believe. Hard to believe we're rolling through here the way that we are, but... With that being said, let's do a quick little recap of the last part in case you're just tuning in. Um, we went through the Viking base, uh, and then eventually up to the Nepto Shrine. The, the waters were being um, guarded heavily by Nepto. I found out the hard way, but luckily I, I saved before he wiped me out. Uh, we then went to the Nepto Shrine where we had to cast Mini on ourselves to traverse through, which meant magic only or running. Uh, we were able to defeat the big rat boss, which gave us Nepto's eye, or gem, excuse me. And then we placed it in the Nepto statue at the beginning of the shrine, which then gave us the uh, water fang, which is one of the things that I looked up. I forgot, it's just like the kind of like the quest item. Uh, it's nothing consumable for battle, from what I understand. Uh, but Nepto no longer guards the sea, which is great. Uh, a couple other items that I had no idea what they did were God's Wine, which casts haste, and the Lamia Scale, which casts confusion on the enemies. So at least I got that out of the way. Uh, and then before we stopped, we visited the village of Tockle, which was directly below us. Um, where we looted a little bit and 
We may or may not have to come back later if we save somebody's husband. But beyond that, you know, it's kind of just a uh, story advancement area, nothing crazy there going on. But now we have full control of the ship, and let's do a little bit of sailing and exploring, shall we? Whoa, dude, what the fuck? That must be, uh, they said they were moving a tree or something. I don't know what the hell that was. That was fucking kind of scary looking. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> ah, yes, these guys. I determined that they would have been good, um, grinding areas, but... I mean, shit. If they're gonna F us up like that... Who knows? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's attack, and then we'll use... Um... Yeah, these bolts to it. So, there's got to be an inn somewhere, right? Has to be. Actually, there is an inn. I can always go back to the Viking base if I need to. So I got that going for me. There wasn't one in the town of Tackle, unfortunately. Alright, should be able to wipe them out here. Definitely gonna have to heal a little bit, though. It's fine. If this was Final Fantasy 2, I'd be loving this battle because uh, Bits and Belmont would probably have HP upgrades. But this is not Final Fantasy 2 anymore, people. Alright, uh... Actually, I want to save my antidote. It's fine. Um... Okay. Continuing on here. Patch of forest. Living forest. Bunch of fairies, huh? We're the fairies of this forest. The wizard who abducted the eldest tree can change his weakness. Whoa. Unless the eldest tree returns, this forest will soon die. Oh, shit. A wizard of the Argus Castle, Hein, is the one who cursed the eldest tree. That must be the eldest tree roaming around in the desert. Hein uses wall change, he could change his own weak point. I feel like we've seen another enemy in this series that does that. Was there one in Final Fantasy IV? I can't recall. The eldest tree was carved into the shape of a castle and wanders the desert. Please help him. This forest is alive, we are the fairies of this forest, and... The forest is crying. The eldest tree has been cursed by a wizard and taken away somewhere. Well. Good news, bad news, guys. The good news is I know where it is. I just saw it and it scared the shit out of me. Bad news, I don't think I'm ready yet, so. Sorry about that. Hey, a castle. Mm. Noted. Oh, Argus Castle, huh? Alright. Anything special going on? Let's get a uh, spray chain, shall we? Let's go with horse. I feel like there's secrets. Gotta be secrets, right? <clears throat> There's one! That's pretty easy. 3,000 G's, baby. I'll certainly take that. Ooh, more! 1,500, 3,000. Oh my goodness, what did I do to deserve this? How much gold do we have now? Woo! Oh boy! And now we seem to be on top of the castle, which is interesting. Um... I mean, I guess I'll continue on. There was another way to go, though. You can't forget that. I wonder if those are, uh, revivification springs or not. Just checking everything here. Locked. What? 
Maybe there's some switches somewhere, though. You ever think about that? Hmm. Well, it appears we cannot go through those doors, but I am very intrigued. So, I do have some running notes of things that I want to come back to check. The first being the Tackle husband and- or, excuse me, wife- wife and son. Uh, Argus Castle. Locked doors. Outside. Top. So, I remember reading that there's magic keys in this game, similar to, like, Dragon Warrior. Um, and I think the Thief class can unlock doors, so potentially... This is something that I will just, uh, end up encountering later, perhaps? But not now, which is why we wanted to, uh, write that down. Throne room. Hmm. And this is what we saw from the outside earlier. What do we got here? Anything? Revivification? It's fine. Is this one the same, or will it maybe heal my HP, which would be nice? HP MP restored, baby! Okay, cool, so... Essentially a free in, just obviously takes a little bit of time walking through. King Horse Lemonade. Take a look at that. Ooh, more treasure. A bomb shard and another south wind. I mean, certainly be worse, right? Oh, but wait, there's more. A paralyzer. Hmm. Alright, so I don't think that we could do anything else here, but there's two locked doors, which I find it hard-pressed to believe that there's absolutely nothing to be done with those, you know what I mean? But that'll have to be something that we, uh, come across another time, unless I clearly missed something, which I don't think I did, but you never know. You never know. Alright. So, let's save. We did, you know, a decent amount of looting there, so. Okay. Uh, so we had the Living Forest, which was to the south-ish. Hmm, let's see. There was the desert, which was all the way to the south-south. Right. And then the starting area was over to the east. Hmm. I gotta think this one through, what I want to do here. Can we skate around the desert, is the question. I'm just gonna try to attack and hopefully save my magic. These guys don't look too intimidating. I'm sure it's famous last words, right? Alright. That's what we like to see. Not that, necessarily, but... Stall talks get a little weak. I think we could stand a, uh, a job change soon, maybe an upgrade somewhere. I don't think there's anything that necessarily suits him right now, though. But... Hey, leveling up. Everybody leveled up, but Belmont. Oops. All right, so the desert's here, but there is some green uh, surrounding it, basically. I am not gonna go mess with that thing right now. Let's just go exploring. If I can't find anything of note, then I'm probably gonna go, uh... more to the north. I did not want to step foot there. This could be bad. Let's just get a feel for this. They're reskinned enemies, but that doesn't necessarily mean... Yeah, this is looking a little rough here. A little rough here, guys. But again, we'll spin it positive. Maybe it's a good place to grind soon. I mean, we won't know until we know. Um, 
guess we could try ice. I mean, we got magic, right? So we should probably use it. Well, better than your attack. Fire seems to outclass ice. Thank goodness for the misses. Wonderful, actually. Probably saving me tons of headaches. Well, two people should die here. The two that Belmont and Bits attack should be going down. Let's hope for another miss. Eh, 15, not too bad. Let's hope for some good experience here. I mean, Belmont should definitely level up after this fight, so. And drum roll, please. Indeed. Yeah, I thought that there was some area over here. Uh, let's use a potion on Belmont and maybe one on Staltog. Gonna hold off on bits for now. Ooh, we have a little patch of forest here, guys. Yet again, another semi-tough fight. hit a lot harder, huh? The oh, fuck? Was not expecting. Alright, so we'll attack there, attack there, here. Um, I don't think I could take him down even with a fire spell. So I'm just gonna uh, let nature take its course and do another... <laughs> another round. We're gonna eat some damage, it is what it is. Definitely not a chance in hell when he miss! Horse, come on now. Ah, uh, of course you get the cheap hit in, you fuck. Alright. Pop some more potions. Hey, Chocobo Forest! Nice! Well, there was a town nearby, so I don't think we need one right now, but it's good to note. Typically when the game places Chocobo Forest, uh, it's for a reason, so I'm sure... Wait a minute. Are we in the sky? Was I supposed to know this? Does this look like the sky to you? Shit. <laughs> oh no, Griffin. Uh, these guys weren't bad if I remember correctly. I don't think they were bad. Okay. Yeah, looks like we're in the sky. Did I know this? Was this told to me and I just, uh, you know, completely glazed over it or something, but... Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Doesn't it look like clouds and shit? Or is that just water? With like weird currents. Let's take a look. Hmm. I mean, it looks like there's ledges of the edge of this continent that we're on, right? So either... Either we're in the sky? Like similar to like... Uh, Kingdom of Zeal and Chrono Trigger? Or what else could this possibly be? We could just be on a raised piece of land, right? With maybe some sort of weird rippling oceans around us. I don't know. Either way. Let's go into this town. The Ancient's Village. Hmm. I'm definitely liking the music in here. How is this place built? Wasting my time going around the outer edge. Probably. Definitely some old wise ancients, that's for sure. I could see you. Also, a uh, probably a much needed sight at this point is 
uh, weapon shops and such. I feel like we're due for a good upgrade. Uh, Alright, let's talk. Let's start talking. We are descendants of the ancients who built an advanced civilization. Are you guys like the ancients from the fucking Final Fantasy IV, like the moon? Different types of ancients? Alright, we got armory there. Okay, it looks like the weaponry's over there. There was a little kid over here in the grass. Let's talk to them. Any hidden items? If you go all the way around the continent on a chocobo, I'll give you a prize? What? Hold up. Alright, let's try this. Uh, Ancients Village. Go around the world on a chocobo. Kid gives you a prize. Hmm. Well, I have no problem doing that. If you can't encounter enemies on the chocobo, you couldn't in Final Fantasy 2. I just don't know if maybe they change it up from time to time. Probably wise to rest at the inn, now that I'm thinking about that. Buy a few more potions. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, so we are, like... We are upgrading, huh? Hmm. Okay, well... I think it's probably a little out of my price range for the high potions still. And we seem to be doing decent with the regular potions. You know what I was thinking about doing, actually? Staltok's not really doing much damage anymore with the, the White Slayer. It had its time in the sun, if you will. Let's go with the... Uh, the burning... Can he dual wield? He can. Hmm. The Mithril Shield brings his defense up. Uh, I'm torn here, guys. I could always move him to the back row. You know, let's try it. Worst case scenario, he's getting his shit kicked in. We'll put the shield back on him. We won't sell the shield. Let's move you to the back row, buddy. Rest at the inn. So my my thought process there isn't necessarily about him, you know, attacking anymore, because the White Slayer was starting to become kind of shitty. Their thought process is being able to presumably cast Fire One and Ice One infinitely if he has those items equipped. So, all right. So we have magic. We have a house. Can we talk to you guys over here? When something occurs, light or dark, select four people and entrust them with their power. It is said that there were four dark warriors who saved the world from the flood of light. And now you've been chosen by the light. Do not abuse its power. Interesting. Our law, it is to entrust ourselves to the greater will. We mustn't rely on machines. Alright. Okay, so now we have some stores. Um, let's check out the, I guess, this first, possibly. <clears throat> what do we got? What do we got? We have a serpent, so we could dual wield, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not dual wielding the, uh, the white slayers. I do want to dual, dual wield the serpent sword, though, that's for sure. And, I mean, I don't think I need the, the killer bow, you know what I mean? So let's... 56. Okay. 64. Pretty good upgrade. The journey will be safe if I'm with you guys. Let's go. Oh, I didn't realize I accidentally talked to him. <laughs> right, let's sell... Uh, this. Oh. Yeah, let's sell two of those in. Fuck it, we're going all in. We're selling this shit too. Sell that. Why would I need a bow if I have the great bow, right? I'll keep the shield for now. Let's sell that, sell that, sell that. Sell one of those. 
Uh, I think we're good for weapons, so let's go over to armor, and then we'll hit up the magic. The magic is probably a little bit pricey. And then we'll think if we want to... Go all in, maybe, on some, uh... Whatchamacallit. Totally drawing a blank as I yawn. Higher level spells? I honestly don't remember this one. <laughs> Alright, so we have a Kenpo. Um, it might be worthwhile to grab two wizard robes here, honestly. Uh, we already have that, so we can sell that. Looks like the flame mail's an upgrade, so that's good. And the headband. Alright, so let's buy a, a flame mail, headband. And two wizard robes. Equip and sell. So we got flame mail, right? 13. Fuck, I accidentally bought two. I'm telling you guys, you gotta be really careful in this game. It's so easy to accidentally buy more than one. I bought two flame mails for no reason. Um. So, 14, and now we're at 17. Funny how a headband, I mean, obviously it fits him better on a sprite, but how a headband is stronger than a fucking helmet will be forever beyond me, but that's fine. Um, wizard robes, so no more mithril, so that's 11. Wizard, 17, like it. That helps a lot, especially since I chose to dual wield there. Um, any upgrade here above 13 would be just fucking glorious. 16, thank you. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I think we're probably good here. I could sell some stuff though. Let's sell some stuff. <clears throat> Alright, what don't we need? We bought an extra flame mail by accident. Oh, my air conditioner is shooting ice chunks upstairs, guys. I might have to go tend to that. <laughs> so sometimes when I run my air conditioner too much, obviously we're in the middle of summer. That happens. Yeah, I gotta go do that now. Alright, that's fine. Alright guys, hold on one second. Alright guys, sorry about that delay. Uh, like I said, my air conditioner upstairs decided to shoot ice chunks, scared all the cats, scared me, sounded like World War III up there. But luckily, <laughs> we're back. Uh, and obviously we just sold everything. So pretty much now, guys, I would say... Hmm, let me think. Where would I want to go next? Um... Well... One thing that I'm thinking of here, I think honestly it's probably a good idea for me to grind, but I kind of want to take up that kid that was in this town on his uh, offer of riding around on a chocobo. So I think I might do that. <clears throat> Let's save it first. Because like I said, I don't know. I'm assuming when you're on the chocobo you're invulnerable, right? Let's take a look. Found a chocobo. All right, let's see what we got, guys. Said if we go around the earth or whatever. I'm doing my best to try to touch the sides. I don't know how touchy it'll be, so I figure it's probably best to do that. Uh, I think I think I already missed a few sides, so hopefully it's not <laughs> too uh, pixel specific, if you will. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna say we're definitely in the sky. And if I was supposed to know that already, I did not, and that's a bit of a shock to me. But we appear to be in the sky. Also, this, uh... This world's a lot bigger than I thought, huh? Could you imagine if, like, you couldn't save... Like, let's say this was Final Fantasy 1 and you couldn't save on the overworld without a tent or something. Say you accidentally got off your, uh, your chocobo over there. Did a lot of grinding, but you don't have a tent. There's like no way you'd be able to make it back. <laughs> Look how like long this area is. 
There's a town there that I don't think I've been to. Lots of water. Some high quality uh, chocobo entertainment here, right? I swear to god if this dude fucking goes like, Yeah, well, you know what? You kinda didn't really go all the way around, even though it's like, Yeah, buddy, I did. Also, can you maybe give me some, like, super sick set of armor or something? I think we're back. We are back. Alright, what's he got for me? Was it all for knots, is the question. <laughs> Congratulations on circling the continent on a chocobo. Here's your prize. Uh, midget bread. That's it? Don't I have like three of those already or something now? Yeah, that was my third. Uh, feels bad, man? Maybe? Kind of? I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, what's up with our consumables? Let's check that out before we leave. We have 26 potions. Maybe I'll top that off at 30. We have five softs. Uh, five eye drops. Two phoenix downs. Or antidotes. <clears throat> um, let's buy some more stuff. Can't hurt, right? Oh shit, dude. We didn't go to the fucking... The magic shop. Come on now. Uh, right, so we got sight, fire two, ice two, bolt two, cure two, exit, and wash. I have no fucking clue what wash does. I'm just gonna look that up right now. Um, spells. What do we got here? Wash. Wash. Cures blind status, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, we're definitely gonna buy exit. That goes without saying. Um, should I buy the, the level two spells for the, the red wizard though, is the question. Exit. Oop. And what do we got here? Uh, cure two, exit. Hmm, I think we can only do one, right? Because fire two, ice two, bolt two is a level three spell. Yeah, looks like we can only do one there. We only have one usage as well, but I do plan on grinding, so we'll probably go up to two or three. So the question then begs, do we do fire? Ice or Bolt. Typically, Bolt is a little bit stronger, but in saying that, Fire seems to be doing a lot of work right now. I think I'll go Bolt. Ugh. Yeah, I'll go Bolt. Fuck it. And we'll teach that to Staltok. Alright, man, I can't believe I almost left town without doing that. That would have been... That was some sad shit. I'm happy we got the exit spell. So far, none of the dungeons have been incredibly long, but I feel like, unlike Final Fantasy II's difficulty pacing, I feel like this is uh, prepping me for things to come. So it'll probably get, you know, a little bit longer and such. Oh, armor, wait a minute. Wasn't there an item shot? Oh, duh, it's in the inn. How could I forget? Over here. Alright, so I wanna buy four potions. I'm gonna buy a couple more softs. We don't like have any maiden's kisses either. So I say that's fine. Uh I drop echo. Maybe another a couple echo herbs. A few more eye drops. Two antidotes. How are we doing? I'm still annoyed that uh, the inventory seems to constantly get, like, shifted around no matter what I do. Either upon save, resting it in, I can't quite tell what it is. But I'm not gonna bother. 
Although wait, now it's still keeping my shit down here. I don't know what it what it did, but when I did my inventory before it basically did it for me, which I didn't want to do. Either way. Let's try to get like this stuff up here then. Right? Stuff that freaking heals me in some way, shape, or form. Maiden's Kiss can go here. Godline Phoenix Down can go here. Luck Mallet can go here. The Water Fang. Go there. Um, these are attacks. Well, yeah, they're attacks. The Midget Bread I don't think is, though. So is that good for now? Maybe we'll move this right here. Don't fuck up my inventory. I like the way it is now, game, alright? Need you to relax for a little bit. Okay, I think for sure at this point I have to grind. Uh, I haven't really did much grinding at all yet, and some of these uh, encounters around here seem to be a little difficult. But, you know what? All in all, we got quite a bit done again in this part, so I'm happy about that. If it, if it was a different uh, plane of existence, I would actually continue to keep playing uh, and making more parts tonight, but it's getting very late, and I do have work tomorrow morning. So, a quick recap of what we did. Um, if I remember correctly, we left the town of Tockle. We then found uh, a forest that was filled with fairies. I believe it was called the Living Forest, where they alluded to the fact that there is a uh, something down below in the desert, basically... It's like the, the ancient tree is masquerading as a castle and it was captured by some evil wizard or something like that. I've seen it bouncing around, but clearly I don't think we're ready for that yet. Um, after that, we went to the Argus Castle, which, you know, we had heard about Argus uh, in a previous part. Uh, and there was nobody there, so they all seemed to be out and about, presumably in the desert, I would guess? Um, who knows, but either way, we looted a lot of stuff, but there was two locked doors there that we're probably gonna have to go back to. That's fine. We'll, you know, obviously finish that another day. And then we concluded in the Ancients Village, um, where we talked to a bunch of wise people, upgraded a lot of our, uh, weaponry, magic, armor, and we did a little chocobo around the world ditty for a fucking midget bread. So, eh, it is what it is. Anyways, in the next part, let's save again just because I'm an idiot. In the next part, we will uh, definitely be stronger when I check back in with you. I'm gonna grind offline, not tonight, but... Um, and I guess we'll pretty much continue to explore. I saw a little bit of stuff as I was going around uh, the world in the Chocobo, but um, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna head back to where I was planning on heading back had there been nothing over here, which was north of the desert, uh, even further north of the Argus Castle, we'll probably uh, explore around in that region and see what there is to offer. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the playthrough. I certainly have been. Please like the video if you haven't already. Comment. I do my best to reply to all comments and all videos. And subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. Take care, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 3 uh, on the Famicom slash NES. <clears throat> this is part 8. Uh, quick recap of the last part. Uh, we headed to the Living Forest, where we talked to a bunch of fairies, and we learned about an ancient tree that was stolen by an evil wizard, uh, and it's bouncing around in the desert, which is now to the east of me, but previously was in the south. We saw it, and we're not fucking with that thing yet. <laughs> uh, we raided the Argus Castle, which was to the north. We got some decent loot there. Uh, we then visited the Ancient's Village, Kind of loaded up a bit across the board with um, weapons, armor, and magic. And we were put to task uh, by a towns member. It said if we rode around the world on our chocobo, they'd give us a prize, which was a uh, was a midget bread or something. Yeah, midget bread. <clears throat> Not really worth it, but oh well. And I'm an idiot. I was going to grind, but I forgot to. So we're probably going to end up grinding a little bit. <laughs> right now while we're here, but when we're done, uh, we were gonna go explore the general area again to the north, uh, where the Argus Castle was, um, see what else is on that continent, basically. So, I'm gonna grind a little bit, and, uh, I'll see you guys when I'm done.
All right, guys, we're back after about a 20 minute grind session. <clears throat> uh, we actually only went up one level, but we're very close to leveling up again. So I figured, fuck it, we'll just, we'll do it live, right? Uh, what else did I do during this time? Uh, I actually ended up unequipping stall talk of the magical rods and going back and buying two more white slayers. Uh, and my reasoning for that is that I'm an idiot and stall talk actually can't use those rods. If they're equipped, they have to be in the inventory. Uh, so that was a waste of money basically because <laughs> I already had the white slayer previously. Uh, we also got poisoned in one of our battles, twice, so I went back to, uh, where did I go again? One of the earlier towns, Kazus, uh, cause they have a free inn there, so I rested there, and then I bought some more antidotes, and I actually bought 20 more potions. But other than that, for the most part I've just been riding the high seas, trying to level up. And it should be maybe one more battle after this where everybody's gonna level up to 12. Yeah, the next uh, battle, Dalmon should probably level up, right? Yep. Pretty much anything that we encounter, Dalmont will level up. Also, I didn't realize you could actually save. Look at this, I saved a couple times, obviously, as you can see, uh, when you're on the ocean. Didn't know that. And uh, since we were already sailing around, that is actually uh, the Argus Castle, so that's basically the part of the continent that we wanted to go anyway, so... One more fight, we should be good. And what a better fight than this one. I like it. Should be a one-turner, hopefully. Eh, it might not be, actually. I casted a spell, but I'm trying to conserve some of my MP. I debated turning Stall Talk into a white mage at the beginning of the game, uh, and I've been debating it again, but I think I'm gonna stick with the red mage for a little bit longer, maybe until we get uh, some more classes or something like that. I keep going with classes, some more jobs. And if we, if we feel like that we need more healing, I will certainly do so, but I still like the idea of Having a more formidable attacker with black magic spells alongside of horse. Um, but like I said, if I feel like I'm running up against it, then I will certainly consider changing the class. But for now, let's uh, let's explore this continent a little bit further, shall we? I wonder what kind of enemies are here. We have a cave over here. A little forest patch. Anything in this? Oh, another chocobo forest. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, eh, why not? You only live once, right? It'll be an easier way to check the... What the fuck is that? What is that? I don't want to know. So we have a cave. That was the castle down there. And up here... We have a tower and some kind of whirlwind. I wonder if those are connected. Like if we uh, defeat this tower, will the uh, the whirlwind open up? But either way, let's actually check out this cave first. I'd say that was worth it hopping on the chocobo, you know? Gurgen Valley. What are these guys? Monks? This is the Valley of the Gurgans. You must go to the crystals of fire, water, and earth, then you will gain even greater power. Power of earth has sealed the light of the other three crystals, and its own as well. Power of fire is in the island of the dwarves. When the tower emits a red flame, it is about to fall. At that time, a man who is to alter fate shall awaken. If people knew the future, it would only bring them sadness. Jeez. I can see neither light nor dark in the future. It is all unclear. Oh, so they're like soothsayers or some shit like that. The, the living forest is calling you. I've already been there, buddy. I can see neither light nor dark in the future. It is all unclear. That earthquake was but an omen. The tremors that pulled the crystals into the earth and brought forth monsters 
or minor compared to the darkness which is to come. Not if I have anything to say about that, alright? Use this to enter the Tower of Owen to the north. Desh, your destiny awaits. Receive Toad. Huh. Interesting, so... That's white magic, right? So that'd be a stall talk thing. Uh... What level is that? Level 2. Eh. Not great, but not terrible, I guess. So, apparently that tower to the north is where we're supposed to go next after all, which is kind of what I figured, but... Um... I was told that I have to turn into a toad. Okay... Actually, I see. So is this gonna be... I wonder, is this gonna be another place... Where I have to be a toad the entire time? I really hope not, man. I really hope not. I'll just take the long way. The chocobo would save me a fight or two, but it is what it is. A flyer and a, a gorgon. I hope uh, you're not related to a gorgon. Is that what feels bad, man, if I get turned to stone at this point? Okay, so they're definitely tough around here. High HP. Noted. And that thing's pretty tough. Ah, poop. Not desired. Uh, let's use... some consumables then, shall we? I'd love it if Bits wakes up. Hey. Oh, I thought he used the fire one. My bad. Shit. <laughs> oh, this is uh, actually... Okay, good. Say so This is turning out to be not good really quickly. Burning. Come on. That's what we like to see there, at least. Burn his ass. Thank you. Fuck, maybe I should have taken the chocobo. What was I thinking? Alright. Well, that's why we bought a shit ton of potions. For instances such as this. Alright, we will definitely save outside of here. And, uh, let's continue on. <clears throat> I'm gonna let this, uh, particular part of the playthrough probably roll a little bit longer than usual. Okay! Wasn't expecting a battle so quick. Goodness. <clears throat> These guys are pretty tough. You know, Toad, too. So that's actually interesting. They said that I need to know Toad in order to advance through here, so... You could potentially just jump into a fight and get turned into a Toad. Okay, you know what? Yeah. You could get through here without getting the Toad spell. You just have to... Would hope that your random encounter turns you into a Toad. Alright, so they don't say... Oh, actually, wait a minute. Let's turn ourselves into a Toad and see... Um, if we could speak to the toad, you know what I mean? Frog, whatever. Nope. <laughs> Fuck. I probably should have turned myself into a fucking toad so quickly. Pigman. Alright, we're gonna be back on our running horses here, and I'm hoping that, uh, we're able to actually run away. Good. My reason for concern there was clearly, you know, obviously this is probably, um... Clearly, obviously, po possibly. Anyway, uh, an area where you should be a higher level than our previous areas where we were toads. And I'm gonna... go ahead and de-toad us, I guess? 
So the shitty part is, is I'm losing... Well, Arrow's not that good against um, non-flying enemies, I guess, so... Alright, well, let's move the boys back to the front. And... Pop them while you got them, right? And let's push on. One step in a battle. Jeez, what is this, Final Fantasy 2? Come on now. I am gonna fight most things, though, because... Um, I do want to continue to level up. I'm not in a, uh, all-out... You know, run fest yet. Excuse me. Too much dominoes today. One of those days. So actually, I went to Burger King. And they were, like, closed or something? Typically, uh, if I'm home with my daughter and she's been off of, uh, summer camp all week, she had a week off of summer camp, basically, before school started, which is unfortunate for uh, my fiancé and I. Because obviously, we, we, when we're home with her, we have to uh, not only watch her, but work at the same time. So that being said, when we have days like this, uh, typically in the middle of the week, I will take her to Burger King to get her some fries or something like that. So we were waiting at the drive-in at the, uh, the loudspeaker for like two minutes. I'm pretty patient when it comes to that type of stuff, because I realize, you know, nobody wants to be doing these jobs. You know, they're hard. People are yelling at them all day and shit. So I was like, hello? And then I waited like another 10-15 seconds, asked again. Then our daughter asked, and nobody responded. Welcome to the Tower of Owen, it'll be your grave, jeez. But uh, I waited there for like another minute, just being like, anybody there? <laughs> nobody ever answered, and when I pulled around, uh, there was nobody at the drive through window either, and it looked like the Burger King part of the, it was a- it's a gas station Burger King? It looked like it was completely fucking, uh, like, empty. This is the strangest thing. I think they must have been closed, and they just didn't say anything. I don't know. Very weird. Oh shit, so the Pooties were pretty easy earlier, but these are Pooty Mages. But who knows? Maybe I'll just try attacking. <clears throat> Uh, you know what, if they're Pooty Mages, they're probably pretty resistant to spells. Eh, I guess not. Yes, physically attack me, please. Don't be casting spells on me. Fucking Pooties. But yeah, I thought that was really interesting about Burger King, I wanted to share that story. I don't want to get, like, too off-tangent, you know, off-topic, if you will, during these playthroughs, but... It was such a weird experience that, I don't know, I just didn't know what to, what to think of it today. So, long story short, that's how we ended up with Burger King, or, um, Domino's, excuse me. Ah, uh, Stall Talk got muted. That's not good. I don't care that Bits got muted, but... The, um... Organi organized person, perfectionist, if you will, wants to get that status off. Hey, we found a potion. That's pretty sick. Um, what is pure under? Oops, shit. What? Oh, cause he's muted. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, what cure is mute? I can't recall. Ouch. Eye drop would be for like, blind. Antidote is for poison. Soft is for, um, turning to stone. Well, let me look it up, I can't quite remember. Uh, Maiden Kiss, maybe? No, that cures Toad. Which would make sense. And Luck Mallet, uh, turns you, like, back from Mini. Shit, do I not have... What does Echo Herb do again? Here is mute. Oof, shit. Well, that's not good. I only have two of those left, so hopefully if people get muted, it's not stall talk. Damn. Feels real bad, man. Does Pure cure this or no? It does not. Well, I'm just gonna leave Bits muted because he doesn't know any magic spells anyway. It, like, really doesn't matter <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, you know what I mean? So, alright. Alright. 
Maybe I should even consider uh, running away from people that I know use magic spells. Well, status affecting magic spells. Ice, whatever, that's fine. <clears throat> I should probably heal Horse up in between battle. He's like 100 HP down almost, so... But yeah, it looks like when you shut the game off and turn it back on, that's when your inventory gets reorganized, so I'm not even gonna fucking bother anymore. That's like super annoying, honestly. I spent all this time putting things in the right order that I wanted it at, and I can't even freaking enjoy it. You know? What kind of shit is that? This place is interesting, a bunch of gears and stuff. I wonder what, like, the ultimate goal here is of this tower. What was it called? The Tower of... Owen? That's right, you don't venom me, bitch. Fuck you, pig man! sword? Um, maybe this is a better... I'd like to get Staltox attack up. Was that like, what was it, 38? 52? That's a pretty good bump. Pretty good bump, I will say. <clears throat> right before the fucking stairs. Ah, uh, this is where the uh, Maiden's Kisses potentially could come into play, especially if we don't get Bits and Belmont's attacks off early! Because these guys could turn you into stone- or, uh, frogs, toads, whatever. Clean sweep! There we go. Yeah, Staltok's, um, attack is still pretty shit, honestly. I might look into changing his class soon. I'd like to get some new classes, though, like, Jesus. What are we gonna, uh... You know, find some more of that shit. Just keep wandering forever. We have two dead ends. Oops. Oh boy. Um, hmm. Not a great fight, actually. So let's... Oops. Oh my god, I am an idiot. You can use if they're equipped. Shit. So you know what? Hmm. No. At the end of the day, I guess it was the right move. Because they don't really have much, uh... You know, I wasted some gill, obviously, for a minimal upgrade, but it was still an upgrade for the attack. So, whatever. I guess we'll use some magic, too, while we're here. Use a... Uh, Fire. I'll probably wasted a spell here. <clears throat> oh well. Clean sweep. We weren't status affected. I guess at the end of the day, it's a uh, it's a W, right? Found a potion too. All right, so we have a dead end here, and. I mean, I didn't really see much, like, as far as other pathing goes on this area. So there's gotta be, like, either a hidden path or a switch or something somewhere. I'll start on this floor, and if I don't find, obviously, like, a switch, then I just... I don't know, some of the earlier floors had, like, gears on the walls and shit, maybe... I mean, I highly doubt, knowing this game in the NES that they wouldn't make me go down to, like, floor two to unlock something on, what is this, floor six or some shit. So let's just start over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there we are. Not too bad. 
Let's see what's in this chest. <clears throat> eh, this fight's kind of kind of shitty, but I'll roll with it. And you know what? We'll cast another fire. Fuck it. Ah, crap. We didn't kill either of them. That's not good. Yeah. Kinda sucks. Paltos getting his shit pushed in. Did we kill anything in this turn? No. God damn, that was a bad... That was a bad turn, people. Let's go with uh, physical attacks then, I guess. Wow. We hit dinky ass 39 damage. That's pathetic, dude. We're getting wrecked here. Holy fuck. Can we please? Boy, oh boy. Four bits. This is Final Fantasy 2, my HP would be through the roof after this fight. <clears throat> Alright, well. Hmm. Let me think. Good experience, though. That is, that is good experience. Uh, level 1 only knows ice. So you know what? We're gonna save a couple of our... consumer bears. stop using the cure. Save that for cure usage first, and then, um, whatchamacall? Ice, if we need be. But it seems like most things are not weak to ice here. Hmm. I'd like to take out the mages first. Ah, there we go, we got a crit, so that's good. No! Alright, Belmont is definitely the guy that we do want muted. We will definitely just keep him muted. The one that we could ill afford is Staltok due to our uh, lower levels of consumables at this point. I should have targeted the Pootie Mage first, but all in all, not too bad. <clears throat> I don't know if the computer AI is dumb enough to uh, potentially try to mute somebody that's already muted, but I'm gonna hope that that is the case. Oof, this is a rough one. I'm gonna try to run here, and if I can't run successfully, this might end up being pretty shitty. Definitely the uh, longest dungeon we've had so far, I will say that. Typically all the ones up until this point have been, what, four or five floors at the most? We're already on floor seven. Oof, we were attacked from behind. That is not good. Yes, horse might die. Um... Let's just fight this through. Everybody attack the, the mage. <clears throat> We're gonna be doing a lot less damage from the back row, clearly, but... Ah, uh, fuck. Even missing. That's no good. Hey, All these misses. That sucks, man. We're gonna have to heal up after this fight, that's for sure. Hmm, you know what I just remembered? Unless this tower warps me out, I'm actually going to have to turn into uh, a frog again before I leave. I hope it warp, uh, warps me out. This is a pretty long tower. <laughs> I really don't want to do this one again. Alright, let's heal. 
with our potions. Oops. That's good enough for now. <clears throat> so we got a bomb shard and an echo herb there. Echo herb is actually a good, good loot. Um, I don't feel compelled to use it at the moment on anybody, but it might come in handy, especially here. If the uh, the mages get to us, up oh, there we go. They muted the wrong person. So I'm gonna have to use that. Damn, bits got fucked up. I just realized that. Holy hell, man. So we do that, and uh... good lord. I mean, I feel like okay about where I am here, but I think in a perfect world that I'd probably be like one level higher before going in here. Maybe two. I like the design of this place though, it's, it's interesting. Ambush. Alright, good. Although that, that wasn't good. <laughs> Oops, ah shit. I didn't want to run actually. I want the experience, fuck. Oh well. It was actually setting up to be a very easy one-turn fight, most likely, too. Oh, well. We push on. Alright. Lots of stuff to loot here. Oh, boy. Ambush. Give me a fucking break. that experience, baby. Ah, uh, shit. I was kind of banking on Belmont and killing that bat. Sucks. Eh, okay. Wasn't expecting bits to get a uh, one-shot kill, so that's good. Damn it. Come on, guys. Swing for the fences here. Thank you. Oof. Gonna be back uh, living that 99 potion life soon, huh? Hey, we level one up, and we got a potion. Just gotta talk to the game sometimes. That's all you gotta do. All right, I'm fucking glad that I purchased those 20 potions when I was grinding. Salamon? Don't I have one of those? A serpent. 68. 75. Getting beefier, boys. Flame mail. I have that already? Question mark? I do. And currently nobody else can wear it, but... I'm gonna hang on to it for at least a little bit. Right, because Belmont can't wear this, I'm pretty sure. It needs to be lightweight armor. Pick up the Kenpo. Yep. Oh, Ken... Stall talk. 54, right? Can he use the Serpent? Cannot, okay. That's fair. Hey, you know, let's get a change of pace, Belmont. You served us well, but... Let's go back to bits, it's been a minute. Oh, Kadook! some, like, Japanese floating head demon here. Actually, this fight could be quite annoying. Hmm. Probably gonna use some magic. Let's see if we can... Well, that certainly helps. Perfect. Didn't even have to use my bolt. I was just basically concerned about getting status afflicted again. Not about that life. A Zeus's Rage. Good stuff. Ooh, this is gonna be good for experience, but potentially really bad. 
But you know what? Let's fucking go for it. Why not? Let's try the ice, uh... Yeah, this one. And then, we will... Bolt everybody? Just don't mute stall talk, if possible. Oof, that was fucking terrible. Well, at least Bits is an absolute unit at this point. <clears throat> yeah. Worthwhile, I suppose. Yep. Yeah, that was worthwhile. Uh, if I did a regular attack or a low-level spell, we probably wouldn't have knocked that guy out. And now everybody's clearly going down this turn as long as we don't miss, so... I'll take it. What kind of experience we get? I don't think we... Do we have a 4 Putti Mage battle yet? 152? <clears throat> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, like I said, guys, sometimes this controller... I keep saying I'm gonna switch it out. I think I mentioned that like seven times in my Final Fantasy II playthrough and I never did it. But um, sometimes it glitches out and I don't know if it's the proximity to my console, which isn't very far. Maybe it's interference. Who knows? I don't know. <clears throat> oh, we got a boss here. All right. Uh, well, I guess we're pretty much locked and loaded. Wish me luck, otherwise we'll be, uh, getting another fast-forward sesh all the way back to the top of this tower. Here we go! <clears throat> Under Sir Zandy's orders, I, Medusa, shall destroy this tower and drop this continent out of the sky. So I was right, this is a, a sky continent. Again, if this was mentioned at the beginning of the game, I was out to lunch. But I deducted from looking at the outer rim that we're in the sky. Hee hee hee, you can't stop me, perish! Damn, that's intimidating. So clearly we're gonna fight with Bits and Belmont. Uh, Stall Talk. Bolt 2. Um, I do have some consumables too that I could use. She looks like she's made out of fire though, so I'm gonna try Ice 2. And we'll see. 109. 146? Ah, oh, yeah. Dude, she's going down quick. What? 21. Ugh. Did my shit miss? I think it missed. Yeah, the Ice 2 definitely missed. What the fuck does Break do? Is she... I'm confused. She must be highly resistant to magic or something. I can't imagine that she's going to be alive much longer, though, with 100-plus attacks constantly from the first two. Uh, I'm going to save that row. I guess I'll just cast low-level ice. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, sure, ice two again. Why not? Got one damage though. So whatever she's doing to me, I don't think it's working at all. I haven't noticed anything. All right, I think this is the turn. I think this is the turn. There we are. Cool. Good shit. What do we get for this though? Decent amount of gill. Seven capacity. Ninety experience. Eh. All right, we have a fire. I'll touch it, I guess. The flame is blowing violently. It could explode at any time. Wait, it's dangerous. My memories come back. I'm the surviving ancient guardian of this tower. I was asleep for ages, but when something happened to the tower, I was awakened. I must have lost it from sleeping so long. This is bad, but we may have a chance. I gotta go in here and fix the reactor. Otherwise, the floating continent will lose its power and fall. I guess this is it, guys. Thanks for everything. Dash, you'll be killed! This is my mission. 
Once I stop the eddy in the strait, you go to the island of dwarves, got it? Is the eddy that thing that was blocking? It has to be. It's either the thing that was dry, uh, floating around in the lake, but I, I don't think that's the strait, obviously, so it must be that weird whirlwind, whirlpool thing that was next to the tower. That's where the power of the fire should be. Oh, so we should potentially be getting new jobs soonish. Once I'm down below, I'll warp you out of here. Well, see ya. <laughs> well, see ya. This is it. Alright, let's judge him. Tens across the board. What a dive. Dash! Damn. Reminiscent of some Final Fantasy 2 shit. Every time somebody joins your party, they die. Spoiler alert. Uh, are you warping me out, dude? Hello? Yo. Oh my god, I thought the game for- Oh, okay, I see. They were giving him time to do whatever he was doing. I thought the fucking game froze. I was about to be hanging straight up. Um... <clears throat> yeah, that thing's gone. Okay, cool. So, obviously, we're gonna be meant to uh, ride our ship on the outer rim, and if I remember correctly, there were a couple places to go to. Uh... <clears throat> There was, like, an island, and then I think there was one towards, like, the bottom rim that we weren't able to get to on the side that we had the chocobo, but, um, since we did do some fast-forwarding in this part, let's, uh, let's continue on a little bit. I'm thinking that, um, I want to go back to my ship, but first we'll save it. Okay. Where was I parked? Docked. Excuse me. Down here, I think, right? By the castle. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. We did not inherit <coughs> anything to open those locked doors in that uh, castle yet, so... Alright, you know what? Let's actually head back over here. Get a free uh, rest at the inn, right? Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, up here. Yes, right here. That was the, uh, that mountain was the passageway to, uh, Behumet's Nest. I wonder if we return there or what the deal is. I'll just fight this because we're here, whatever. And does Final Fantasy III rid of your status effects when you rest at the inn, or is it like two where it's basically just telling you to go fuck yourself left and right? We will find out. Probably a good thing we're ending the playthrough as I'm getting increasingly congested as the night goes on. Seems to be a pattern lately. Oh yeah, uh, well, I guess while we're here we'll, uh, was there anything to sell? Got a lot of money in there, a lot of gill. Uh, sell this, right? Wait a minute. Yeah, sell that. Sell the serpent sword. We're gonna keep the flame mail. Uh, in case we're able to change parties soon, or yeah, uh, change jobs for our party soon, excuse me. Because I might just, I don't know, man. I might just straight up, like, abandon. I don't know, I like the monk so far, he's doing pretty good damage. In the, I mean, he's got high HP, which kind of offsets the lower defense. But the, the one job that I'm not liking right now is Stall Talks. I feel like the Red Wizard is infinitely better in fucking Final Fantasy 1 than here. It was decent at the beginning, but I think pretty clearly at this point, like, the magic is lagging behind and the attacks aren't really worth the trade. I would argue that it might be better to have a White Wizard. You know what I mean? White Mage, whatever. Because at least that job will be very good at healing, where the red one is just kind of eh all around. Where again, in the first game, I, I feel like it was probably one of the, it was definitely the best starting class. You know, maybe not that great end game, but probably still manageable. Uh, did I even freaking buy anything here? I didn't, right? Let's buy a ton of potions. How many we got? 66. Uh, let's top it off at 70. Oh, look at that. You can buy a quantity of four. Perfect. 
I don't want to spend all my gill because I don't know, you know, what kind of stores and shit lie ahead. We do have always the option to um, grind, of course, but with that being said, let's head back to our ship and go through that straight, which is now opened. <clears throat> Of course we're ambushed. Why wouldn't we be? So yes, the answer is resting at the inn does heal you of your status afflictions, which is great. Um, so now I don't have the, the eyesore of being muted when relatively, um, other than the unsightliness, there really wasn't anything going on negatively for Bits and Belmont uh, due to their current jobs. Yeah, it seems like we're rocking and rolling here, guys. I, I feel like... The, uh, the desert area is approaching soon, but not before the, uh, the dwarf cave or island of the dwarves or whatever the hell it was. <clears throat> Alright, so here's the straight, and there is, uh... Yeah, this is part of the area that I was running around in, right? I remember seeing this. Oops. Ooh, what kind of enemies are up here? Ah, hermits. So, I love the hermits. Because one, their sprite work is cool. Two, they're relatively easy to kill. Three, they give good experience. The only downside to them is occasionally they will poison you. I think they give like 70 plus experience for four of them. And it's usually, uh, depending on, you know, if you go all in with magic, it could be a one round fight easily, but usually it's two. <clears throat> so I'm just getting the lay of the land here. Alright, so we have a forest, which may or may not have something in the middle of it. And then we have two cave entrances, one on the bottom and one on the top. Hmm. I want to go back and explore. There was an area over here that I referenced. Hey, I'm not ambushed for a change. That's great. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm starting to feel like... Starting to feel like the play might be uh, changing my, my class. Stealthlash is not really cutting it right now. It doesn't have enough slots for the uh, the good magic. And the attacks are just meh. Unless maybe, maybe we'll find another good sword soon, who knows. We found one in that uh, Tower of Owen, but... <clears throat> I might just run for the next battle, I don't know. I want to replenish a little bit of my gill, obviously, that I just lost. Damn, encounter rate out, out here is like fucking nuts. I'm so glad that I played through Final Fantasy 2, because now every time something annoys me in one of these games, I'll just be like, oh yeah, it's like Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> oh, this encounter rate's like Final Fantasy 2, or oh, this fucking horrible fight's like Final Fantasy 2. But don't get me wrong, guys. I actually, as much as I complain throughout that playthrough, if you guys finish watching it or you watch my review, there were a lot of things that I did like about the game, and I thought that the end game in general was was pretty good. Um, the end game saved the game, honestly. If the end game wasn't as good as it was, then I probably would have just like fucking diarrhea all over it in my review. Okay, hermits, I'll fight you. I'm banking on the fact that one of these places has an inn, <laughs> but I'm a little, a little concerned. <clears throat> I can't remember if this place that was over here was another cave or if it was a town. Uh, we'll find out soon, right? Freaking let me go down, man. Jesus Christ, the fucking encounter right here is nuts! Holy shit. 
I'm not kidding, maybe they, I don't know, maybe they're doing that on purpose, but when I was grinding, it was a lot longer uh, in between fights, and this has been, this has been, uh, it's not steps, right, it's like rows or something like that. <clears throat> Are we rowing this thing, or is this a, completely a sailboat? Probably a sailboat, actually. But either way, it's like every freaking four tiles, man. I need a break. Oh, I need to buy antidotes. Yeah. It's a little too low for my liking. I think we're like literally right there now. But of course, we get a fight right before we fucking dock. Again, spinning a positive, we get a bunch of gill, we get some more experience, you know. Could be worse. Ugh, oh, what a dinky hit, Belmont. Good god. Could have been out of here if it wasn't for you. Alright. So there is a town here. Uh, I think I'm actually just gonna stop it here, guys. We'll explore this town <clears throat> in the next part of the playthrough. And then presumably when we're done here, unless we get, you know, specifically sent somewhere or instructed to go do something, we're gonna return to that, uh, that little island patch and see what that has to offer, which was to the northwest of the Tower of Owen. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot done here. Obviously, we grinded and we leveled up. Um, we went to the Gurgan Valley and got the Toad Spell, which allowed us to go into the Tower of Owen. There, we fought Medusa. Uh, we looted a bunch of shit on the way up to Medusa. It was a pretty interesting dungeon. Probably the, it was the longest one until this point. Fight wasn't too bad. Uh, and then, um, yeah, what was our, our our guy's name? Was it Desh? Turned out he kind of had, like, amnesia, and then he remembered that he was, like, the guardian of the tower or fire or something like that. And he sacrificed himself for us, which allowed us uh, to sail out um, to where we are now to continue on with our journey. Uh, the Whirlpool, whatever the hell he called it, but it was a Whirlpool. I was no longer there. But either way, guys, long playthrough for me. Not as long for you, because I got to speed up some footage, but hope you guys have been enjoying it. <clears throat> I certainly have been. I'm very excited to uh, get back on the Final Fantasy III horse tomorrow night. Uh, leave a like if you haven't already. Comment. Love to talk to you guys about the game or anything that's on your mind revolving retro gaming on my channel. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Currently on the uh, the pathway to 500. I love hitting these hundred increments, man. It makes me feel good inside. So <laughs> as long as you guys are enjoying it, that's all I really give a shit about, you know. So, anyways, guys, take care, and I will see you uh, in the next playthrough. All right, guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy III on the Famicom slash NES. This is part nine. Uh, to give a quick recap of the last part, uh, we did a little bit of grinding, nothing crazy. Uh, we then went to the Gurgan Valley, where we met a bunch of, uh, soothsayers. Hold on, I gotta close out of Discord, I just realized. <laughs> Get a bunch of bloops and bleeps going on. Uh, we met a bunch of soothsayers there, and one of them, uh, gave us the Toad, uh, magic spell, which allowed us to then enter the Tower of Owen. Uh, throughout the Tower of Owen, which was a pretty interesting design, I guess it wasn't, like, anything revolutionary, but overall I enjoyed it. Uh, we looted, uh, at the top we fought Medusa, uh, who was a pretty easy fight, actually. Medusa kept casting some spell, I don't remember what it was called, but whatever it was, it didn't work, <laughs> so I was like, alright, whatever. For the most part, it was just, like, physical attacks over and over again. Well, let me, uh, hold on, readjust my, uh, pop filter there, it was a little bit off-kilter. My, uh, my daughter occasionally likes to pretend like she's speaking into the microphone and she'll bump into it and stuff. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, and our companion, Desh, as you can see, is no longer with us. He, I guess, had, like, amnesia? And then he remembered that he was, like, the guardian of the tower? So he jumped into the flame to basically, uh, kind of sacrifice himself, and in the process he got rid of the whirlpool that was immediately to the right of the tower. Um, so at this point, guys, it's onward and upward. Um, we're kind of happy with where we are. And we're gonna go 
exploring. I need to actually catch up in my brain. Where the frick did I go? Oh, yes, okay. Sorry about that, guys. Obviously, a lot of these parts aren't recorded in succession, and this is a perfect example of that. <laughs> I am actually outside of a new town, and I completely forgot about that. So let's go in and see, uh, see what's there. Man, I'd love to be able to fucking do YouTube full-time. That'd be amazing. As much as I did enjoy my time on Twitch, um, YouTube's a lot more laid back, and it would just be fucking awesome. I'd love to just, like, sit here and play fucking RPGs for ten hours a day, and then just, like, record reviews and podcasts and all that kind of shit. But it looks like this is the town of Gisol? Gisol? Got a bunch of animals here, huh? Alright. I'm raising sheep. Oh. Oh, hey, don't go over there, I think it's what it said. What the hell? Why are they passing through the sheep? Come on, over here! Ugh, I've had enough, what am I gonna do with you? Uh... Huh? <laughs> okay, so this is kinda... Alright, well, sorry about that, guys. Pretty, uh, honestly kind of pointless cutscene, but maybe this is something that they were tinkering with, um, you know, back in this era with the limitations they had. I don't know, maybe there's something going on there? Let's see. Yeah, I like how the sheep and, uh, she could pass through, <laughs> like, uh, metamorphoses or something, but I can't. Alright, let's start looking around here. We have a magic shop, a house, a field. Anything hidden in here? This is actually where they started Harvest Moon, guys. Right here. Oh shit. I touched his crops. You can't just come in here whenever you like. Grumble. So this is clearly like a farming town and... I don't know, it seems like the devs were like, yeah, let's just like, make actionable triggers all over the place. I mean... It's still, it's pretty cool, I guess, but... What do we have over here? Anything of note? I haven't run into anything solid yet. Carrot? Magic key? Ooh, guys. I think that means I can go back to that castle now. Mmm. I might be doing that. We'll see. Anything in here? Oh, chocobos! Oh, wasn't expecting that. These carrots are the chocobos' favorite food. Want to know the secret of the chocobo forest? Mmm, I know, yep, okay. Try using a carrot on the trees in the middle of the forest. Maybe you'll meet the fat chocobo. So this is the first instance- Ah, shit, did I get another carrot? <laughs> I'm like over-clicking everything tonight and it's just fucking- everything's disappearing. But this is the first instance of the fat chocobo, and for those of you that don't know about the fat chocobo, well, first of all, he has his own theme song, I'm assuming still in this version, but he doesn't pour. Um, you could store excess items with him. Now, I found that I never really used it that much, to be honest with you, because the majority of the time, I'm one of those guys that'll, like, if I feel like I'm not using something, I'll just sell it. Oh, how are you walking outside? Hmm. Is there a secret? Uh-huh. Invisible wall here. I don't want a chocobo though right now. But anyway, yeah, the fat chocobo stores excess items for you. So I guess like if you're a completionist and you're like grind heavy and stuff and there's a lot of drops and this, that, and the other, it might be a good, a good place. Maybe, like I guess, yeah, like let's say you're doing a completionist run where you want everything in the game, right? so you don't sell stuff, you can just dump off some of your old weapons to the fat chocobo. And there you are. But, um... Yeah, I don't think that I want to... It's a chocobo. It's a chocobo. You don't say. Is this one a chocobo too? It's a chocobo. <laughs> Alright. So we can't touch that guy's crops. There isn't magic shop, and there's another place to enter right here. What is this? Oh, 
magic keys, eh? They're actually pretty cheap. I guess we'll buy four? So now I have six. Is that just decor? Like, is there always treasure chests back there? Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, this town seems very, like, experimental. Like, Squaresoft was like, yeah, let's try a bunch of weird shit in here. <laughs> like, lots of roaming, um, non-human characters. Some secrets. Uh, a couple pseudo-cutscenes. <clears throat> There's the revivification. There's an inn and a magic shop. Is that it? I think so. I'm just kind of double-checking everything here. Yeah, I think that's it. So it's not like a full-fledged town, but at least you could rest here, which I will definitely hit that up. Um... Alright, let's see what we got here for magic. Toad Mini. Break. I think Break is maybe what they were casting on me, uh, Medusa. I'm gonna look in my manual to see if they go over all the ma Okay, they do go over the magic. Cool. Let's see what some of this stuff does here. Ice 3 is a definite must-buy, so I will buy that. Give that to Horus, 100%. <clears throat> um... Break. Petrifice target... Oh, Yeah, I remember that in Final Fantasy IV. Petrifies targets gradually and brings death. I don't remember. I'm assuming you probably can use it in Final Fantasy IV, but I remember enemies using it against me. Shade. Inflicts paralysis to the motor nerves. Stops movement. Okay, so, meh. Uh, Libra, Confusion, and Mute. Let's see. Libra. Displays target's current maximum HP. Oh, uh, so it's... Ugh, that's kind of a poopy spell. I think there's a job that does that automatically, which is also probably pretty useless. So basically it'll just kind of show you, you know, oh, uh, this enemy has X amount of HP. I guess it could kind of help you if you're grinding in an area and you want to know everything. Confuse, inflicts confusion on enemies' brains and divides them. Mute, target, unable to use magic. I'm thinking it's probably in my best interest to pass. Uh, I am kind of running low on gil, especially if I buy another one of those spells. So I'm just going to keep Ice 3 for now. Teach that to Horse. i got to figure out what I'm doing with Stall Talk as well. Alright. And the reason I say that is he's starting to lag behind a little bit in both magic and attack and pretty much everything, to be honest with you. So the last place to go is the Inn, which we're definitely going to go there to take a rest. Um, I still feel like there's got to be a... I think there's a hidden path here. I'm determined to find it. Um, trying to see if I notice anything out of the ordinary. Hmm. Very interesting. Aha, uh -huh. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Hey, don't mind me, I'm just stealing stuff from you. Oh! Shrukin, so... I mean, kinda useless to me now? But potentially ninja class, where you could throw stuff? This might be the first introduction of that to the series, but we don't have that yet. Um, what's up with my inventory, by the way? You getting a little full? Hmm... I wouldn't say we're dangerously full yet. I probably should sell the flame mail. I don't know. I'll hang on to it for like maybe one more. One more cave or expedition. Alright, let's go to the inn. And then after we leave this place, we're actually gonna head back to the castle since we have some magic keys. They should be able to unlock those doors. Let's see if there's anything in here. We got another dancer. Um. 
to the piano a little bit. How do you like it? The fat chocobo could store things in his stomach. Alright, can't talk to him. <clears throat> Still waiting to get, like, fucked up by one of these dancers. This place seems a little odd. Like, what is with this little alcove over here? Uh huh. I'm writing letters. You all send me your letters too. Square development section. Eh. Little Easter egg. I guess Squaresoft was telling fans to write into them at that time. Interesting. Just carrots, huh? Damn. Alright. Well, we'll definitely rest at the inn, since, uh, we're not fully healed. Alright. Well, let's head back to that castle. <clears throat> I love the overworld music here. They honestly, like, really nailed the overworld music, uh, pretty much in every game, honestly. Because, I mean, like, I'm thinking about, like, Final Fantasy VI right now, that's fucking great. But I like the two a lot, this is really cool, one's obviously good. This is always good music in these games, man. Um, yeah, let's see how quickly we can get back to the tower. Uh, I was gonna say the uh, encounter rate has been doo doo on the high seas. If I end up running into too many encounters, I'll just speed it up for you guys. I find that the encounter rate in this game is not that bad, but during my sailing expedition, it's been pretty brutal. <clears throat> Stallfuck actually hit pretty hard there. Or Belmont hit weak, I can't tell. <clears throat> hey, skill up. Ugh, these encounter rates though, man. I might just run. Like, not in the mood. Oh, just kidding. Can't run. Oh, man. Now I'm getting fucked up. Bolt all, I guess. Yeah, after this fight, guys, I'm gonna speed up the footage. Lord knows how many fucking fights I'm gonna have before I get back to that castle. Probably like three or four more. <laughs> Holy shit! Bits is gonna die. I'm risking it here. <laughs> Come on, guys, get your attacks off. Fucking Christ. Thank you. Common theme in my playthrough, but... Holy hell, if this was Final Fantasy 2, Bits would have a uh, massive HP upgrade there, huh? Well, good thing I bought a ton of potions. Ah, fuck. Alright guys, I'm gonna fast forward the footage here. I'll see you in a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright guys, we're back at the tower. Of course, uh, excuse me, not the tower, the castle. As soon as I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna speed up the footage, I ended up not getting into any fights. <laughs> oh, except there, I jinxed it. Ooh! What the fuck? Yo, that sprite's pretty sick, actually, but... I don't know what this is gonna be like. TBH. Um... I feel like maybe I should waste the magic spell here, just in case. Uh, these guys are pretty strong. Well, HP-wise. I guess not so much MP- or, um... Attack-wise, but... They seem to have probably 200 HP. <clears throat> yeah, because that guy got hit 142 and got hit by the fire spell. Damn. Hopefully this yields some good experience. Some more potions, it's fine. Um, Alright, let's go back in and loot those doors. I just gotta remember where they were exactly. Hmm. I can't recall. I think it was outside, right? So it's probably here? And then it was um one to the Oh no, it's the other outside. Hmm. Oh shit, this place heals you, right? Yep. Fuck. I forgot all about that. Alright, how do I get back outside? I cannot recall. Was it through here? Hmm. Probably not, right? Yeah, no. I think it might have been another secret passage elsewhere. It was probably on one of these staircases, right? Can't remember, man. <clears throat> I must remember. Was it really just like directly through here somewhere? Man, now I'm all fucked up. I can't remember, guys. This is killing me. Hmm. How do I get back outside? I can't remember. Um... Oh, it was- yeah, 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 One of these, right? There we are. And this should bring me outside? Yes. I knew it was a secret passage, I just couldn't remember if it was one that you had to pull or something, or... Plus, I'm always, uh, scared about the fire. Oh, what, wrong button. Magic key should open this. Hey. Uh, what? Was I duped? How do you get there? Oh man. Am I missing something? Hmm... <sighs> I 
What the fuck? Was this a waste of a key? I mean, you, you have to be able to get to those items, right? Oh, I can't figure out anything here. Huh. Oh my god, and it locks, dude? Well, that really sucks. Hmm. Well, it wouldn't make sense if that area was here, because that would be like... You know, it just doesn't make any sense. So this is probably some other bullshit. Well, at least there's items here. Flame, light, ice, scholar, ice, and fire. Uh... Are these just... Is that like ice one? Light, flame? Let's look up the spells. What are these? A light. You would think that that is a... Huh. What the fuck are these? Uh, they look like spell books, right? But I'm not seeing anything in my instruction manual about flame or light. Hmm. I am intrigued, question mark? I'm gonna have to look this up. Uh, Argus Castle Flame? What is it? Yeah, they are books. <sighs> Man. I'm all fucked up right now. Hmm. And we are actually full in inventory, which is a little rough. I'm gonna have to look a little bit deeper real quick. I wanna make sure that I'm doing the right thing here, not fucking, you know... Dumping stuff or what have you. So, flame? It's monster magic. Fire damage to all enemies. Light? I, you know what? I'm actually quite confused. I don't know what this stuff is. <laughs> is it all monster magic? Black magic. Yeah, I'm seeing monster magic. Oh! I think there's a, um... I think that there's a class where you, like, learn monster stuff. So maybe that's what that is. I remember reading about some class that has something to do with that, um... in the instruction manual, and it doesn't look like that I can go get these items that were over here, and I don't want to waste another key, so I'm... just gonna say F that. Well, that would actually be a prime candidate for the Fat Chocobo. Hmm. Because I don't want to, like, just get rid of those right now, but obviously I don't think I can really use them, so... And I am... Near a choke. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember saying to myself, Why is there a chocobo forest here? Like, it's a very weird place to have a chocobo forest. What's the reason? The storage. That's exactly why it's there. So let's go store our stuff in the fat chocobo. <clears throat> we can actually get in our ship. Hopefully, we <laughs> hopefully, we don't get uh, bombarded. Because the place that we want to go, we need to get in our ship anyway. Over here. Yeah, we want to go to that section that we see to the left. But first, I want to go to the Chocobo Forest, which is right here. And summon the Fat Chocobo. 
They said it smells like chocobos. You just use a uh, carrot here, right? Presenting the fat chocobo. Hey, there he is. Look at that cute boy. Cool. Alright, let's give him the flame mail. You know, we'll give the bows and arrows too, because we don't have any of those classes. Same with that. The books. And let's see if we could equip the scholar or not, but I don't think we can. It seems like a white... white wizard sort of thing. Yeah, we can't equip the scholar there. And we probably can't equip it here either. And I highly doubt Bits or Belmont can- Oh, we can equip it here. Nice. I like that. Alright, so I gotta remember that you could buy carrots um, back at Jassol. Is that two left? Yeah. So I'm okay for now. I don't need to go overboard with the carrots. Cool. Alright, so we got the caves here. I'm thinking that I'll probably go to this one right here. The other one seems a little bit more menacing. Oh, dwarf cave. Oh, nice, lolly ho. Oh, that makes me happy inside. One of my favorite places, uh, in <laughs> you know, you know I'm a fucking nerd when, like, I legitimately just had, like, a, a nerd rush go over me. One of my favorite places in Final Fantasy IV is just the underworld. I just think it's aesthetically pleasing. I love the dwarves. Gusko stole the dwarves' treasure. Take the two horns. He dove into the lake. Oh, the two horns of ice, the dwarves' treasure, but a bad guy stole them. I wonder if they're talking about the uh, thing that's floating around in that one lake. A dwarf horn was stolen. Lolly ho, lolly ho. We've put a spell around the remaining horn so no one can get near it. Okay. I'm gonna not touch it then. <laughs> a beautiful crystal tower used to stand on the North Mountain, but now there's just a cave there. Ah, okay. Far to the east or across the outer seas, a village. That's where I just was, buddy. What do you have for sale here? Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's probably a good idea. And did I, I don't know if I ever bought any antidotes after I said that I needed to, so I'll buy a couple. I don't think I'm gonna rest here. Was there anything that I wanted to sell? I think there was, actually. Yeah, the wizard. Sell the wizard. Oop. I'll gladly take a thousand gil, thank you very much. What kind of weapons we got? Uh, serpent sword. Ooh, Salaman, don't we? Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Nice. We have a lot of stuff here, but guess what? Bad news. We don't have much money. We don't have much money. Because I would like... I think we have one Salaman for bits. Yep. And I think that tear thing or whatever we have for stall talk, correct? And I think we have one three part, yes. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting. Let's see how much money we can get. Let's buy a Salamand. And equip it to bits. 75, keep that in mind. 82. Eh, not a crazy bump, but still a bump, you know? Maybe I should sell some of my, uh, consumables. 750, yeah, we don't have enough. Hmm. Just 100 gil. 50, 50, 50. 500, 500. 500. These are pretty expensive. I feel like I'm gonna sell this. 
And then let's buy a three part. Ponfa's not gonna give me much money back, which sucks. But I think it was probably worth it, and I'd really like to get another uh, sword for stall talk, but I don't have the money right now. I have to come back for that. Yeah, I'm pretty low on cash, man. Hmm. Hmm. And I didn't even fucking get close to, uh... I'm sure the armory is right next to me. I have some things to think about here. I might need to grind. Uh, what am I... on my consumables? Got a lot of Maiden's Kisses, so that's good. Alright, let's see what they have. I want to get that Tearving Sword, or whatever it is. But we'll see what they have over here. Kenpo Wizard... Ice, though. We can get Ice Helmet for two people. I'm not using the shield, but I need the Ice Armor. Alright, so I actually do have to do some grinding, I think. Before we do that, let's check out what's over here. Okay, do we dive in? No way, only a frog can make it in there. Well... I don't feel like doing that just yet. That seems like we got to obviously uh, use Toad on ourselves again, which is fine. But I would like to get some more gear. Wait a minute. Did I? Where did I come from? Which one? What is down here? Revivification. But what's up with this little uh, little stone? A Rock blocks the path, huh? Let me write that down in my notes. Alright. Let's see here. I already did the chocobo thing. Argus Castle, locked door, upper left. Um, hidden chests. And this is the dwarf cave. And there is a rock blocking path. Uh, south, east, exit. I was actually using a pen and paper for my Dragon Warrior 2 notes when I was doing that playthrough, but honestly, when I was either streaming or recording, it's just a lot easier to do it in like a fucking notepad file. I think I'm gonna grind though, guys. Uh, looks like our next path is to turn into a toad. Oh my god, will this guy get the fuck out of the way? Oh my fucking god. I can't get out. I have to despawn him or something. Ugh, so annoying. Yeah, I gotta do some grinding, guys. I wanna get some uh, ice armors. Let's save it. We'll actually see what the enemies are like here. Um, we'll do one fight. It's not sped up. <clears throat> see what we got. Uh, I've encountered these guys before. They're not. They're not too crazy. Um, I'll probably. You know, I'll go all out here. Why not? Why not? There's an in there, so... Alright, after this fight I'm gonna speed up the footage though, guys. I would like to get the Ice Helmet for both Bits and... Staltok? And then I want to get the Ice Armor for Bits. I believe it's probably an upgrade. Damn. Tough fight. This guy should be going down this turn, though, at least. We want Gil. And truth be told, I can't remember which enemies drop good Gil, because I've been so focused on experience. I guess 250 a battle is not bad. Alright, I will see you guys in a little bit.
All right, guys, we're back. We did level up, which is pretty good. Uh, we got poisoned as well, which is why you're hearing what you're hearing, but... We are going to try to piecemeal together enough gill here to get what we need. It's gonna be a little tough, but I pulled some stuff out of our... our inventory. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna sell Zeus Rage. I'm thinking I'm gonna sell the Flame Mail. And one... Great Bow. And we'll see what we can get. Let's buy the ice armor. And one ice helmet. And let's equip bits first. So 14 defense, remember that. Meh. 15. 15. But I'm assuming if the game's giving that to me, it's for a reason. Let's sell that, and let's sell that. And I think we have just enough now for the other helmet. Yep. Alright, we're low on gill, but it is what it is. Um, Mithril helmet, 17. Yeah, it's a pretty good bump for just a helmet, I would say. And let's sell that. Did I forget to freaking deposit that ice book? I guess I did. Damn. I either accidentally took stuff out, like maybe my controller was glitching when I was uh, doing the fat choker mode the second time, which you guys saw sped up. Um, or I forgot to put that stuff in. Oh well. And now we have to go rest at the inn. Hopefully we don't die. <laughs> Where was the inn? Right here. All right. The next stop is gonna be that underground area where we have to uh, turn into toads in order to advance. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, can I save inside? I don't think so, right? Yeah. I'm gonna pop outside to make sure that I save before doing anything stupid. Alright, I'm feeling pretty confident, especially, uh, leveling up as we did. Level 14 across the board... Nope, the stall talks? Oh, hold on. I was looking at the old save. Alright guys, I'm gonna cut that one off here. I realize that there's a couple, uh... Yeah, it's a little bit shorter, I guess, maybe with all the, uh, sped up footage I'm gonna do, but... I feel like it's probably a good idea to cut it off before I go do that underground lake area. So, again, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the playthrough. If you have, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, really appreciate that, and uh, leave me a comment, do my best to reply to all comments and all videos, and I'll see you guys in toad form. Take care. What's up guys, welcome back to Bits Plays Final Fantasy 3 on the NES slash Famicom, and I believe that this is part 10, yes indeed it is, wow. How far we've come. Um, in the last part, we did a couple of things, I'll go over quickly. Uh, we were right outside the town of Jisol. Uh, where we were able to obtain some carrots and learn about the Fat Chocobo uh, storage system that um, most notably would be known in Final Fantasy II SNES, aka 4, but this is the first instance of that, which is pretty cool. Uh, they sold magic keys there as well, which I then did some grinding, and then I took myself back to... Uh, what was that castle called? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Argus Castle. And I opened up two of the sealed doors with the magic keys. Uh, I was able to get some interesting items, one of which was a armor for my black wizard, and then what I believe to be monster spells that I don't think I could use until I get a different job later on. Uh, so I stored those away, except I forgot to store one of them away, apparently. Um, there was three in total. And then the other side, it seems like I wasted a key. Um, I don't know how to get to these chests. There were a couple chests that just seemed like they were out of reach. I couldn't find any kind of secret passage. Any switch, so I guess we'll figure that out later. I wrote that down in my notes. From there, we went to the dwarf cave, uh, where we got some new weapon and armor upgrades. Um, and what else did we do? 
Oh yeah, we learned that there is an underground lake that we need to turn into a toad, which is where we're going now. But I also noted that there was another passageway that was blocked by a rock that we can't do anything about yet, so... Something else to note for later. But with that being said, it is time to toad it up. We are level 14. I think I leveled up during my second brief gill grinding session. Which was just to get us enough gill, basically, to um, buy ice armor for both bits and stall talk. Yeah, that, this section over here, I'm gonna be coming back to later because there's a rock there. I'm, I'm sure it's not pointless. But over here is the underground lake. And if you try to go in, there's dialogue that basically says, like, you gotta be a toad. So let's do that. Let's move everybody to the back row. I think I could probably detoad myself as soon as I get out of the water, but who knows. So let's use toad on all. Very interesting, this game is really hammering forth that whole... Like, you have to be mini in the one area, now this is the second area in a row where we have to be toad for a little bit. Um... With that being said, luckily this section of level 2 spells we don't use very often anyway. And let's move everybody back up that needs to be up. And let's go! Uh, the dwarves were talking about some kind of horn that was stolen, and I'm assuming that the bad guy's down here, obviously. Um, the other stone, or excuse me, horn that was not stolen uh, has a spell around it. And it looks like there's a chip in the wall up here. Mm-hmm. Alright, basement 4-2. Oh, boy, manticores, and they're attacking us from behind. That's not good. Um, I'm a little hesitant to run. But I'm gonna... try? This could be pretty bad, actually. <laughs> but I hate being, uh... Yeah, I didn't... Oh, thank goodness. I was a little scared there, guys. I'm not gonna front. Oh, Zeus's Rage. That's nice, because we actually just sold one to get some money. I'll gladly take that. And another? What? Alright, now I'll fight you, you fucks. Um... Ooh, a crit! Oh, shh. They're not that tough. They look cool. They ain't that tough. Damn, stall talk though. Oh shit, did I forget to buy that sword for him? I think I did, right? Let's see. Yeah, I forgot to buy him the matching Tearving. So I can... Alright, I gotta remember to do that. Let me write that down. Hold on. Ugh. Get up the notes here. Buy Tearving for Stall Talk. Again, assuming he's still gonna be a red mage, but... Alright, notes be gone. Soft. The encounter rate is, uh, jack the fuck up here. Boulder. I feel like you'll be resistant to physical attacks. Nope. I take that back. I'm hoping they can't petrify me. But it's possible. Kind of an odd design choice, but I, I guess, you know, we're in some kind of weird cave area, so maybe that's what they were going for. There are generally rocks and such here. Another soft, so it was two Zeus's Rages and two softs, huh? And it looks like we are potentially at the bottom already. Lots of water here. 300 gil, I will gladly take that. Another treasure. 300 gil, ooh, we got a shadowy figure here. Be careful. 
I feel like it was this game, right? Earlier in the game where I kind of walked up to somebody and I got thrust into a battle and I wasn't expecting it. Because I thought I had to trigger it myself, but apparently... Not how it works all the time. Alright, good luck rest of the way. Ah, stay back! I won't give you the horn! Die! What do we got? Guzco. He looks like... Oh, he's got a fucking snake wrapped around him. He looks like he would be like a summon. And I know- apparently there's espers in this game, but... When the fuck am I gonna find them, dude? I'm like- I'm like ten parts in, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, I'm probably gonna do physical, physical... Um, what kind of magic we got here? Cure 2, Bolt 2... <sighs> I might save Cure 2 for when I get attacked, and then I think I'll probably use my new Ice 3 spell. Move. Yeah, 75, not too bad. And Belmont barely hit shit there. It's a little disappointing, actually. Should I try Bolt 2? I'll try Bolt 2. And then we'll use up our last Ice 3 here. There you go, Belmont. That's better, buddy. That's what I like to see. The one thing that I'll say, too, so far about Final Fantasy 3 is, um, I guess I'm just gonna attack, is the bosses have been a lot cooler. Like, I feel like a lot of the early game bosses in Final Fantasy 2 were a little generic. Like, the one at the semi-cave was pretty much just, like, a general. Like, and then you see them reskinned a million times throughout the game. Uh, I guess we'll do Ice 2. Ice 3 seemed to do a decent amount, so maybe I could hit 40 or 50 with that. Four from Stall Talk. God damn, dude. Oh, that's a Far Cry from <laughs> 50 damage. Well, it looks like the name of the game here is attacking. Um, and then I will use another Ice 2, I suppose. pretty easy. We got the dwarf horn, but something tells me. Um... Oh, what the fuck? What is that? Why do I have a line next to me? <laughs> what the fuck is this, dude? Do I need to backtrack all the way out? I mean, it's not too far, but... I need some explanations here. Hmm. This is weird. I'm very confused. What happens if I use the horn? Cannot use. Huh. Okay, well. I guess I have to backtrack out. Wait a minute. Don't I know exit or some shit? Hold up. Hmm. I'll talk. Aha. Hell yeah, brother. Aw, oh, one step and I get into a fucking fight. Are you kidding? And it's not an easy one either. <laughs> and it's not an easy one. Alright, well. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. Thank goodness for exit spells. Because when you don't warp me out of a dungeon, man, it's not a good time. Not a good time.
Well, I guess the name of the game right now is probably returning that horn to the dwarves. Um, I still think it was a little weird how I was being followed by a line. I still am. <laughs> Does that signify the horn? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's really weird. Is that a glitch? I don't know the answer. Um, first, I think I want to... Do I have enough money to buy the other sword? Oh yeah, I got plenty. One. And let's equip it. Give me a decent upgrade here, please. 56. Seventy. That's a pretty good upgrade. That's a pretty good upgrade. And let's sell the White Slayer. Fine, fine, fine. Thrust at the inn as well, just in case we get thrust into something immediately after blowing this horn. It's fine. Now let's check out this horn. Thank you, you got our horns back. Please return them to their original place. Wait, it'll dissolve the magic. Huh? Or I'll dissolve the magic, my bad. Now you can pass, place the horn on the altar. Okay. Okay. What happens? Ha ha ha, I've been following you in your shadows. Now I've got both horns. Oh! Wait, I just fucking killed this dude! What? You ignorant fools, this horn of ice will open the path to the crystal of fire. Now the power of fire will belong to me! Okay... That guy headed for the mountain to the north. Please bring back the two horns. That was the same fucking sprite as the last boss, was it not? So I guess maybe he wasn't dead or something? I don't really know. Alright. Um, what's our inventory looking like? Alright, we have enough space. There's some stuff that I wanted to dump off at the chocobo, but... I also only have one carrot left at the moment, so... All right, let's fucking see what's up. Okay. Okay. Just looking at this cave as what it is, it almost looks like the Semite cave completely um, reskinned, at least like the very beginning. And for those of you not in the know, the Semite cave is the, like basically the first cave in Final Fantasy II by the uh, Snow Town. Ooh, we got some lava. That's no good. South wind, though. That's good. Crocata. They are fairly intimidating looking. I don't want to use my magic. Strike first? Ah, oh, nice. So, you know, it's funny when you encounter, like, very intimidating sprites and they end up not being that bad. <clears throat> I approve. Am I not getting hurt? Oh, is it... Is it because I have ice armor on? But wouldn't it make more sense if it was the flame armor? I don't know. Well, either way, we're not getting hurt by lava, so... That makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> more south winds. I should really start using those in the battles, actually. It's one of those things I always feel like I have to, like, hoard it, and then I'll probably end the game with, like, 20 of them. Oh, red mallows and balloons, huh? Can the red mallows be hurt physically? I guess we'll find out, right? That's good. That's not good. Alright, let's see. Can they be hurt physically? They can! Indeed they can. 
Sometimes these particular enemies are weak to only certain types of magic. Sometimes, um... I was just checking to see. Sometimes they're only weak to physical attacks. Sometimes certain magics heal them, and so on and so forth. But it seems like they are pretty much just a straightforward enemy, really. They hit pretty hard, though. Not gonna front. I'm glad that I bought all those extra potions. <clears throat> Skill up. Always like to see it. Yeah, I'm just gonna fight. Make it a two round, two round affair, right? Unless Stall Talk ponies up here. Ah, uh, it's all good. Definitely starting to feel the heat, though, from a defensive uh, perspective. Um. It is a good thing that we had as much gill that we had because the potions are going to be super necessary, especially since I didn't change Stall Talk to a wizard. White wizard. Which I'm starting to think may have been the play. But nevertheless, we will deal with what we have appropriately. Should be fine. Can't imagine this dungeon is longer than a, you know, what, five, five floors maybe? Six floors? There's like a waterfall there. Hmm. Ooh, an ice blade. Nice. 84. 92. I'll take it. Pretty good loot there, huh? Alright, time to go into the waterfall. I feel like that's gonna hurt me. What do you think? What do you guys think? This might be shitty, but I'm gonna fight it. Oh, the Ice Blade, though. Coming in strong, baby. If I'm attacking that much from the back row... Man, enemies aren't gonna stand a chance. some good, uh, good gill and experience here. Okay, so that hurts me. That's unfortunate. Oh, shit! Yo, is this the Semite Cave, but, like, in another dimension? Because wasn't this enemy in the Semite Cave as well? Oh, I just realized Bits has really freaking low HP. Well, certainly not as tough as I was expecting, so that's fine. What do we got spell-wise, Stall Talk? We use, like, regular cure. Might as well, right? Right there. It's fine. Another chest. Looks like going north is probably the way out of here. A high potion. Nice, that's our first high potion. They're a little bit out of my price range at the moment. Ambush, give me a fucking break. These guys hit hard as shit, too. Quite annoying. Oh no, we're, yeah, we're gonna waste strong attack there. Fuck. Come on, Belmont. Pony up, buddy. It's unacceptable bullshit right there. Skills going up, though, exponentially. Ooh, another chest. And another high potion, how about that? Alright, we are on floor three. Yeah. Let's use some potions.
Another treasure chest. Regular potion. I guess that's not too bad. I mean, I just used some. Ooh, this fight could be good, unless that dude, like, poisons me or something. Eh, we'll stick with the, uh, physical attacks, I suppose. But you... You can be ice dude. <clears throat> We'd love to see it. Love to see that as well. I think I nailed this one. Nice. To be able to uh, thwart those efforts considering they're hitting 50 plus is always good. What is to the north? We have a suspicious rock and a dead end. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm. Oops. I don't know if I want to use my ice too. Nice. Oof, what a weak hit, man. Come on now. Hey, regular ice is doing work. I mean, it makes sense from an elemental standpoint, but still. Just skilling. Another high potion. Uh, do we need any top offs here? I guess Stall Talk could probably stand to use a potion. Fine. Hey, who would have ever guessed that was a switch, huh? Not me! Oh, this fight could be kind of poopy. Let's focus on what we can do first. And deal with the fallout afterwards. It certainly helps that whatever they're doing is missing in some capacity. Um, kill, 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 go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use some more potions after this. Kind of sucks, but I hate when you get into fights in such like small rooms, man. You know. heal up before I go in here. This might be a boss room. Eh, I'll leave horse with the 4 HP. It's not really worth it. Fire crystal. Oh boy. Wah! I've taken the power of the crystal of fire and become even stronger. But until I destroy you, who have been blessed by the light, I won't possess the true power of fire. Sorry, but I guess you'll just have to die. So this is the same guy. Okay, well, he's a fucking dragon now named Salamander. <laughs> That's a pretty cool sprite, though. I like the colors. Uh, I think I'm gonna do fight, 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 and then ice three, and then I'll probably have to end up healing, I'm assuming, at some point. And we'll just go down the line, ice three, ice two, ice, uh, and then have Stall Talk heal for a few rounds, and I guess possibly... After I run out of Ice 3 and Ice 2, maybe I'll consider using potions, and that'll be the game plan. 144 is always good. Ice 3, hit me up. Ooh, nice, 384. Good shit, we've already done like 600 damage. Perfect. Ooh! Yikes! So attack, attack, um, cure 2, I guess, right? On all? And we'll do another Ice 3. Let's hope we get that cure off. Shit! Oh no, bro. This ain't good. <laughs> um... Fucking Christ. Well, Belmont might be dead. Yeah, Belmont's gonna die. 
Yep. Yikes, dude. This is tough, actually. Hmm. I'm in a tough pickle here. We might be toast, guys. We might have to go through the cave again. I can't find a good way out of this. Um... Because if we use, like, a phoenix down or whatever, right? Like... This dude just keeps casting fucking fire. <sighs> Sucks. I mean, we could try it, but I don't think it's gonna matter. He's just gonna die right away. Big sad. Yep. Alright, um, I guess my focus is gonna be healing who we have. And just hoping that we could, like, ride the wave, I guess. I don't know, man. See, what's up with that? 48? Oh, well, you know what? We got through it, but it sucks. Belmont and Horace don't get the experience. What's the experience? 350? Yeah, it kind of sucks, man. Well, that's a little rough, huh? Let's top off our heels on who we have. Just in case. Uh, who knows exit? Is it stall talk? Yes. Oh, I used it all. Oh, fucking. Oh, there's a warp. Okay. Light warriors, I shall offer you the spirit of light that sleeps within the flame. Nice, dude. I got some new jobs. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Oh, that was a tough fight. That was a tough fight. Alright, let me definitely save it. We got some shit to do here. <laughs> Oops. Ah, son of a bitch did not want to do this. <sighs> Let's just hope we can get through this quickly. I'm telling you, the encounter rates on the high seas, man, they're, uh, they're a little intense. back to the dwarf cave, um, for sure, because I need to revive and heal up and possibly buy and sell a couple things. Oh, oh. Okay, somebody's following me. Light warriors, help! Are you alright? The village of Tokol. Now that they're through pillaging it, they're going to burn it. They're going to burn it, excuse me. Please, save Tokol. Okay. Hind can change his weak point, but the scholar can see through that. Uh, lolly ho. Yeah, I remember reading about the scholar. The scholar knows that Libra spell, I think. Like, natively. Any new dialogue here? Lolly ho, the horns have returned. Woo hoo, lolly ho. <laughs> Alright. Um. Was there a revivic. revivication or whatever the fuck spring? I can't remember. Shoot. Um. And did I. I didn't buy the uh, sword, right, for Stall Talk? I did. Okay, my bad. Oh, here we are. I'm gonna come back when everybody's rested and check out that rock again. Nobody's really saying anything of note. Alright, let's rest here. Maybe I'll buy a couple more potions. Cool. <clears throat> All right. 
I think I talked to all the dwarfs. Let's talk to a few more of the guys down here. This guy's a orange hat. We give you the treasure of the dwarves as thanks. Moonwalk will be your guide, Lolly. Oh shit, he's literally moonwalking. <laughs> uh, that's fucking funny. So, okay, so he got rid of it. Alright. I was wondering if it was going to be a job or something, but... Whoa! Holy shit! There is lots of stuff here. Do I even have enough room? Mm, fucking barely. Otterhead, Gauntlet, Echo Herb, Scholar, Scholar, Knight, Phoenix Down, Hero, Carrot, Phoenix Down, Light, Ice, Flame, Soft, can't carry anymore. Okay. Um... Hmm. Mm-hmm-hmm. Whew, I don't know what to do, man. And you know what? The fat chocobo is gonna be very important, actually, in this playthrough with all the job changing. I just realized that. I should probably stop selling everything. That being said, I could definitely sell the Salaman sword. Let me think this through here. Hmm. Yeah, let's sell... Let's sell some stuff first and then come back and get the last two things. What does this guy say? Make good use of the dwarves treasure. Okay. I gotta dump some stuff off at the chocobo. I'm glad that they gave me a, uh, a carrot. But it seems like the next place that we're going to be going is Tackle. Uh, I'm selling stuff, yes. Okay. What can definitely be sold? Um, the Salaman can be sold. And then let's equip our new stuff. So, Scholar Helmet, I think, was there, right? Twenty-seven. Sure. Uh, I think I got like a gauntlet or some crap. Probably an upgrade over the Mithril. Sixteen. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Where are you? Oh, I can't equip the gauntlet. What? Really? Okay then. Oh, shit. Let's change my jobs, man. Hold up, hold up. Sell. And... Sell this. Alright, let's go loot the last two chests, and then we're gonna change our jobs. Because I bet you uh, some of our job upgrades will allow us to... Like, why can't I use the gauntlet? Maybe it's... I need to uh, turn into the knight, or whatever the next step is, above the fighter. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. Elixir and Killer Bow. Man, this game is like pushing me to become that freaking class, huh? <laughs> it really is, though. Ah, oh, man. Hmm, I gotta think this over, though. What do I want to be? Alright, let's change our fighter, presumably. Fighter to a knight, absolutely. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. No room to remove. Oh, shit. I have to go to the uh, Chocobo, man. I have to go to the Chocobo. Oops. What is up, my Chocobo friend? I'm gonna dump a lot of shit there. Also, what jobs do we have? Alright, so the new ones are Hunter, Knight, Thief, and Scholar. Allegedly, they want me to use the Scholar, but I don't know about that. 
the knight is a definite. The hunter, I think, is for the bow. And the thief, I mean, self-explanatory. I'll have to think if I want to change anybody. I'm pretty content with keeping the black wizard and upgrading bits to the knight. Um, the monk seems pretty legit still. The guy in question will be stall talk, but I'm kind of liking the cut of his jib at the moment. But for now, we could definitely store some stuff. Give. We're gonna give... We'll give all the bows for now. Killer. This, this. Okay. And now we go to equip. And we're gonna remove all. And upgrade our job. To knight. Hey, look at that makeover. Alright. I'm assuming we could use the same shit, right? Ice blade. Salamand. Okay, for our head, we have... I think ice is number one right now, right? And then body... Probably knight. And then arms is most likely gauntlet. There we go. Seems legit. Any upgrades to be had here? Didn't think so. I'll also check you guys. But I, oops. Uh, which one would be better? 18. I think it's the ring, right? Yep. And horse, I think you are kind of locked in as well. Alright. Ah, poop. Oh, he's still here. Okay. I think I'm gonna give him... I'm gonna sell the mithril. I think I'm gonna give him a scholar robe, just in case. Um, I'm also gonna give... The ice? Sell the mithril. And before we leave and waste a uh, carrot, let's see... What did I want to check? Shit. There was something I wanted to check real quick. Oh yeah, the hero. I wanted to see how much of a... You know, a downgrade or swap would be 82 to 45. That's pretty massive. Yeah, it's pretty massive. Not worth it. Not worth it. In that case, we will definitely deposit... I'm gonna deposit the hero shield instead of straight up selling it, because there might be a class that works really well one-handed with a shield. It just doesn't seem to be my best interest at the moment. Oops. And we're gonna go back and sell... the Mithril Gauntlet? Mithril Glove? Oops. I'm almost tempted to sell these as well, but I'm gonna hang on to them. I don't know, should I? I mean, it's a free spell usage, and we did see, for example, in that cave, uh, using Ice 1 did major damage just because of the elemental weakness. Tough to say. And I really gotta think on what I'm doing in terms of my jobs. Like I said, I'm pretty married to the Black Wizard and probably the Monk. The Red Wizard would be the only thing I'd think about changing, and I don't necessarily know that it would be to any of the new ones. It would probably be to the White Wizard. I like the idea of the Thief... and even the Hunter, but I want to do a little bit more research on those. I'll read through the instruction manual and see what people maybe say online before I do anything crazy there. But it seems like the next area that I'm supposed to go to would be Tackle. That's what pretty much the guy said to do. But for now, we're gonna call it quits here, because it's getting super late. Uh, quite a bit was accomplished in this playthrough, though. I'm pretty happy with it. This is one of the more uh, eventful uh, cycles, because we went through 
the underground lake and the flame cave. We fought two bosses, I'm pretty sure. Um, so anyways guys, we unlocked some new jobs, we fought a couple bosses, we got some upgrades, we sold some stuff, we dished some things in and out of the big chocobo. Things are uh, started, starting to shake and move here. Um, pretty excited to see what the, uh, the future holds. I don't think that... Is Taco? <sighs> I can't remember if Taco is that castle in the desert. Remember there's like a big tree? Because I'm trying to think about the areas that I haven't been yet. But I, I don't think that that is Taco. But anyways guys, these are all things that I'll, uh, I'll ruminate on offline. If you guys have been enjoying this playthrough, please leave a like, I'd appreciate that. As well as subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to grow the channel, baby. Uh, and leave a comment, I do my best to reply to all comments on all videos, and I'll see you guys, uh, presumably at Tackle, with maybe a little bit more information and knowledge on jobs and such. And uh, yeah, good times ahead. Take care, guys.